and for the next three months like that we work right okay okay guys so let us go ahead with this lesson interesting one scheduling with calendars so what of you open this project in the lnd you expand it first raul uh raul you can hear me uh, yes raul? sir yes uh, sir so um, okay okay fine so guys so right now what is the cal calendar we have see what is the calendar we have this is the corporate calendar now how it is scheduling so raul just do this thing uh, just put uh here you change the duration to one day change it to one day we, we will see that how it is doing the scheduling of an app yeah sorry for the interruption this is one test Uh, who is that? No, just put one D. He just every. Vengatesh, Vengatesh. Ah, oh, yes, yes, Vengatesh. Tell me. Actually, this topic I, yesterday I was not in the, this topic. So can you? Is it possible to explain again? See it. Uh, so how much you don't know? This one only. L S uh, N one. Okay. So you just do the thing. Uh, you share your screen. I will. I will create this file with you. Okay, then I'm going to you. You share your screen, and guys, I have already told you that office meetings are at your own risk. That is why I tell people please take three days off when you are doing the Primavera training, because I have observed. See, once I used to at the uh, very strong request, you know, some uh, uh, some students, a bunch of students, they said, sir, please conduct a training for us for two hours each. Now what happened? So they were a bunch of four or five people. So one of them missed. So next day I had to repeat. So another one makes the next day I had to repeat. It was extending and extending. So then I told them to come and join my regular class. So I told them you can join any time. You don't have to pay any fees. So they came after two three months when they had more time, and you know they were able to complete in three days. Okay. So basically it is a matter of time. So what we are going to do that step by step. So first of all we are going to create the learning and development portfolio here. so to create the the portfolio so you will have to go quickly with me so first you click the the portfolio management button here the pyramid okay and then you click on the button add click on add okay now you you push this up push this up so that it is coming below the enterprise and okay now you go in, into this you write here lnd just like enc just like enc is written l m percent yes d and you write here the name learning and development portfolio right here no no write here learning and development portfolio remove the y we don't need the y enter press enter okay now yeah. no no there is no need there is no need there is no need nothing you don't need anything that that is a code okay so just click on the close so this is created so now this portfolio needs a manager also okay we need a manager to manage this uh, port portfolio so we will go into the obs organizational breakdown structure so this is the hierarchy of the senior manager so what do you do you just uh, place your cursor here on the enterprise ceo on the top no no on on the top now you click on add <coughs> now uh, no no just one second you don't have to go into it just place it gently on top of it yeah now now click on add uh, no not like this Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. You just have to press a person and click on the add, so so that you just create a blank row. The I think if the blank row is going down, just wait. Okay, you write learning and development portfolio manager L and D portfolio manager. Oh. 
manager 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 this is a person okay this is a person yes good now close clo close it now in the details you change the manager okay here you change the manager you assign no no here here boy here so you select learning and development portfolio manager okay then you click on the plus button okay now what do you do we are going to create a project inside it now click on the plus button so that we can create a project inside it okay now click on the next click on the next then you write here lsn1 in the capital letter lsn1 and you write here scheduling with calendars scheduling with calendars okay calendars so drs and re remove the f d a a i told a and click next and you select the date okay click on this go to the month of the august and select one scroll from here no no from the forward button For forward button okay and this one yeah now you select one here and here you scroll you scroll uh, use the down scroller till you get 9 am once more once more and play uh, 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 see i told to stop at 9 am just just hold it hold it hold it hold it hold it so we need 1st august 9 am date so learning and development portfolio manager this is correct standard rate correct and finish so we have created the project now you open the project open the project right click and open uh, someone is having some background noise you please uh, switch off your mic okay so you, it will keep your re recording clean okay so now we are going to set up the so let me help you so we need certain columns we don't need certain so guys uh, if you are having uh, some background noise or some uh, something so please uh, i mean uh, please uh, switch off your mic you know but that will help a clean recording okay so what we need here is the calendar so calendar is inside the list now we need the predecessor detail so we will take the and in the general there is calendar so we will take the calendar so the calendar will tell us that how the activities are being controlled now what you do you create 12 activities here from the right side that add button you click here count 12 times good so you have created 12 activities here now you are in synchronized with the batch okay so we just uh, uh, reduce the size of this activity name uh, column and increase the size of the start column and reduce the duration column and increase the finish column so that we can see the time fully and we can also see the calendar name right okay good now i will go go back to rahul screen i believe that you are having two two screens right Yes, yes. Sir. Okay, fine. Very good. So, uh, Raul, you share your screen. Okay, guys. Now, guys, watch here. What I'm asking him to do. So, I'll first ask him to change the uh, duration. Okay. So, so guys, after Rahul has changed the duration to one day, do you see the, the finishing time of the one day task? Do you see that? It is going to the next date. Do you see that? It is starting at one, but it is not finishing on the same day. It is going to the next date. Why? Because the the calendar, the corporate calendar, is starting at eight a.m. The scheduling inside the corporate calendar is designed to start at eight a.m. All the activities, but my project time is starting at 9 am in the project setting so that is why the 8 hours work is spilling over to the next date okay okay fine now let us check this out so if you put here 
seven H and see that what happens seven H. 7H. So if you if you type here 7H, it is finishing on the 4, 4 p.m. same date. You see the dates are same. Mm. Okay. But yes, yes. if you put one more extra hour of the work, so you know it is going to the next date because this calendar is designed to start the work from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Whereas in the project, I have put the 9 a.m. So what happens when I put eight hours? So what happens, the extra one hour of the work is not scheduled on the same day because the calendar is ending at 4 p.m. for the particular day. And it is pushing the extra one hour of the work to the next date. Okay, so this is the calendar for the corporate. So corporate has a work culture of eight hour per day, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., but without any break. So that is why we de decided that we are going to create our own calendar. Right. In, in our calendar, let me refresh you, the timing is going to start from 9 a.m. Okay. And people will work from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. for four hours. 1 to 2 p.m. is the lunch time. And 2 to, four, 2 to 6 p.m. is the second four hour or the second shift of the four hour. And the work culture is six days a week, Monday to Saturday. So we are going to create that calendar. Right, guys? Okay, guys. Now, everybody, please be synchronized with me. Okay. And uh, then you first of all, click on the calendar tool. Okay. This is the calendar tool. Click on this. Okay. So we are going step by step synchronized. So guys, if you are feeling that you have a question, immediately ask it. Okay. See, we have to create a calendar. And so to create something, we always use the add button. Okay. Now, guys, read the read on the top. Of the, what is written on the top? Select a calendar to copy from. Yeah, I'll tell you that why. Suppose if you have to write a letter of forty pages, and you have come to know that such a letter is already existing with your friend or your colleague. So, will you type it from scratch or will you take a copy and then modify it? Copy, copy, only copy it, and then you will modify it. So that is what Primavera is saying. Prima Vera is saying that select a calendar, which is the nearest match for your intended calendar. So what do we do? I think that we can select the corporate. So we select the corporate here and we click on the plus button. Okay. So you will see that a blank row has been created and inside the blank row, you write the name IST in capital. You write IST and in the bracket, you write Indian Standard Time like this and put a space be before the bracket. That's a good practice. Yes, S capital standard time T capital like this. So, you know, this is an exact copy of the corporate calendar. We are going to modify this. Now press enter. And once you press enter, it will get into its sorted position. You see that first mm -hmm. the numbers, then A, B, C. So it is coming after the C. And since we are going to use this calendar frequently, so we will click on the default button. So we are going to make it the default. So if we are going to create a new project from scratch, so this calendar is going to get applied. So guys, is this clear? What is the functionality of the default? Default is not a rule. Default is a convenience. It is based upon your knowledge that this is the most used calendar. That's it. N nothing else. You can always change it. Okay. Okay. Maybe the default is ap applicable in 70% of the project, new projects, 80% of the project for the 20, which are uh, for which it is not applicable. Uh, the, the project manager can switch to some other uh, calendar after immediately after creating the project. So guys, any questions here? At this point, is this clear what we are doing? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, matlab, uh, a project can have more than one calendar? Yes, we are going to see it right now. We will see that at the activity level, we can change. Every activity can have one calendar, but normally we won't. Okay. Normally for a project, I think if you're working in multi-location sites, so if you're working in three sites, there will be three calendar. I've got many clients like many engineering, uh, you know, I, I have a client, they are doing work in two sites. 
they're doing the work here in noida and they are doing the work in uh, in riyadh so what do they do they create uh, petroleum filtration plants so the fabrication work is done here and the installation work is done in the riyadh so there they are using the calendar according to the local regional culture so you know that in the middle eastern countries so they are starting day of the week is sunday right mm. sunday so they are working from sunday to thursday friday and saturday are off days oh. so the activities which are taking place there they are using the middle east calendar the activities which are taking place in india they are using the indian standard time we are going to see it right now okay now this is a copy okay so what we are going to do we are going to modify this step by step okay now first of all we will set the time periods so you go and click the button time periods we will tell that what is the definition of a man day man week so the definition of the man day is 8 hours so which is correct since we are going to work 6 days a week so how how many man, man hours will be there 48 yes you write here 48 and with understanding right here 48 okay now if you are going to have a working month of 4 weeks so how much is 48 multiplied by 4 192 yes put here 192 and here we know earlier that even though it is 2304 but we are rounding it off to 2400 to accommodate the fifth uh, week right yes, fifth sir. week working day so you put here 2400 so the length of a working day is 8 man hours the length of a working week is 48 man hours the length of a working month is 192 and the length of a working year is 2400 man hours so this is the work culture in this calendar okay so guys is this clear okay. yes sir very good so if this is clear then we click on the okay now next we are going to tell which will be the working and non working days since we already know that our working days are six from monday to saturday and we are going to tell the pri pri prima vera by clicking the button work week now guys i am sure you know what to do with the saturday hmm placing eight over there yes because the saturday is full eight hours working So you put eight eight here, so it will perpetually make all these Saturdays as working perpetually. I mean, I don't know that how far can Prima Vera go, okay, in the calendar, but I think it is good enough to cover our lifetimes, okay. So you click on the okay. So do you think do you see that uh, Saturday has become a standard working day? Hmm. See that. so all this monday to saturday has become working so guys you are clear till this point yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir very good now what we are going to do next since we have put 8 hours from monday to saturday we are going to tell prima vera what is the break up of the 8 hours how the 8 hours is going to be used each day because every comp company might have a different work culture like in the us and the middle east their work culture is to start at 8 am in india we have a work culture starting at 9 am or 9:30 like that okay so either it is 9 or 9:30 but not 8 no because people cannot reach the office so early because they have to ne negotiate through lot of traffic okay so we here we have kept it at 9 so what we are going to do we are going to do the detailed work hours per day so we are going to go into this the option so you select it okay done okay now you will click on the button work week okay so we are going to tell prima vera how our six days are going to be split for the eight hours of the work so you select these six days monday to saturday you select you press the shift button and down arrow yeah click yes okay hold it hold it so guys do you see the demo screen yes sir 
So we have selected the six days. Why? Because we will set them up at once. Okay. Now, what is the work culture? So I'm I'm going to write it on the right hand side. So we will select the, the working time 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And then we will select 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. So the in-between time is the break time. Okay. So what we are going to do that we are going to make the starting of the day from 9 a.m. So 9 a.m. will start from this, this row. So it means that the row which is uh, showing it, it should be made as non-work. So what I want you to do, you select the 8 a.m. and click on the non-work, both the slabs. Click non-work. No, no. Uh, you first make the first slab non-work, then the next one. And then the next one, because these, this is split into 30, 30 minutes. Mm. Okay. Ah. Now, what is the break time? Our break time is our break time is 1 to, one what, to 2. So, where is the 1 p.m.? 1 p.m. is the third. So, you select both the slabs one by one and click on the non work. You know, this is so small in interface. Sometimes I feel that when you buy the Primavera license, they should give you a big lens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, what is what we are going to do the next four hours are going to the work and these two are working so six, 16 and 18 17 okay you select 16 first you may make it as work yeah click on the work 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 yeah next lab also yeah next 30 minutes and then the next okay now, now, guys, let me explain to you what you have done here. So, what you have done here is this. So, this is your 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And this is your 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Just look. Where is the 6 p.m.? 6 p.m. is at the ending of the 5 p.m. So, mm -hmm. when you hit the 6 p.m., so the work stops. Okay. So, the first four um, uh, man hours are starting at 9 a.m. 9, 10, 11, 12. But what happens? It is using a 24 hour format. Right? So you can see there is zero written on the top. Do you see that? Zero. Hmm. Because the digital clock shows you zero. Right? After after the after the when it is 12 a.m., it is actually zero on the digital clock. So the 1 a.m. happens after 60 minutes are completed, right? Mm -hmm. so that, that is why it is written on the top 0 to 30 minutes and 30 to 60 minutes. So what they have done, they have divided the one hour into the 30 minutes block. Okay, so that you can fine tune the selection of the working time. Maybe if some company has 9.15 and odd time like 8.40 or 8.45, then it can't be represented here. It can be represented for those like at 9 or 9.30. 10 or 10 30 11 or 11 30 right it is like that these two slabs okay these two slabs on the left and right they are representing the first 30 minutes of the hour and the next 30 minutes of the hour is that clear guys yes sir okay so we can have timing in primavera like 9 a.m 9 30 10 a.m or 10 30 like that only right okay Right now, what we have done, we have told Primavera that Monday to Saturday timing will be working from, I mean, each day will be split like 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. And 1 p.m. is the lunch time, break time. So we don't have to do anything. We have put the dark shade. We have put it as non-work. Now, click on the OK. OK. Now we are going to do a check because, you know, when I'm teaching you the sh scheduling, I ask you to be very, very careful because what happens that this calendar will be the foundation for the next three years, four years, five years. If this calendar is wrong, your scheduling will be wrong for the next three years. And construction projects and big projects that run into millions, it, it can be a huge loss. So how to check the calendar? Place your cursor on any Monday. Place your cursor on, let us start from seven. So guys, look on the right side. Is the structure right? See, is this correct? Yes. 
Okay. Now move to twist test. See, if one Monday is correct, per perpetually all the Mondays are correct. Right, guys? Now click on the Tuesday. Is it uh, correct? Yes. Check Wednesday. Correct? Yes. Thursday check? Yes. Friday check? Yes. Saturday check? Correct. Sunday check? No, Sunday is a no, no, correct. Because Sunday is an off day. Why, why should have a structure like that? Sunday is an off day. Mm -hmm. It's correct. Yes. According to Sunday, it is correct. Right? Is it clear? Yes. Sunday yes. is also correct. So if you have checked any of the each of the weekday, you don't have to check through the hundreds of years. No. Now it is perpetually correct for all the weekdays. If you check one set of the weekdays, it is perpetually implemented for all the weekdays. Right, guys? Is it clear? Okay. Uh, yes. If we are correct at this point, then we click on the OK button. So we click on the OK. So this, this will be set and our calendar has been created and we then click on the close. So this has become the default calendar. Now you have created the calendar that does not mean it will get automatically applied on this project. On this project, actually the corporate calendar is uh, applied when this project was created, the corporate calendar was existing and it was the default calendar. Now we have to change it at the project level. Now go into the project detail. Okay. Go into the project detail. In the project detail, you go into the tab default. Okay, guys. After going into the default, then you select the calendar and you select here Indian standard time. Select the Indian standard time. Okay. So guys, you're all done. So everybody yes, has selected the Indian standard time here project default and then Indian standard time done. So everybody has done the same. Yes, sir. Okay. Very good. Now, after doing this, we are going into the activities. See in the act activities. Now, now you add a new one. Just add, add a new the activity. Okay, so guys, what do you notice in the calendar column? Press enter. No, no, just press enter. Just put some name X, Y, Z. You just put X there. Just put X. Yeah, press enter. No, no, just press enter. So guys, what do you note in the new uh, act, act, activity? We have assigned the calendar. Yeah. From now onwards, any activity we create will be having the Indian standard time, but it will not change for the existing ones. So it means that in a project, you can have different uh, ca ca calendars, right? Yes, sir. Hmm? Is this clear now? Okay. Now, if you want to change, the calendar of the existing one, you can change it from here. You can change it from both the places. See, I'll just show you. If you go to the previous activity, triple one zero, you can change the, the calendar from the calendar column and you can change it from detail also. Either you can change from here or there, from both the places. Do you get my point? Now you double click into the column cell, click here. Yes, you select Indian st standard time, immediately the timing will change. Click here. Do you see that the timing is now changed? Okay, now you enter here a eight hour. Eight H. So do you see that this activity is finishing on the 6 p.m. same day? 
right so guys did you note this yes sir yes sir see in this one now you enter six day here in the triple one zero you enter six day now guys look at the gain chart and look at the gain chart of this activity so this activity is being controlled by the corporate and this activity is controlled by the ist calendar in the corporate a six day task is going to the monday but whereas in the indian standard time it is finishing on the same week why because the corporate calendar is five days Mm, two day five days working the calendar, and Indian Standard Time uh, calendar is a six day, right? So is yes. this clear? Okay. Now just do do this thing in the activity triple one two zero. You enter here seven days. So what do you expect to see? Uh, it will it will come on Monday. Yes, definitely. now you are thinking like a pro pro project manager it will come on the monday because the working day will not happen on the sunday because the sunday the company is closed so the person will come he will work on monday now it means that what is the representation of this eight eight represents eight calendar days so guys do you agree to the statement calendar days will be more than the working days see this is the working days do you see that hmm. and this is the calendar days on the on the calendar it is covering from 1 to 8 hmm 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 correct right hmm the calendar days will be inclusive of the non working days like the weekend and the holidays so calendar days will be more yes correct and the working days will be less less correct working days means purely engineering calculation when the engineers are calculating the duration of an activity they are not thinking in terms of the holidays they don't know that which year it will happen they they will give you a standard duration they will say it requires pure engineering 15 days so it means that it is 15 working days now what happens when you put 15 here just put here 15 and see that what happens what is the finish date the finish date won't be 15 the the finish date will be 17 why because it is crossing over two sundays and sundays are non work days do you see that hmm correct that is why 15 days of the actual working is taking on the calendar 17 days to complete because two days are non work right guys is this clear yes hmm Yes, sir. Yes. Sir, that's why we, uh, when we have any laptop service, we call them and they say that it is 48 hours working days. Hmm. See, if we book a courier in any courier, then what does the courier write? Let's see. 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 फिर वो पहुंचा वो मिडल ईस्ट में और वो मिडल ईस्ट में पहुंचा किस दिन फ्राइडे को पहुंचा वो फ्राइडे को भी वो रुका रहेगा सैटरडे को भी रुका रहेगा हाँ उनके संडे पे ये डिलीवर हो जाएगा समझे so that means कि वो लोग वो दिन काउंट करके ही चलते हैं हम्म कैलेंडर डे कैलेंडर डे उनको उनको पता है कि बीच में नहीं वो कैलेंडर डे नहीं काउंट करते वो प्योर वर्किंग डे काउंट करके जो है वो आपको बोल रहे अच्छा हाँ अब उसमें कौन सी छुट्टी आ जाए कौन सी आफत आ जाए उसको नहीं काउंट करते वो जो भी टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन होता है कहीं पे भी जो सर्विस डिलीवरी का होता है ना जो डिलीवरी जो सर्विसेज है वो हमेशा अपना वर्किंग डे बोलते हैं हमें इतना दिन हमें चलने का चाहिए बात आ रही समझ में yes, तो दिन काउंट करके नहीं बोलते अब बीच में जो चलने का जो दिन है वो किस दिन वो रुक जाएगा कहाँ पे उसको नहीं काउंट करते वो वो कहेंगे कि भैया देखो हमें पांच दिन मिला चलने का तो हमने पांच दिन में आपको पहुंचा दिया बीच में तीन दिन छुट्टी थी बीच में यहाँ पे बंद था इस 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 शहर में ये दंगा फसा था तो हम तो उसको नहीं काउंट कर सकते बात आ रही समझ में यस सर 
तो वो वर्किंग डेज लिखा होता है वर्किंग डेज मीन्स इंजीनियरिंग डेज और द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ प्योर वर्क होता है ना जो मिठाई के डब्बे पे लिखा होता है ग्रॉस वेट और नेट वेट यस ठीक है ना तो वर्किंग डेज इज इक्वल टू नेट वेट एंड द एंड द कैलेंडर डेज इक्वल टू द ग्रॉस वेट ओके गाइज इज दिस क्लियर नाउ यस सो एज एन इंजीनियर यू शुड थिंक इन द ड्यूरेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ द वर्किंग डेज ओनली engineering duration process duration that's it you should not worry about the holidays that is the responsibility of prima vera so if someone is asking you uh, that uh, gaurav rahul how much time it is going to take you you say it is going to take me 15 working days or 15 engineering days or 15 process days that's it so you don't try to predict the finish date you say the finish date will de- dependent upon when we start and what is the uh, what is the situation in that particular month of the year what is the location what is the work culture it is according to the calendar i am not talking about the calendar i cannot talk about the calendar at this point of time because even the project date has not yet been fixed so i am telling you only the 15 process days do you get my point you should tell the person the stakeholder in front of you very clearly you are meaning to say is engineering duration not the calendar duration calendar duration can only be calculated when the dates are fixed and the calendar is determined which calendar we are going to use are we going to use 5 day week 6 day week 7 day week do you get my point yes correct so so the planner has to know uh, about the different calendar and and their uh, respective working days yes the see suppose there are activities here some activities are are to be done in the corporate office so he will select the corporate calendar if some assume the ist calendar is the on site calendar so you select on site so different activity will be having their own schedule you can clearly see that these two activity which even though they are having the same duration but they are having the different of the finish date so if you look at this activity this is six day and this activity is also six day but why their finish dates are different because the corporate calendar is 5 day and the ist calendar is 6 day and that's the job of prima vera yes calculating the schedule is job of the prima vera and the job of the uh, job of the planner is to provide this field i'm marking in green okay just wait so your your job is to set the duration and the relation so we don't need to remember that ki ye calendar mein itne din working hai aur usme yahan pe itni chutti hai to mujhe to calendar jo hai ye bana diya chhod diya aap calendar thodi na calculate kar 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 sakte ho ha ha don't do it with the human brain you it is not possible so that is why the human brain has created the software and he has put the steps into the software and the software is doing the re- repetitive task and you should not ap- apply your brain here it is a wastage of the brain okay let it be done by the scheduling engine that's why we are using calculators that's why we are using the computers so that we can use our brain productively to visualize to visualize to imagine to dream we need our brains for dreaming achieving the objective in life not to be not to become a calculator okay yes we should not be using our brains for calculation we should be using our brains for visualization okay so that we can dream something and we can achieve our dreams and we can do it within the constraints which is in the real world and we bring the data here and see that whatever constraints are existing in the real world so what uh, is the finish date according to the constraints and we are going to learn the constraints also so guys is this clear that you can have multiple calendars in one project right correct you can have it is right in front of you is the question uh, answered for you who asked me this yes sir yes sir is the the answer clear now yes sir and yes, uh, uh, any time you want you can change the calendar you can change the, the calendar from here also if you go into the detail we we, we might not be uh, keeping this column but definitely the detail will be there we can any time go into this general tab and go into the activity by calendar attribute we can change it okay we might remove the calendar column for the re- reasons of space but in the bottom detail the activity column can always be changed okay so okay now guys i have a doubt actually mangat is here good good yeah can i share my screen for few seconds yes yes why not yes show me
here i'm not putting the calendar details mm yeah correct yeah good mm. yes yes सर इसके कॉलम का नाम ही नहीं दिख रहा है ha huh, yes tell me what is your uh, query venkat venkat you have gone on the mute sir uska column ka naam nahi dikh raha hai board mein here i am not getting the name and the duration of the time also which, which column name is not there here huh column ye ye thoda na this one नहीं वहां वहां पे नहीं होगा ना कैलेंडर कैलेंडर तो यहाँ होगा ना कैलेंडर इज नॉट एट वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट द एक्टिविटी ओनली फ्रॉम द एक्टिविटी ऑनवर्ड्स बट ओरिजिनल ड्यूरेशन इज 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 सॉर्ट ऑफ ए कैलकुलेशन इट इज ए कंबाइंड कैलकुलेशन एंड इट विल चेंज राइट नाउ ओके जस्ट डोंट वरी अबाउट इट सो वी विल लुक एट दिविटी हियर एंड वी विल सी दैट विच एक्टिविटी इज यूजिंग विच ए कैलेंडर so this is the this, this is the calendar column we have to look at okay so that is something we don't bother about okay okay come uh, rahul you share your screen okay so now we now request yeah okay fine now what we are going to do that we are going to see that how we can change the i mean what is the effect of the different kind of the durations okay now what do you do that you insert another activity you click on the plus button on the right side okay now you go into the duration column and you type here 1 mo 1 month 1 mo One M. Okay, is this clear? Yes. I say they are counting in days only. Yes, it is converting into the days. And where is the days that become coming from? What? I am not clear here. I am getting some twenty-one days for hours. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I have a problem. See, actually, one M getting... defined as one ninety-two man hour. So when you when you divide one ninety two by eight, so what do you get, guys? What do you get? What do you get, guys? One ninety two by eight, guys. Twenty four. Twenty four. Correct. Okay, you are getting twenty four working days. So which is represented there, right? Okay. Now you enter here. You enter here one week. One W. Jai, I am not getting here. This is negative. No, no, this is clear. See, what is not? Clear? No, I am actually here. I am. Show, it's showing twenty-one days per hours on my screen. Yeah, so we will have to check your back calendar. Yeah, that could be the problem. Yeah, type here one week. Six days. So it is converting into say press enter. Press enter. okay it is converting in the in the primavera everything is getting converted into the working no, number of the days so even if you enter uh, the uh, 48 hours you put here 48h and see that what happens 48h 
Okay, so it is converting into six whole days. Okay. Mm, yeah. Now instead of the forty one H, you put here twenty two H. Twenty two H, and then see that what is the result? Date so, changing. Yeah. So how it is doing it? So but let me tell you. Like we used to do the division in the school. Eight. So we will do it like this: eight, eight, eight to the uh, sixteen. Because eight, three, the twenty-four. So we can't use three. Correct. So once I put sixteen here, what is the remainder? Remainder is six hour, and this is two days. Do you see that? Hmm. So, so that's what Primavera is doing. So Primavera is uh, dividing whatever units of time you are putting by eight, and it is converting into the days. Right, guys? Is it clear? Yes. Sir. Okay, now suppose if if you put here, if you type here one point five d, put here one point one decimal five d, write it like this. Press enter, always press enter. So what do you see for the half day? One day and four hours. Yes, that is the half day. Correct. Okay, is this clear? Mm. Okay, so you can enter in the minutes also. So if if you put here sixty m, put here sixty m, only m. Mm -hmm. M. So what it is doing? It mm. is converting the sixty m into one hour. Mm. Okay, now what if you put four eighty m, then? Now you put here four eight zero m. Hmm. What do you see now? One day. Yeah, it is converting that Minute. into one whole day. Hmm. Okay. I will show you something. So, guys, is this clear at this point of time? Okay. Now you write here one y and see that how many days it creates. Three hundred day. Three hundred. Oh, how it is creating the three hundred day? Okay, I am just showing it right here. So what it is doing? So guys, I believe that you remember we had said that one year is equal to twenty four hundred man man hour. Correct. Is this clear? Yes. So it is dividing twenty four hundred man hour with eight hour, and because eight hour has been designated as one working day. so it is resulting in 300 working days now 300 working days is not like the calendar days if you look at the calendar days the calendar days could be running into 320 if you want to know that what is the number of the days between 1st of the august 22 and 15 july 23 you can do it in the excel in the excel you put 15 july 23 and then you put 1 august 22 you will find that it is almost like 320 days because it is inclusive of the sundays hmm. right there is a possibility that there are there could be 20 24 sundays in in between maybe more than that right is this is this clear yes sir okay okay so if your calendar is not working right so who, who was that uh, who was saying that it is not clear your time is not coming right i can check your calendar mind sir vankatesh yeah yeah good see it is an opportunity to learn something even mistakes they provide us the opportunity to learn okay so guys please look at vankatesh screen and see what went wrong so that his calendar is not calculating the right schedule okay so he feels that is the calendar is not creating the right schedule so let's have a look so first what we will do i will ask venkatesh to enter one day here so that i can do the one day check so you please enter here one day into the last activity you put here one day now guys it is creating 1 to 6 pm so that looks fine okay so in, instead of the one day you enter here 4 4h 4h so 4h is going up to the 1 pm okay right. now you enter here 5h now guys where will the 5h go 3 pm 3 pm so that's fine okay fine 
Okay, now you the Ven Venkatesh, you enter here twelve H. Where will the twelve H go? Second day. Second day oh. half day. Hmm. Right. First day full day. Second day half day. So what is not clear? Tell me. So that means that everything is divisible day. by eight itself. Yes, because eight is eight. Eight man hours is equal yeah. to one one day. It is the base. Here in every in every day. project management software, eight man hours is the base because eight man hours has been mandated by the United Nation International Labour Organization, right? Unless and until some company change their own laws, no, no, no company can create. It is an understanding between the boss and the worker. If the worker says, "Boss, I can work nine man hours. Please give me more more money," so that's fine. Otherwise, by law, it is eight man hours. So we will go by the standard only. No standard with situations we can't teach here. Okay. Yeah. I okay. have a question, guys. I have a question. Don't yes, good. Here I'm. Uh, I was entered three hundred days, but here it's showing two forty nine. Ah, huh, um, so that is a here, that is a not is not appearing here. What is the default calendar of your project? We need to see that you know that is the confusion. So go into go into the project. So what is the project calendar you have selected? Go into the default. De default tab you go. In the default tab you are still having the corporate calendar. So you change it to the Indian Standard Time. You should be changing it to the Indian Standard Time. Okay, you you select Indian Standard Time and click on the plus button. Now you come to the activities. Okay, now you click on the refresh of the button here. Refresh data. Click this. Okay, okay. So now is it uh, correct? Is it uh, right? Yes, but here the matter. Just is, don't don't worry. Just don't worry. I don't know, so I immediately I cannot answer that. I will not in investigate that right now because it kills our focus. Our focus is to understand the scheduling which is happening at the individual activity level. Is this clear to you? The units yeah, okay. time that we are entering it is resulting in the days. Even if I enter here four eighty minutes, so you go ahead and try here. You enter here four eighty minutes. Enter four eighty m. So do you see that it is resulting in one day, and you enter here. The upper it's resulting. You you enter here eight h. So that is according to the longest path, na Baba. Don't look at that. We'll come to the critical path. You type here eight h. So is it clear to you? Okay. Now you type here twelve h. Type here twelve h. So is it clear to you that why the twelve h is being converted into one day and four hour? Because within the twelve there is one full day. So eight mm -hmm. hours is just taken. The re remaining balance is four hours. So the four hours is shown as the fraction of the day. Is this clear? Yes, clear. Yeah. So that is the focus right now. Now you type here one W. So what is one W? One week. Week. So one week is inherently containing six days. Now you type here one point five W. One and a half week. So how many days it is containing? Nine days. Nine working days it is containing. Right. Okay. Now you 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 type here one month one m o type o. So one month is inherently containing twenty four days. Now type here half month point five m o. So how many days do you expect to see? Twelve days. Twelve days. Okay. Now you type here quarter month point two five m o. How many days do you expect to see? Six days. Six days. Now tell me where is the doubt? Is there any doubt now? Uh, sir, whenever we put thirty uh, minutes, the calendar will show the exact time of thirty minutes. But there on the original duration will say that as a one hour. See, original duration is only rounding off, so we don't look at that. We look at the activity only. Okay. So we will come to that also. So guys, tell me, is this clear? When you are putting multiple different kind of the units, see. If I tell you half a meter, if I tell you fifty centimeter, are they same? No. They are same. Half a meter and fifty centimeter are they not same? 
half yes, 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 yes. you are engineer guys um, yes, yes. why are you saying no okay i don't expect you should be reacting instantly yes sir they are same no i, okay. I heard different thing if i say the quarter of a meter and if i tell you 20, 250 mm are they same yes they are they are same yes. So if I say two hundred fifty millimeter, twenty is five centimeter. If I say quarter meter, how does it matter to you? You should be able to immediately interpret it in your brain. Okay. So that is the thing I am trying to tell you. These are different units of time used for the different lengths of the project. See, if I am working on a bigger project, I'll be talking to my people in terms of weeks and months, right? If it is a three-year project, I'll say this task is three weeks. This task is one month. This task is half month. This task is a fortnight. I'll talk, talk, talking like that. If I'm having a one-year project, I'll be saying this task is two days, three days. This is one week, right? Do you get my point? If if I'm doing a very short project, six months, I'll be talking in terms of the man hours. I'll say this task is twenty man hours. This task is one day, right? So we use the different uh, scales of time for different size of the project. So is this point clear to you guys? Yes, sir. Okay, now we are going to learn that how to change the calendars. Suppose you you are required to change all the calendar to the IST, and there are one thousand tasks here. Just see, see this. If there are one thousand tasks in which you have to change the corporate to the Indian Standard Time, so you know manually it is going to take a lot of time. So I am going to teach you macros. Guys, is this clear? I am going to teach you macros. So guys, have you heard of macros in the Excel? Do you, does someone know that what is the meaning of the macro? Have you heard of the macro? Like detailing. Yes. Detailing. Ah, uh, so what does a macro do when you create a macro in Excel? So what is the purpose and how how does it help? I never used that. see macro is used to do re repetitive task right it is a small little program which is created by the user it is stored inside the software in the primavera it is called the global change okay now i'm going to rahul screen so rahul you please share, share your screen so rest of the guys they have very good they have got two screens that is good okay so so guys in the primavera what what you have now let me show it to you guys do you see this globe here on on the top okay this globe and if you hover the cursor on top of this this will show you some name play, play, place your cursor on the top global change no no uh, yes global change okay and this global change is here also if you expand the tools you expand the tools menu click on the tools expand it so so guys this is the same button here global change do you see that okay same button do not confuse with the smaller globe okay so this is the bigger globe bigger globe is on your panel number 1 and it is in the tools menu so global change means the same thing in the excel sheet because many people they come to me because they have already used excel in the project management they are maxed out they say no longer it works for us okay now i want to learn uh, primavera so they already know the macro in the macro what do you do you create a small uh, little program which will repeatedly do a task and it is quite convenient okay so we are going to learn the global change also it is very important to know it because it might happen there might be some mistake you are trying to correct so instead of doing the things manually you will create a global change and this global change so what is our intention our intention is to create a uh, create a, a, a global change so which is going to convert this uh, field this corporate to the ist automatically at the press of a button okay so we are going to do it now we will go all go step by step so everybody is with, with me guys okay so click on the global change button either from the menu or from the panel click it so guys you are all all here so yes. 
Oh yeah, yeah. So I need to hear yes because I sometimes I feel that I am disconnected. Okay. So here already certain sample macros are there, sample global changes are there, but we are going to create our own. We are going to create a new one. So we will click the new button. Okay. So first of all, we will write a meaningful name of the global change. Write the meaningful name, apply IST calendar, apply IST calendar. So this is the space, 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 after IST, space, calendar. Because if you are creating a missile, it should have a proper name so that you know what is the purpose, right? You cannot run a global chain just to understand that what it does. You should know by the name, okay? Okay, now let me explain to you what is the structure of this thing. See, in the global chain, there are two parts. One part is the condition part, and second part is the ac action. So this is the red rectangle is representing the condition block and green is representing the action block. Is this clear? Now in the red first an ac action, uh, I mean first a condition is checked. If the condition is true, then the green, green part is executed. If the condition is not true, okay, it will skip to the next activity. Then it will check the condition again. If the condition is applicable, then it will uh, apply the action in the green part. So first we will check for the condition. So the parameter that we are going to check in the action block is the calendar. So you go into this field and you click here inside it, poke your cursor and select C for calendar. On your keypad, you press C. Yes. Okay. Now where the calendar not equals. So we are checked for in each and every activity, we are going to check the if the calendar is not equal to, click here, if the calendar is not equal to Indian Standard Time, the IST, select here IST, then what we are going to do, select it. Then in the action block, you now you click here in the action block and then you create a row here, click, click on the add, you, you create a blank row like this now guys let me tell you that what happens when, when you click here see when you click here do you see a small little boundary boundary line do, do you see that see this Raul, dikta hai? Dikta hai na? so you are here Okay, because I told uh, the Oracle company to put some sort of a glow, a red glow, but you guys please note it. You see this, uh, the boundary line here? So you are inside this block now. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to set the calendar. So parameter ID will select the calendar. If the calendar is not Indian standard time, then we will set the calendar to Indian standard time. Hindi mein mein bolta hu, ek ek activity check karo, jis activity mein calendar Indian standard time nahi hai, Uske calendar may Indian standard time lagao. Right? Okay. Click on this. Okay. Now you select the parameter value as Indian standard time. Okay. Select it. Now what does the equal to sign does? It will, it will transfer this value into the field. Like this. Okay. So here it is check. If it is not there, then you see this then, mm. then calendar may Indian standard time dalo. If agar ye keh rahe ki is activity mein agar calendar Indian standard time nahi hai, to then to tab calendar mein Indian standard time dal do. Mm. Correct. Mm. So it will put there. So, so this is fine. Now we will click on the OK to save it. We will save this into the list. ठीक है आपका जो है ना ये आपका जो है ये आपका global change बन गया इसको थोड़ा सा side पे ले आते हैं थोड़ा यहाँ पे ले आते हैं ठीक है guys guys your uh, uh, your macro I mean your global change is ready okay okay now we are going to fire it how do you fire 
Do you see this button apply change? Apply change, yes. So click this. So guys, do you see that? It is saying in this activity, this is the old value and mm. value is IST, but it will not do it un until you confirm. This, this is the confirmation button. If you confirm, it will do. If you do not confirm, then you can click on the cancel. So what we are going to do, first we are going to confirm. So click the confirm and then we will say no to the to the log file. We don't want the log file. Log file says we don't want that. Okay? Mm. So, so guys, immediately you will see all the fields are changed. Right? You see that? Instantly change gears. Correct. So guys, I am holding here, pausing here. If someone is not getting the result, someone is not understanding something, I will come to your screen and explain to you. Then we will create one more for, for pakka practice, for full practice. I will create a re reverse macro. Jo ulta karega. So what it will do, uh, I will create another macro, which will apply the corporate calendar to all the ac activities. And then we will flip. Okay. We'll see that what happens. So I'm pausing here for any question, queries, and doubts. Is there any question, query, doubt? No, sir. No. So we will create another macro. But when we are going to create the other macro, we will use a very simple method. We will play a little bit smart. You can see here a copy button here. हम्म हम्म कॉपी करके बनाएंगे ठीक है कॉपी और कॉपी क्लिक करते ही क्या हुआ द पेस्ट बट बटन बिकम्स एक्टिव हम्म यू सी दैट हम्म यू क्लिक ऑन द पेस्ट बटन हियर ओनली हां हियर यू क्लिक क्लिक इट डू सी अ कॉपी हैज हैज बीन क्रिएटेड हम्म अच्छा नाउ यू गो गो इनटू द सेल एंड यू चेंज द नेम टू अप्लाई कॉर्पोरेट कैलेंडर नाम चेंज करो इसका नाम सही होना चाहिए क्यों अगर मान लो कि मेरे पास एक मिसाइल है अब उस पे नाम नहीं लिखा कि मिसाइल कैसे फायर होती है क्या मैं उसको फायर करूं चेक करने के लिए नहीं, <laughs> नहीं ना <laughs> तो मिसाइल का नाम ठीक से रहना चाहिए ताकि वो पता लगे कि कहां यूज करना है ओके प्रेस एंटर प्रेस एंटर बन गया अब इसको हम क्या करेंगे ये तो कॉपी है इसको हम करेंगे मॉडिफाई मॉडिफाई क्लिक करो Okay, so guys, I am pausing here. Everybody is here. Hmm? So guys, you if you are on the mute, please confirm if you, if you are having any problem. Yes, sir. This confirm. Is a, this is one to one personal training. Everybody should be doing it. I'm I'm not conducting any demo. Even if it takes me 10 p.m. to teach you the uh, complete scheduling, we'll sit here till 10 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Just don't just don't worry. But everybody should do it. I want to create good professionals. Okay. Very good. Okay. Now it is a copy. What we will do? We will change only the value of the calendar parameter here. In both the places, you switch to the corporate. You just select here. Put corporate. First you check for the corporate. Then you apply the corporate if it is not there. I hope you get the meaning, right? ओके okay. अब मैं थोड़ा सा हिंदी में समझाता हूं देखो अब इसमें क्या हुआ इफ अगर कैलेंडर कॉर्पोरेट नहीं है तो कैलेंडर में कॉर्पोरेट लगाओ हम्म ये भी नहीं कॉपी पेस्ट किया हमारा वो बन गया तुरंत ठीक है नाउ क्लिक ऑन दी ओके ठीक है नाउ यू ब्रिंग दिस हियर थोड़ा सा यहां ले आओ ताकि फील्ड जो है हमें दिखे देखो अब देखो कितने प्यार से ये सारा चेंज हो जाएगा देखो अब इसमें करो अप्लाई चेंज डू यू सी दैट ओल्ड वैल्यू न्यू न्यू वैल्यू अब आपने क्या करना है कमिट चेंज कंफर्म करना है और यहां पे नो बोलना लॉग फाइल नहीं चाहिए वी डोंट वांट टू सेव द सीसीटीवी रिकॉर्डिंग देखो कर दिया कॉर्पोरेट सारा और आप आपने देखा है सबकी शेड्यूलिंग भी चेंज हो गई चेंज करेक्ट आप देखो मैनुअल भी कर सकते हो 
ऐसा नहीं है कुछ भी लेकिन अगर हजार एक्टिविटीज है पचास भी है तब इट इज वर्थ टू क्रिएट ए मैक्रो नहीं क्योंकि अगर आप पचास एक्टिविटी चेंज करने जाओगे उससे तो मैक्रो जल्दी हो जाएगा अब मैं आपको एक ट्रेड सीक्रेट बता रहा हूँ यू नो द क्लाइंट गिव्स मी ये प्रोजेक्ट उसमें कहता है कि सर इसमें ना ये देखो ये गलती से ये कैलेंडर लग गया इसके अंदर इसने जो हजार टास्क में लगा दिया मैंने कहा मैं एक दिन बाद दूंगा मैं ठीक है काफी मेहनत करनी पड़ती है बट सर वी वी कान डू बाय सिलेक्टिंग ऑल द एक्टिविटीज साइमल्टेनियसली एंड चेंजिंग फ्रॉम हियर हां साई तेजस आस्क्ड अ वेरी गुड द क्वेश्चन सो व्हाट ही इज सेइंग इज इज दैट सी लेट मी बट टेल यू हिज अ क्वेश्चन ही इज सेइंग इज इट पॉसिबल टू चेंज हाफ एक्टिविटीज टू कॉर्पोरेट एंड हाफ एक्टिविटीज टू आईएसटी यस इट इज पॉसिबल सो व्हाट यू कैन डू that you can include a third condition c you suppose you want to do it for activities which are beyond a1060 so you can include that condition also if the activity id is greater than 1060 then you do it you okay. can in- incorporate that so half of them will remain corporate and half of them will re- remain ist it is dependent upon further condition check okay you you can do it so that's not a problem if the activity id is greater than a1050 so it will be applied on that okay uh, now now if uh, now i am asking you to switch it back to the ist then what will you do will you do it man, 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 manually now no we will do it using the macro so go into the macro now you click on the apply ist and click on the apply change okay now click on the confirm commit changes click no so here it is so all the activities are now switched to the ist सर आपने जैसे बोला ये मिसाइल है जिसको नाम देना पड़ता है क्या ये मिसाइल के अंदर और छोटे मिसाइल भी हो सकते हैं एक ही मिसाइल के अंदर नहीं एक मिसाइल के अंदर एक ही मिसाइल आप एक और तैयार कर, कर लो ना देखो मैं यहाँ पे दे दिखाता हूँ आपको देखो अब मान लो ये जो है ये कॉर्पोरेट है इसका मैंने क्या कॉपी और पेस्ट तो मैंने इसका नाम दिया अप्लाई कॉर्पोरेट कैलेंडर टू एक्टिविटीज हाफ का मतलब है यहाँ पे मुझे काउंट जो है एक तो देना होगा ठीक है हाफ एक्टिविटी सो वट आई विल डू आई विल गो टू द मॉडिफाई अब इसके अंदर क्या हुआ मैंने एक और कंडीशन लाइन डाल दी एंड अब मैंने सिलेक्ट किया एक्टिविटी आई डी इज वट शुड बी द कंडीशन इफ एक्टिविटी आई डी कंटेन्स 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 वट कंडीशन कैन आई पुट it does not have contains does not contain ends with equals is not equal to so how start do with I, start with 11 it uh, starts with 11 yeah i can have that condition yeah if it starts with the a11 so you know what it will do it will work upon the last four okay mm-hmm. i say a yeah like this it will work so i don't need this line okay so what it will do because i need to find a pattern so here i am try, trying to match the pattern if any activity is starting with a11 so it will be changed for them so you know right now it is going to work upon these four only okay guys is this clear hmm okay now you click on the o, okay okay now now you fire it but sir we are not change that action no करो ना अप्लाई अप्लाई करो इसको सी देखो मिल गया ना चार इसको ओके नाउ कमिट नो 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 वी डोंट वांट टू सेव द लॉग फाइल सो नाउ यू क्लोज द क्लोज द टूल बॉक्स सो डू डू सी दैट इज दैट फाइन यस सो दैट आंसर्स योर क्वेश्चन so you should be able to find a pattern which is matching the target if you are able to find a pattern which is matching the target yes then you can create the macro right 
So we have to find what is the distinguishing ones. Also, see, activity ID is alpha. It is alpha numeric field. It is not a purely a number field. So I cannot say greater than one zero five zero. I have to find a pattern for that alpha numeric field. If I am able to match the pattern, then I am able to work upon that. Okay, is this clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Now I want all the activities to be back to the IST. Then what will I do? I will fire the macro apply the IST. You click on that. Yeah, now you fire this macro apply change. You know, it will find exactly the four activities which are not having the IST. Mm. And it will show you those only. Click on the commit changes. Now click on the no. Click on the close. Okay, guys, is this fine now? So you have learned how to create a calendar and you now understand you can have a mix and match of um, the, the calendar. See, if you want to change the, um, the, the calendar of a particular activity, suppose this one you want to be the corporate calendar. So what do you do? You go into the attribute here and you select the corporate. Immediately it will change into the corporate like a schedule. Do you see the timing has changed? Hmm. And if, if you want another calendar here, you put another calendar. So suppose if you want to use the 24 by 7 calendar for this activity, put it like that. There is no hmm. restriction in Primavera. But guys, remember, one calendar will be the default calendar. You cannot have multiple default. Why we, why we will choose the default? We will choose the default calendar, the one which will be more prevalent, more frequent to use. Right, guys? Is that fair enough? Yes, sir. The default calendar has to be the one because you know that, that, that will save you typing. Right? Would you put a default calendar as 24 by 7, which you are going to use only once? <laughs> okay. You are going to create 1000 activity and 24 by 7 will be used only once. And will you put it into the default? No, I'm sure you won't do it. So you will try to understand that where the majority of the activities will be scheduled, whether in India or the Middle East. So then you will make the default and rest you will, you can control by macro or you can do it manually. Both ways you can do it. Okay. Is it clear guys? Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. So you have learned the calendar. So uh, I think you have got the answer. Can we use multiple calendars? Yes. So um, then we have learned the macro. Macro is not only for calendar, but changing the calendar is the most complex one. So I teach that one. So easier macros are like changing the name, uh, updating the numeric field. You can do it. So that's not a problem. So the concept of the macro is clear. Now, what I'm asking you to do, Rahul, mm -hmm. I want you to fire the macro IST calendar and convert all of into the IST. Now, you don't even have to do it even for one single activity. I think it is very simple for you to fire the global change and do it quickly and without any mistake because even if a human being is making Pani Puri is for the last 10 years in a mechanical fashion, he can still be random. Quantity of the water in each of the Pani Puri will be different each time. But to get the same job done by a machine, the quantity of the milliliter of the water which goes into the Pani Puri will remain same. Yeah. Okay, so that is why we use the macros to do the repetitive task. Okay, fine. Now click on this, click on the IST. Yeah, no, no. You have already selected, you just click on the apply changes. So it will tell you first that which two are to be changed. So then you commit, right? So then you close the in interface. That's quick, no? Mm. Okay, guys, I'm pausing for questions. Any questions you have? Any doubt, any questions? Any creativity yeah. you want to do? Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. So it means that we have understood how the scheduling is done with the calendar. So calendar has created the schedule. So this is the schedule. Okay, start and finish time of the activity is called the schedule. And the overall schedule of the project is determined by the, the total combined effect of all the activities. Now, this schedule is tuned. Tuning happens. Okay. How the tuning happens by the holidays, by the critical path, by constraint, by dependencies, by activity types, by resources, 
So we are going to learn those. The schedule is born and then the slowly and slowly the schedule is worked upon just like a just like a jeweler works upon the gold to create a beautiful masterpiece right yes like, like a painter works on his paintings okay first he creates a base then he creates mm -hmm. the whole thing so you know when you are creating the schedule of a project you are creating a masterpiece after the schedule is correct if you apply the resource every calculation will be correct for the cost you don't have to worry about it okay okay fine now what we will do we will close this project. So this is a project. Lesson one is a project. So how do we close a project, guys? Which is the shortcut key we use? Control W. Control W, do it. Do Control plus W. Uh, sir, I have noticed that we don't save anything. It will automatically save. Ah, yes, absolutely not yet. Dekho. अगर फ्लॉप ये एक्टिव है अब इसमें क्या है कि प्राइमा वेरा में ना इंटेलिजेंटली उन्होंने प्रोग्राम किया हुआ है कि अच्छा आपने कंट्रोल डब्ल्यू किया है चलो सेव कर दो वो कर दिया कंट्रोल एस इसने अगर मान लो इफ यू सी द फ्लॉप ये एक्टिव सो गाइस देन यू शुड क्लिक हियर इफ द फ्लॉप फ्लॉप इज इनएक्टिव इट मींस दैट इट इज सेव्ड यू डोंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट इट सर ऐसा हो सकता है कि कभी-कभी सेव होता नहीं है सो वो फ्लॉप ही एक्टिव रहेगी ना आपने इस साइड पे नजर रखना अच्छा लॉबी अगर एक्टिव है उसमें दो बारी क्लिक कर दो बस खत्म और कुछ नहीं करना है ठीक है है ना अब इसको क्या करो मैं आपको बताता हूं व्हेनेवर वी आर वर्किंग विद मल्टीपल टीम सो वी नो वी आर क्रिएटिंग क्रिएटिंग मल्टीपल कॉपीज ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू वर्क विद द सेम कॉपी विद एंड एंड सो व्हाट डू वी डू सो प्लेसिंग योर कर्सर हियर हियर इटसेल्फ डू डू टू स्टेप्स कंट्रोल सी कंट्रोल वी राइट क्लिक नहीं करना कंट्रोल सी जैसा बोला बिल्कुल वैसा वैस ही करना है कंट्रोल सी करो यहीं पे और करो कंट्रोल वी यहीं पे कंट्रोल सी कंट्रोल वी यहीं पे ही करो नहीं हो रहा है देखो अच्छा आप एक आप आप एक काम करो आप ना राइट क्लिक से कर लो आपका कंट्रोल की नहीं चल रहा आप यहाँ पे करो कॉपी कॉपी करो आप ऐसा करो कि पेरेंट पे रखो कर सर की कर्सर ऑन द पेरेंट पेरेंट मतलब ये पोर्टफोलियो में लाओ ओके okay. अब यहाँ पे राइट क्लिक करो पोर्टफोलियो में नहीं नहीं हाँ यहाँ यहाँ पे राइट क्लिक करके करो पेस्ट करो पेस्ट करो अब ओके करो फिर से करो ओके फिर से करो ओके फिर से करो ये तीन तीन बार ही आएगा ठीक है अब देखो यहाँ पे क्या हुआ ओके okay. देखा इसने आईडी चेंज करके एक यूनिक आईडी तैयार कर दी डैश वन अब आप इसका नाम करो टू डालो यहां पे टू ठीक है अच्छा अब यहां पे अब लेसन टू का नाम क्या होगा वो मैं आपको बताता हूं अपनी वर्ड फाइल खोलो डॉक्यूमेंट फोल्डर में जाओ वर्क एरिया प्राइमा वेरा डॉक्यूमेंट जाओ उसमें हाँ मिनिमाइज करो देखो प्राइमा वेरा का शॉर्टकट दिया गया यहां पर नहीं दिया आपने अच्छा ठीक है कोई बात नहीं ये बना लेना शॉर्टकट ठीक है डेटा दे, दे, में जाओ वर्क वर्क के लिए हाँ देखो इसका देखो ये जो है ना देखो एक मिनट रुको जरा प्रेमा मेरा का एक सेकंड मैं शॉर्टकट डालता हूँ यहाँ ठीक है अब 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 ये हमेशा काम आएगा देखो अब हम आते हैं इसमें देखो आपने सिर्फ देखना है आप आप लोगों ने नहीं खोलना ये मेरा व्हाइट बोर्ड है ठीक है ना मैं व्हाइट बोर्ड में लिखता हूँ ना जैसे क्लासरूम में तो मैं वर्ड फाइल में मैं ये बताता हूँ ऐसे अब देखो ये नंबर टू क्या है पढ़ो इसका नाम The schedule is adjusted by critical path, non-working days like weekends and holidays. चलो weekend तो हमने देख लिया. अब हम देखेंगे critical path और ये holidays. तो यहाँ से क्या 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 करना है? Critical path और non-working days ले लो. इतना text. ठीक है. इसको करो copy करो इसे और copy करके वहाँ नाम में डाल दो. ठीक है. Copy. हाँ. अब primary में जाओ और नाम वाली field में इसको डाल दो. 
इसको जो है मिटा के पूरा इसको पेस्ट करो नहीं नहीं पूरा पहले इसको साफ करो ना पहले और पेस्ट करो हाँ और क्रिटिकल का सी जो है बड़ा कर दो कैपिटल लेटर्स कर दो ठीक है अब हम देखेंगे अब नॉन वर्किंग डेज और कौन से होते हैं छुट्टियों का दिन रहता है हमारी कंट्री में बहुत छुट्टियां होती है ग्यारह बारह छुट्टियां तो मिलती है साल में हर जगह पे है ना अब विच विच नेशनल वी हैव नेशनल आर लाइक ट्वेंटी सिक्स जनवरी इज फिक्स बंगाल दुर्गा पूजा इज देयर एंड इन महाराष्ट्र गणेश जयंती इज देयर ओके सो ऑल दीज आर डिफरेंट द हॉलीडेज वी हैव इन इंडिया सो वी कैन हैव ए कैलेंडर व्हिच इज द इंडियन कैलेंडर आई स्टेट देन वी कैन हैव अ रीजनल कैलेंडर आल्सो वी कैन हैव अ मिक्स एंड मैच ऑफ द कैलेंडर सो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू रिप्रेजेंट द हॉलीडेज एंड व्हाट इज द क्रिटिकल पाथ दैट इज आवर नेक्स्ट लेसन ओके सो बिफोर वी गोइंग टू द नेक्स्ट लेसन वी विल टेक अ ब्रेक सो राइट नाउ इट इज द 11:50 and uh, we will take a 20 minutes break and uh, we will meet at 12:10 10. right guys fine okay okay 12:00 to 12:30 baje milte hain theek hai to abhi abhi kya karna hai abhi recording ko pause karna hai apna apna pause karo yes and everybody please start your recordings okay now you open this lesson 2 right click and open okay now we don't need the calendar column so what we will do we will remove it okay to remove the column so we can do a right click here just do any right click here and go to the columns and you remove the column calendar we don't need it and click on the okay hmm okay fine okay since we are also done with the uh, i mean we are done with the setting up of the calendar we don't even need to look at the time part okay so whenever you make a changes to the layout you should save the layout click this save the layout because you just changed it na hmm and now what you need to do is that we need to switch off the time okay we don't want uh, such a long data we don't need to see the time so what do we do we go into the user preferences in the user preferences you go to the dates option dates and in the option dates you select the radio button do not show time and hold the screen hold it hold it here so everybody please confirm that you are here Okay, guys, you are all here, same to same. Teja, you are here. Okay, fine, good. So now click on the close button. So, so you know you can optimize on the field size also. Mm. So you just shrink this. Okay, okay, and make sure that this column is sorted. See, you should have the downward pointing triangle here, right? Hmm. Brian, downward pointing triangle should be here. Now you make these two activities as six day equal to six. All of them should be equal to six. You put here six days and six days. Small d, small d. 
small letter. Okay, guys, so you are all, all here. Okay. Now, if you look at this black line, guys, do you see this black black bar here? Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is re representing the overall duration of the project. Do you see this? So, this, this black bar is representing the overall duration of the project. Okay. Now, let us do this thing go to the activity the first one and make it as 10 days see that what happens if you make it as 10 days instead of six you put here 10 so so guys do you see that the black bar is following the longer activity right mm, correct. okay now now you go to the second activity the next one and make it as 12 days and see that what happens I know that you know that what is going to happen. Okay. So do you see that? Now the project du duration is equal to the longest. It means that the duration of the project is always determined from the longest network path or the longest activity. So activity can be the longest and combination of the activity can also be the longest. Is this clear? So, so the project du duration is going to be as long as the project is having some activity to finish at all. So until and unless we are not, we are not finishing the last activity, the finish date of the project will not, the finish of the project will not happen. The, uh, the conclusion is that the project finishes the moment the last activity in the project is finished. It means the last or the latest activity finish date is the finish date of the project. Is the is is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Now let us understand one thing. So, suppose if I relate three activities. So in fact, we will be doing the relationships later. But uh, suppose uh, so. Right now, if I join the activities, that is not going to take uh, effect. So so guys, uh, the, I'll I'll just tell you. So you know what uh, what the project managers used to do in the earlier days. They will take a red pen, and they will mark the longest activity with the red color. You know why? It's a very simple logic. If you look at it very carefully, the last date is coming from this activity. Is there any gap between the finish date and this activity? This activity is de defining the finish date of the project, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, just imagine that uh, I'm going to draw a black line in rest of the activities which are not touching the finish date. Okay. Okay. Now, guys, uh, tell me one thing. Very simple logic. Look at this uh, diagram care care carefully. Suppose a person is working on the critical activity, which is marked with the red color, 8 and 10, as on Rahul's screen. If a person is assigned on this activity, if he takes one day leave, will the project get delayed or not? Of course. Of course. Because this activity is de defining the finish date of the project. And if this activity itself is delayed, it is going to push the finish date of the project. So, you know, guys, what does it mean? It means that if the declared finish date of the project as promised to the client is changed, you look bad on the promise, right or wrong? Okay. Okay. You, you are going to look bad on the promise. So, you know, this is a professional commitment, any finish date which you have calculated. And then you said that, okay, we, found, we find our calculation to be good and correct. 
and we are committed to this finish date so that finish date should not change so that is why the longest path or the longest activity used to be marked by a red pen by the project manager this used to be identified as a critical path now they used to do some precautions on the critical path now a person is working on the activity number a1000 now this uh, this person comes to you in the middle of the project he says boss i need one day leave can you grant him one day leave for the activity 1000 just look at the activity carefully uh yes we can grant him because the uh, date is longer duration for the project uh, yeah we can say this activity is having two days gap from the finish date do you see that there is a two days gap so which which two two days gap let me uh, identify that two two days gap so this activity is having the gap of friday and saturday from the finish it means that the person can take one day and still he will be able to finish his activity at least one day before the finish so he has got two days gap so this is called float float means how much you are floating uh, away from the finish date so this is the meaning of the word float and sometimes it is it is called slack if you are working in microsoft project you will see the word slack or here it is called the float so float and slack they mean the same thing in the project management now why the software is not marking the longest act activity as the red color now that is the thing that is a very important question because you have to just uh, just imagine this software what happened when this software released in 1983 guys can you just imagine where where you were in 1983 you know in 1983 i was in the 10th standard i had no idea that what is project management and what is a computer i had heard of computers only in the science fiction i was in the 10th standard okay so computers are devices and uh, they are like humans and they are going to take take over the world mm -hmm. so that's what i had heard <laughs> so then i thought it's a very very far distant future i don't have to worry about it but computers are our friends so in those days in 1983 the computers which were really they were not as powerful as the primavera primavera was uh, having uh, more computing requirement than the cpu so what they did they made it in the non automatic manner if you wanted to calculate the critical path so first of all what you do you put in all the activities then press the scheduling button and go out for a tea, uh, cup of tea or coffee right so it used to work like that so the cpu that we have in our washing machine which is controlling the washing machine there is a cpu which is controlling your car dashboard they are much more powerful okay so now so what do you do so guys do you see this clock button here hmm? you see this this is the sh sh scheduling button on the panel number 1 so either you can click it from here or what you can do that you can press the f9 button you just move the zoom panel away you just slide it away just grab the zoom panel and move it to the left side yes 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 this is the scheduling button so scheduling button what it will do it will calculate the critical path okay now click this click this button click this okay so guys you are here okay in this you click the button schedule and it will immediately calculate the critical path for all the activities and it will mark the critical activity in the red color now guys do you see that uh, one of the activities on as on rahul screen i'm talking as on rahul screen not on your screen is in the red color okay now guys if you look carefully it is saying in the float column it is saying zero do you see that mm. it means that there is no gap between this activity and the finish date of the project that is the meaning of the zero okay is this clear the meaning of the zero float means that this activity is touching the finish date or it, this activity or this network path itself is defining the finish date of the project and this is no and on this activity it is saying float of 2 2 days do you, do you see that see so which 2 2 days of the float friday saturday do you see that so this act on this activity uh, if a person can go for a leave of 2 uh, days 
and maybe if he is honest if he comes back on time he can still finish his activity with the finished date of the project but if he takes more than two then the project will get delayed okay on the activity 1010 1010 or 1010 the person cannot take any leave and uh, this activity cannot be afforded to be delayed if this activity is delayed then the promise date of the project will be exceeded okay and then you will look bad on the promise it means these activities are having float and in primavera the float is represented by a black bar so all the activities which are on the non critical path they will be represented by this black bar like this so we will we will learn about that also so now what what happens is that it is not in the automatic mode so what i want you to do just go into this activity this first one and make it as 3 weeks you turn that into 3 weeks 3w now which one is the uh, longest 1000 or 1010 1000 it means that the 1000 should be the critical path okay now the software is in the manual mode so you will have to do it manually so click on the scheduling once again it will it will calculate click on the sh schedule now the critical path has been calculated do you see that the critical path has been calculated mm. okay now make this activity the first one also as 12 days the first one you reduce it back to 12 days now both activities are 12 but only one is showing red because it has not done the calculation okay now once again you do the calculation mm -hmm. once again you do the calculation then you, you you will see the result click on the schedule button clock button now what do you see both are red both are red now you might be feeling why can't we have the automatic now what happened that after some time when the cpus became powerful then the primavera started to give the option to convert the software into the uh, automatic mode if you have a powerful computer you convert it into i mean you switch it into the into the automatic mode now how to do it that i will show you click on this button click on this clock button and then click on the options click on the options button and then click on the okay i'll just pause here so 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 guys you are all here yes okay guys do you see this uh, the op the option this will automatically when a change of fx dates yes correct now only we will switch over to the because why the primavera gave this option because primavera was introduced at a time when if you were to calculate or, or automatically you know the system would hang there will be so much calculation so you know what they used to do it in the batch process so what the uh, what the project manager will do he will first enter 100 activities then he will click this uh, click the button for the schedule and then he will go out for it. and you don't think that i am exaggerating no the computers were slow and primavera is much more powerful than that okay now the now the computers are good for the primavera they have become very so that's why you tell people that guys you should have at least 8 gb ram okay okay now what do you do now you will click on the close button after switching on the check box close button and uh, you will say yes now you will click on the schedule so that it is implemented in the automatic mode okay now to check change the first one to 18 make it 18 you see that it is instantly be calculating the critical path mm. okay now just do this thing now turn both of them into the six both of them a 1000 and 10 then make both of them as six
Now, what do you see, guys? Here, all, all, all are all are critical paths. Why all are critical? Because all are e all are longest and all are equally longest, right? Yeah, I have done yeah. actually. In my yeah. system, it's not getting changed. Yeah. So in your system, you will have to set it into the automatic mode. I will come and help you out. Now you share your system. You share your screen. Yeah, now I'm going to guide you to do it. So first of all, you remove this column. You right click and remove this column. Go into the columns. Go into the option of the columns and send it back home by clicking this button. Okay, now click on the OK. And then what, what you need to do, you optimize the width of start and finish. Optimize their width. Just drag them closer. Yeah. Yes. O optimize the width. Okay. Now, what do you do? No, no. A predecessor detail, you keep, keep it short. Right now, you keep it short because we will when we come to it, we will expand it. Now, you bring the part, partition up to this place. Bring, bring the partition up to this point. Now, what do you do? Click on this button. We don't want the status line. Okay. Now, let us see if your uh, scheduling is in the automatic mode or not. First of all, you click on the activity ID to, click, uh, to keep it sorted. Okay. Now, you click on the scheduling button. So, this is the scheduling button. You share your screen once again. I think it happened. Now click on the scheduling, uh, this button has a shortcut also F9. If you are comfortable with shortcut, you can press F9 also to get this button. Okay, is this clear? Okay, now you click on the options, click on the options button. In the options, yeah, you have done it. Okay, good. Okay, now you now you close it. Close it, but you have to click on the sh sh schedule button to implement it. Because if you don't click this, then the setting won't take effect. Okay. Now, you can cross check this thing. Now, what do you do? You reduce this activity of 10, 10 to 6 days. You reduce this to 6 days and see the result on your screen. Okay, is this clear now? Okay. Okay. Now, all of them are longest and all of them are equally longest. So, that is why all of them are critical. Right? If I make any one of them longer than 6, then that will become the critical. The red col uh, uh, color will be there only and rest of them will become green. Okay. You want to check this out? Okay. Go to the last one and make it as seven days. Go to the last one and make it as the seven days. Now, what do you see? So this is the longest. So that is why it is being shown in the red color. That is the tradition. Okay. Now make it the five days and see that what is the result? If this is made the five days. Now this activity is shorter than the rest. So it is a non-critical. Now make it the six. Now this is also critical. This is equal to the rest of the critical activities. So guys, is this clear? Hmm? Yes. Okay. So your uh, now Prima Vera is working in the automatic calculation of the critical path. I am going to Rahul's screen. Now the million dollar question is that, why do we need to use the critical path? Yeah, that is the more important question. Okay. 
So we need to understand the project management. Okay, because in the project, critical path is identified and it is used for risk management of the schedule. Now, what is this risk management of the schedule? I, I will tell you in a moment. So first of all, you do this thing. Okay. So Rahul, you make this activity as 12. The first activity, A1000 as 12. You put here 12. Okay. Now this is the critical. Mm. Definitely it will be the critical. It is the longest. Longest. Okay. Okay. Now you do this thing. You, you select these two activities 10 10 and 10 20 you select okay you select 10 10 and 10 20 and right click on them you select both by using the shift down button now right click and there is an option here link activities do you see that link mm. click link on activities yeah, link activities link it so when you link this to activities, what happened? They are joined. Mm. They are joined in the finish to start relationship. In fact, I will be teaching you the relationship. That is the next lesson. I'm using the simple one. That is the that is the finish to start. Now, when you are connecting these two activities in the finish to start, what is happening is that it is also creating a duration of the twelve days. Mm. So it means these two activities com combination is also the critical path. So it is being shown as the critical. So in the critical path, one minimum activity will always be critical, but critical path can have more than critical path can have. There can be more than one critical path in a project. Right guys. Is this clear? Correct. Okay. Now what do you do that you go to this activity 1030 and make it as 12. Make the, this as the 12. So this activity is also critical. Now four activities are now critical activities and rest of the activities are non-critical. Now what is the difference between critical and non-critical? Let me draw the project boundary. So this is the project boundary line guys. Mm. Okay. See, is, is there any gap in the project boundary and the critical? No, zero gap. That is why you will see that in the critical activity, the float is zero. Do you see the float? Mm. Mm. But in rest of the activity, some float is there. Now what happens that uh, the earlier times, so what they will do, they will re represent the float with a black line like this. They'll draw a black line like this and th they will say that this is the period by which these activities can take an impact of delay but though critical activity can't be delayed if the critical activity is delayed then the then the declared finish date of the project okay declared finish date of the project will be delayed now how to put the float line here uh, automatically i've drawn the float line with hand but you can put the float line with the software. Now, what do you do? You right click here. Right click here. Okay, hold it. So guys, you are here, same to same. Yes. Sir. Now, yes. now you click on the, uh, the bars, click on the option bars. Okay, so guys, once you are on the option bars, so so what do you do? You click on this button and scroll down to the bottom. Scroll down to the bottom. In the bottom, you will see one option float bar. Another option as the negative float bar, you select both of them. Okay, like this, hold, hold the screen, Raul, hold the screen. Yes. Sir. So guys, please confirm you have selected both this float bar and the negative float bar. Okay, is this clear? Have you selected both? The float bar and the negative float bar?
Okay. Now click on the OK. If you have done that, click on the OK to in, in, implement it. So guys, do you see the float, float bar on the non-critical act activities? Okay. So these activities are ha having a gap of uh, how many days from the boundary? Six days. So which six days? So these are the six days by which they are ha having the gap. Do you see this? Mm. Monday to sa Saturday. Sunday will not be counted. Mind it. Sunday is a non-working day. Non-working day is not calculated as part of the float because it is a non-work day. Is this clear? So the float bar basically describes the remaining amount of the days. Working days. From, uh, from for criti critical, up to critical part. From the boundary line. From the project. From the of the finish date. What is the gap of the, um, the working days from the finish date of the project to the activity that is the float bar and if the activity is touching the boundary line so that float bar can't be there there is no room for the float bar so float will be zero right mm -hmm. so do you see this for these activities the float is zero you see that for the red ones so that is why the critical path now this knowledge of the critical path is good but what to do with this critical path i'll just tell you for using the critical path practically, now I'm going to tell you which the Primavera trainers, they do not tell you. We call for a critical path meeting like this. So no, nobody teaches this as part of the Primavera since I'm a PMP trainer and I feel that it is my moral responsibility to tell you. Those, who, or those of you who may have done formal project management training so they you might be able to you might be knowing what to do with the critical path but not everybody has attended any formal project management training so it is very important to tell this you have to call for a critical path meeting but when you should call for the critical path meeting when your project plan is complete and correct mm. Right guys, when the project plan is complete and correct, only then you, you should call for the critical path meeting. Now, how to call the crit critical path meeting? So first of all, you will switch to the filter. So guys, do you see a filter button on the top? It is on your panel number one. So you, if you can sh shift your zoom panel, you if you can draw uh, drag it to toward the left downside, so you can see your uh, top panel one. Okay, is this clear? Now guys, click on the filter and select critical. Click on OK. So guys, do you see that only critical path is re remaining on the screen? Mm. Okay. Now in the critical path meeting, what do you want to discuss? See, there are four kinds of re resources, men, machine, material, and cash. These four resources are required. You should call for the meeting. And how many people will come into the meeting? How many activities are here? Four. Four. So four activity owners will come into the meeting. 
four people will come. First question you will ask these people. So guys, what is the question? Are you planning a leave during the activity? Now guys, what will happen if he takes a leave during the activity? What, what will happen? The project uh, date will get okay. extended. Hmm. Yes, you don't want that. It looks bad. You have written a contract to the client. You don't want the project finish date to be uh, slipping away from the contracted date. It can attract penalties, heavy penalties. You should know liquidated damages. Do you understand? So if the answer is no, it's good. But what if the answer is yes? So then what you, you should do? Either you try to negotiate with him to take the leave before or after. If that is not the possible, so then you do do this. What did I write guys here? He has talked to HR manager for equally skilled resource. Much in advance because the people also take time, time to be selected. Hmm. Right? Okay. Now, the second question. Guys, read the question. What did I write here? Can allocated equipment break down? Now, what happens if the man is there, material is there, but the equipment breakdown happens then? Same. Date will delayed. Be activity will be delayed. Critical activity will be delayed and finish date will be pushed. Now, if he says yes, then what you should do? Okay, guys, what did I write? Are, yes, arrange for standby or send this for preventive maintenance. Yes, I believe you understand both. Right? Preventive maintenance. Every time you land from the aircraft, you have seen many people, they surround the aircraft, they are checking something. So they are doing preventive maintenance for the next flight. Do you get my point? Hmm. Can you stop the aircraft in the midair and do some maintenance? Or can you be transferred from one aircraft to another one in the midair? <laughs> still not, not possible. Ah, still not possible. <laughs> because the aircraft is flying on the critical path. <laughs> okay. So similarly, you are also flying your project. You are the captain of the project. And just imagine you are flying the project. If the project were a plane, it is flying on the critical path. Isn't it? Right or wrong? Correct. You can't even stop for a day because if you stop for a day, then the critical path activity will be delayed and that will basically cause a problem. Now, the third question. Third question is regarding the material. What did I write? Is, is there material whose supply can get delayed? Now, if the answer is no, you are fine. But if the answer is yes, then what you are going to do? So there are two things. So guys, what did I write here? 
yes buy the whole uh, lot now or arrange the alternate supplier yes mm. okay that makes sense because you cannot delay the project at any cost is that clear to you guys now yes sir you cannot delay the project at any cost now we come to the fourth question Okay, guys. What did I write here? Is there is any subcontracted task which uh, large funds approval? Which requires large funds approval. If the answer is no, you are fine. If the answer is yes, then what? Answer is very simple. Right? Is this clear? you complete the approval process be before the start of the project for all the critical path activities which require any funds approval for the subcontracted work right or wrong clear guys yes sir correct so you know these four are the resource risk they are known risk and a project manager should always try to prevent a known risk so what you are trying to do here you are trying to prevent or a work around okay arranging an alternate supplier is a work around and by the whole lot now is prevention if you buy the whole lot, so you have prevented the problem. So everything is there be, be, before you start the project. Okay, mm -hmm. is this clear? Yes, sir. And arranging an alternate supplier, you say no, we will not buy the whole lot, but we'll arrange a alternate supplier. So what is this called? This is called a workaround. Okay, is this clear? Workaround. Yeah, this is called a workaround. Okay, so when you are saying can the allocated equipment break down if you say send this for preventive maintenance you, you are trying to prevent the breakdown but when you are saying arrange for standby it is a workaround mm -hmm. so when it breaks down you will use the standby so guys do you have a fifth tire in your car boot fifth tire in your car boot yes what is that called step knee. you have a step knee there why mm -hmm. because that is a standby a standby uh, component okay mm -hmm. if by any chance if, if there is a i mean um, that flat tire during the journey you can use that one so you can continue the journey you can get it fixed later but be, before the journey long journey you should be sure that you not only have the tire but you should have the equipment to i mean to replace it to change it also because what happened that uh, once uh, I, I was out with my family during the night there was a flat tire the tire was there, but somehow the cab driver did not have the equipment to change it. Then he called his buddy. You know, it took him one hour to come in the middle of a highway. So he brought that, uh, just uh, he drove 40 kilometers to bring that uh, equipment. I mean, the step up jack. So that's very stupid. Okay. So we, we can't be a project manager. We can't be a good pro pro project manager if we do not arrange for prevention of any kind of resource risk in the middle of the critical path. So critical path have no room for delay. So every critical path activity should be evaluated in the critical path meeting. So guys, have you conducted the critical path meeting yet or not? If not, not a problem. So next time after your planning is complete, apply the filter and call for the critical path meeting. So that is the successful application of Primavera. Right? Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So, guys, critical path is clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, if the critical path is clear, so I'm going to teach you the near critical path. Okay. Okay, fine. Now, let us do this thing. Let us remove the filter. How to remove the filter? Click on the filter button and then you click this checkbox, all activities. No, not from there. Always use the checkbox on the corner, all activities. Suppose if you are using multiple filters, you might forget to remove one of them. Mm. Still then filter will be applied. So it is better if you cl click this, 
if you are using multiple filters all of them will be removed right guys is this clear when you want to remove the filter always click on this corner check box right all activities all activities means all activities now click on the okay so you will be seeing all activities as all the filters will be removed okay is this clear yes sir okay now guys tell me that what is the duration of the project 12 days 12 days fine okay now let us do this thing you just go to the top activity this one and make it as 15 days make this one as the 15 15 now what is happening that the primavera is marking since it is the longest it is being marked as the critical but definitely you will appreciate the fact there are certain activity which even though they are not marked as the critical you know but they are very near to the critical path do you see this these three activities are near to the critical path but they are not the critical path because technically their float is 3 days but do you see the float the amount of the float is very little do you see that mm. so what happens when you start the project what happens so you know after a week the three days float is uh, consumed and this becomes a new critical path so that can happen sometimes you know what happens the near critical path uh, becomes longer than the critical path and then it delays the project so we not only take care of the critical path but we should know the near critical path because the near critical path is not taught everywhere it comes from your practical experience okay so in your um, uh, beside tell me did they teach you the near critical path in your studies in your masters did they mention this yeah we have some form of critical path and uh, uh, during my first semester i read that one no no did they teach you the near critical path no 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 so guys be very careful it is the near critical path which will screw up your dash 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 okay so make sure that this does not happen to you in the real life okay now i am going to teach you that how to be careful about the new critical path yes the primavera has a feature for this suppose you say that we will consider any activity which is just only 3 days from the project boundary we will consider this as a critical so any activity which is just 3 days even short of the critical path will be considered as the critical only and we will prepare for those activities also as a critical path only so we will implement this rule so it means that the activities which are so let me mark them these activities will be also marked as critical path okay now mm -hmm. how to set up this rule of the 3 days okay so for that we will have to go to the schedule option so guys please click on the schedule button or press f9 if you can't see the schedule button you can use the f9 button function 9 okay so guys you are here yes okay now click on the options in the options so i am pointing out with a box do you do you read this text in the box uh, define critical okay. read it read it read it don't worry read it Read it. Total load less than or equal to. Hmm. Right now it is saying zero. Okay. Now what do you do? Instead of the zero H, you put here three D. Now click on the close. Click on the close. Click on the yes. now click on the schedule button so that it is implemented so guys what do you see all three are red why because the three element critical yeah the three days rule has been implemented hmm. if the float is 3 or less than 3 so they will be marked as the critical okay now what do you do 
make the duration of this activity of this one 1030 as on your screen as as the 11 days and see if it is marked as critical or non critical it is immediately marked as non critical because it is not touching the rule boundary the rule boundary is 3 days from the from the finish date of the project now make it as 12 Okay. Once you may make it as 12, 13, 14, 15, it will become critical. Okay. Okay. Now, now let us see if it is really critical or not. So you guys go ahead and apply the filter for the critical once again. Go into the but first. Uh, for me, the uh, second, third, fourth activities were not been red color. Yeah. So we will see. We will come to your screen also. So that's not a problem. First, you see that what we are trying to do with this. So you go ahead and apply the filter for the critical. Now click on the OK. Mm. I tried, I got it. Okay. Okay, I got it. You actually had to press the sh sh schedule button. Okay. Yeah. Once you clicked it, then it gets implemented. Okay, guys. Now, what you will do, you will call all these people for the meeting. How many? Four people. Now, this guy comes in. He says, boss, I have a float in my task. So, why I'm here for this critical path meeting? Mm. So, what do you explain to him? You explain to him this professionally. See, we have de decided that any activity which is three days, just only three days short of the project finish date, that will be also treated as critical and prepared like critical. Right? Correct? Mm. This is what you will explain to him. And then you will ask those four questions. Which questions? Are you planning to take a leave during your activity? Yes, no. Are you having a machine which can break down during your activity? Yes, no. Are you having any material which can run in the short supply during your activity? Yes, no. Are you requiring any um, large fund approval for third party activity or vendor or contractor activity? Yes, no. So you know what to do now? Mm. So you have to take care of these three things. 3M plus 1C. Guys, this is the formula. Okay to prevent any delay on the critical path, 3M plus 1C. So what does it mean? Man, material, machine, and, and cash. Cash. Yeah. Cash means money, right? Yeah. You have to make sure that any third party work which needs to be done, since we are not going to supply any man, machine, material, nor we are going to calculate, we are only interested in the result. But for that, to get the result, we have to make sure that we can pay him, right? We have the funds approval taken in advance right guys is this clear so that is why so now what we need to do that we need to remove the filter okay so first of all you remove the filter all activities okay fine now after the filter has been re removed we can see all the activities now guys we have to remove the rule how do we remove the rule? So we go into the scheduling button or you can press F9. So guys, if you can't see the button, so you can press F9. Now go into the options. Now here you put zero. Just put zero. Only zero, nothing else. No, no, first you clean it. Yeah, now close it. Close from the top. Say yes. And click on the schedule. And this rule 
will now be set to zero. Mm. You see this once again; these activities are being marked as non-critical, and float is being shown here. Do you see the float is being shown? Okay. Mm. So you have the float. So float count is gi gi given here. Okay. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Now. critical path and non critic in the near critical path is clear and what to do do with the knowledge of the critical path is this clear guys yes sir yes sir sai were you told this four points in your masters sai sai were you told this four points by your teacher that what four points you have to take care of after you come to know of the critical path no we don't have the uh... Uh, like so only we have some course modules only not critical path it's a uh, uh, like you know when we do project we need to study ourselves they didn't taught any so sai can you ask yeah. them for a 25% refund and pay it to me <laughs> <laughs> okay so you will become master of the master so you know in that college you tell them from next se semester i am going to train your guys okay <laughs> <laughs> if they don't teach you that then what project management will do can you just imagine you have been in london and paid <laughs> thousands of pounds and they didn't tell you this basic fact what it's, the, it's all gone through the covid only <laughs> no 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 covid or no covid project management remains the same you know yeah. let me tell you one thing during the covid you know people were wanting to i mean jump into my class i told no guys only six they said no sir <laughs> please give me see it is so 10 people okay i am okay sir. you are okay with 10 people i am not okay okay so during the covid this was happening but i kept i stuck to only six people only maximum seven if under pressure okay mm -hmm. okay so so basically you know i have created a i mean there is a group very strong group of very loyal students so we are interacting on the regular basis and you know there are some of my students even when i didn't have a whatsapp so we had created the um, google group mm. right? google message board you could exchange the you know all those students i shifted to the whatsapp and then the whatsapp number is increasing and i'm contemplating shift to the telegram because in the whatsapp the limit is up to 255 only okay so i'm going to cross that limit this week and many people they want to join some people they don't want to join but they're still in touch because in that group i am doing a healthy di discussion on primavera on microsoft project on pmp and jobs importantly for people okay so all my senior students those who have studied from me uh, during 7 8 years ago 10 years ago so they are now the job providers but i don't guarantee any job to anybody i don't promise i promise a good training the job will come to you okay guys okay so now now the next thing is that su suppose the company declares a holiday on the 3rd right company declares a holiday on the 3rd so the holiday will be implemented on the wednesday so guys do you see this bar mm. so guys what is the current finish date of the project what is the current finish date read it from 17th august 17th august 17th august good now if the company has to implement a holiday on the 3rd will it change the finish date of the project yes sir it will change na no? yeah change to which date 18 18 fine okay now i have a question actually yeah yeah please uh, the duration of the project is 15 days it's end up the 17th august so it includes the everything so they won't be change any holiday so they won't declare anything see right now the holiday is not there now if i make the wednesday day as the holiday definitely it is going to affect the critical path and it is going to push this this date here okay L let us see so that will answer your question so click on the calendar now i hope that your indian standard time is, is selected click on the modify now scroll to the month of august
Now place your cursor on the third. Click it. Now click on the button non-work. Okay, hold the screen, okay. So guys, everybody please confirm you are here and same to same. Confirm. Hmm? Same, okay. So this date, third of the August is going to be marked as the non-work after we click on the okay. So you click on the okay and click on the close and this will get implemented. So guys, after it is implemented, what is the finish date? 18th August. And you do you notice this bar, this gray, gray bar on the 18th? Mm. Yes. So it means that now 18th is a non-working day. And non-working day will not be counted in the float count. Okay. And the more non-working days you put in there into, into the duration of the calendar, the finish date of the uh, finish date of the project will advance. It will go into the future, 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 if you move. Okay. So is, is that clear now? Hmm? Yes, yes. Now I'm going to teach you that how to remove the holiday properly because sometimes the people put if by chance, if by chance, if you make a mistake, then how to remove it also, I'll te 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 teach you that. Okay. Now click on the calendar tool once again. Click on the modify. Scroll to the month of August. Place your cursor on the third. Now, many people think that if you want to make it as the work, uh, the work once more, so you should click on the work. No, actually, you should not use this button at all. Mm. Okay. You should be using the button standard. Okay. Okay. Let's see that what is the harm if I use the button work. So click on the work. Work. Yeah, work. You click this. Now it looks like white color. Now click on this detailed this detail tab. Now guys, just look at the structure of, of the day. So where is the break? Where is the lunch break? And it is starting at 8 a.m. You, you see that? Mm. Isn't it, isn't the schedule for the Wednesday gone wrong? Okay. Mm. Now you click on the standard. Now you click on the standard. So guys, what happens in a standard day? Look at the structure. I'm not getting the standard uh, button. It's been hidden. No, no, place, no, no, place your cursor on the third, Baba. Place your cursor here and go, go to the detail. You First you place your cursor on the third. Only then you will get the button. Okay. Now click on the work. Click on the work. And look at the day's breakdown. Do you think it, it is your schedule no it is a wrong one it is ending at 4 pm right and it is going to mess all the schedule for rest of the project because if one day is even wrong in the middle then rest of the start and finish date will go wrong so that is why you should click the standard if you want to remove a holiday note this point this is a fine point nobody will teach you okay nobody will teach you the near critical path nobody will teach you the critical path meeting. These are all practical things. I'm transferring my experience to you. Okay? okay. So if you click on the standard, it will become a standard working day. The working day template, which has been created by you, it is called the standard working day. So now this is removed properly. Click on the okay. And click on the close, close it. Now you check what is the finish date of the project. 17th August. 17th of the August. Okay. Now guys tell me who is not getting the 17th of the August and whose buttons are not working. I will come and check your screen. Do you want me to come and check? No, I got it. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. So so I am sure you are able to diagnose the problem and fix it. So, you know, so that is 
called self development and self development is very very important okay i will give you the training in such a way that you are able to learn further on your own you will become self learner you will learn something practical and from that point onwards you will continue to develop okay okay guys is this clear so critical path is clear guys yes sir near critical path is clear yes sir how to put the how to put the how to put the holiday is clear yes 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 sir. how to remove it is clear yes yes very good so this lesson is complete okay if you are not having any question so how to close this lesson control w control sir, sir one more question sir yes sir uh, that uh, uh, a near critical activity there if suppose there is so much near critical activity um, um uh, suppose you need a 10 15 there is a no uh, limit na as per we uh, we decide that uh, uh, days it is depend upon that only it is dependent upon my role now i'll tell you an idea mm. see guys it is natural that in any kind of domain in one month you can lose one day right one month you can lose one day yes yes um. suppose if you're losing one day per month so for one year what should be the near critical i mean uh, rule 12 days 12 days yes okay suppose if you put 12 days into the software you might be seeing lot of activities of the near critical now it is left to your choice whether you want to do some prevention for them or not it is left to you i cannot uh, suggest anything here okay i leave it to your judgment you know sometimes people say okay we will not put the 12 for the year we will put a maximum of 6 so if you put 6 so then what happens you say that for the 6 we will prepare for the rest we will deal if the situation comes up okay so most of the project managers they are happy to have a, a distance of 6 for the near critical path for one year for one year project so they say we can take care of the rest okay okay on the fly but for this activities which are nearly only 6 days from the project finish date we have to take an advance prevention right is this okay. clear okay sir okay so that de- depends upon your outlook and your calculation and your uh, experience okay that how do you want to take it okay so now what do you do you close this project okay so we have completed the lesson 2 so now you go into the word file and tell that what is the name on the word file rule number 3 dependencies legal lag time so what do you do you just copy this much you copy dependencies lead and lag time this much you copy and you create the lesson 3 create no first you have to create the lesson 3 then you can paste the name so what you need to do you can copy paste the le- lesson 2 it will create lesson 3 then you copy paste the name here okay copy yeah and paste it on the parent yeah you can paste it here also okay three okay yeah actually for there are three options so you just click on the okay 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 so this one you change the uh, code project id to lsn3 okay 2-1 you remove put here 3 and you can copy the name from the word file and put it here so that is going to create your lesson 3 because you have to do and copy once again one second yeah one second because that this is gone dependencies lead and lag time okay hmm good open okay guys so we are here okay now make all the activities 6 days the ones which are not 
make them six. Small, small, small letter. F lock. Small letter, always. Small letter in Primavera, in Microsoft Project, both. Very good. Okay, now what we are going to do, you switch on the bottom details and we are going to do some setting there. So you click on this button, details. Okay, guys, guys, I'm going to do some setting here and you will follow me and do the same thing. Okay, so first of all, what I want you to do, I want you to right click on the on this gray strip. Do you see this gray strip here? Predecessor, successor, next to it, mm. the gray strip. Right click here, you will see a, a right click menu. On the right click menu, you will select customize activity details. Okay, I am pausing here and you please confirm that you are here and then I, I will continue from here. So you are all here? Okay. Yes. Now I'm clicking customize activity detail. In the customize activity detail, I will remove these two fields, these two columns. I'm removing predecessor and successor. I'm sending back home. And from the right hand, from the left hand side, I'm selecting expenses. Then I'm selecting predecessors. I mean, no, I'm selecting relationships. Okay. After selecting the re relationships, I'm selecting notebook. Then I'm selecting WPs and docs. And I'm pausing. Just check the columns which I have selected. Okay, just, just have a look and you confirm that you have the same and then I will go to the next step. Yes. Okay, so everybody is having the same to same? Now I'm going to click on the OK. After I've clicked on the OK, you will have this set of the tabs here. So guys, please confirm you have the same set of the tabs here. General, status, resources, expenses, relationships, notebook, WPN docs. Same to same? Mm. Yes. OK. Now what we are going to do that we are going to so on Rahul's screen, there is a relationship. We are going to break it. So I'm going to break the relationship. I'm going to select 10, 10. I'll go to the relationship tab. And on the successor side, I'm seeing a relationship. Okay. So I'm going to click on the remove button and say yes. And all the relationships will be broken. So you should have the act activities which are standalone. Okay. We should have only standalone activities here. Can you please uh, repeat it? Uh -huh. So just select the activity which is having a relationship. And after that, after selecting that activity, go into the relationship tab and look on the either on the predecessor or the successor side and select the relationship and click on the remove button. Click on the remove button. Done. So guys, everybody has this same to same set of the activities here. Hmm? Done. Done? Okay. So what we are going to learn, we are going to learn the relationships. So relationships are also what de dependencies and we are going to learn the lead and lag time. So you know what the dependencies do? they further enhance the schedule. They are used to fine tune the schedule because activities can't be done like this. Engineering has got certain steps. Activities are done one after the other or activities are either done in parallel. Okay, so we will see that how we can further, I mean, represent the activities as they are done in the engineering. So there are four kinds of relationships which are there in the engineering and we are going to represent them here so that we get the correct schedule, right guys? Yes. 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 Yes.
Is this clear? Okay, so guys, you are ready for the next step? Yes. Yes, sir. In the next step, so what we are going to do, we are going to switch on the WBS tab. So guys, there is a WBS button on the left hand side. Can you click this button? Okay. Fine. So guys, you are on, on the WBS tab? Yes. Okay. Now in the WBS, we need certain columns. We need certain columns like uh, we need the duration column, we need the start column, we need the finish column. Okay, so we are going to apply these three columns here. Now, how to get these columns? First of all, we'll right click here. And then we will select the columns. And then we will select the customize. Okay, so what we are going to do that we are going to select the duration. So where will be the duration of course under the duration. duration group. So you expand the duration group, expand it. So guys, do you see there is a field BL project duration, you select it to the right side. And you bring it down, bring it on the rightmost side, like this. Done. So everybody, please confirm if you're done to this point. Yes, yes. Sir. Okay. Now you close the duration group, click on the minus button, close the duration group. Now you will open the dates group. In the dates group, you select, you just uh, go to scroll to the bottom, scroll to the bottom, you will find start. Hmm. And then you uh, select it to the right side. And then you select finish and select it to the right side. Okay. Now click on the okay, close it. Okay. Hmm. So, you know, what does it show? Actually, it is showing you the consolidate data of all the activities which are on the activities tab. So right now it is showing you 1st August and 6th. Okay. So it is showing you the consolidated. Now we are going to create four WBS groups to add a new WBS group. So you click on the add button on the right, right side. And once you click this, you will see a a row come up, you will go into the WBS name, you will not do anything in the code. In the WBS name, you type finish to start. F capital and S capital finish to start. To 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 start. Yes, correct. Correct. Press enter. So guys, you are done. So you are okay at, at this point. So guys, everybody please confirm you are same to same. Yes, sir. Very good. Now, place your cursor on the parent like this. Done? Okay. Now again, click on the add. Add. Add, yes, add. Add one more row and go into the WBS name and you type here start to start. You clean it and then you type start to start. Done guys, same to same. Mm. Now place your cursor on, on the parent and then click add. Click on the add once more. And in the WBS name, you type finish to finish. 
finish to finish. Okay, press enter. Now place your cursor on the parent and click on the add. And you add here start to finish. Okay, in the WBS name you write start to finish. Okay, now, now click on the activities. You will see that this WBS has been created here. Do you see that? Mm. If in activities. Yeah, in the activities you will see that these groups have been created. So the WBS, the structure is created in, in the WBS tab and it is utilized in the activities tab to group the activities here. Now, if okay. you is showing yellow so what you can do you can click on the refresh button the yellow co color will go it will show as green hmm. okay now what i want want you to i am not getting this can... what you are not uh, getting tell me the list uh, finished to the start start so you have to, to create finish, uh, finish to finish. in the double start menu, to you, you create it you see the look at the demo screen and you yeah, i am already done actually so you go to the activity steps, yes. refresh it, refresh, refresh. Click on the refresh the button, you will see at the bottom. No, it's only finish to start, showing only finish to start. Yeah. You're not for a few seconds. Interesting, so let's see what is new. So you share your screen. So let's see that what is the new thing which has happened. Yeah, so let me look at your WBS. So you know what, what you have done. So basically you have created like the, the parent and child child. So you need to shift it left. So it will come to the same level. So we need to, because I told you to place it on the parent. Okay, like this. Okay, now it is at the same level. Okay. Now you come to the activities, you will be able to see it once you re refresh it. So if you refresh, now you are able to see. Earlier it was inside it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, Raul, you share your screen. Okay, now guys, what I want, want you to do, that I want you to select the first four act activities, select the first four, uh, these four you select, Rahul, you select these four. Control X. Yeah, and you paste it on the first group that is the finish to start. Put it inside 3.1. Directly uh, paste. Oh, control V, control V. Now you select the next two and put it in start to start. 40, 50 you select, cut and paste it in start to start. Uh, it will come. No, no, do a control Z, do a control Z. Okay. Okay. Now select the first four and place it in finish to start. You do it once again. Control V. Now select the next two, 40, 50. Control X and put it in start to start. Hmm. All the four are coming. No, no, no. You do a control Z. I'll just show it to you. The four will not come. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold mm -hmm. it. Yes, sir. So what what you need to do? 
that you okay just give me the remote control i'll show it to you Okay, guys, you make it like this. Okay. So what do you do at 11, 100 and 11, 30? Hmm. What happened? What about 11, 100 and 11, 30? Have we deleted the activities? Oh, we, we don't need them. Okay. So we, if we don't need any activity, we just delete them. That's it. So if I want to create, I can always create. So that's not a problem. I need four activities in finish to start in the rest two. Okay, so is that fine, guys? Okay, now I'm going to tell you about the finish to start. So, okay, so so guys, are you uh, okay to continue or you want to take your lunch time? I think it's 2 p.m. now. I think uh, um, it will be torture if I don't let you have the lunch. Okay, so let's meet at, uh, let's meet at 3 p.m., okay? So, Right now it is two, let us consider this as two, because if I continue this, then we can't break the topic in the middle. Okay, so because uh, uh, some people might be having problem in, because there is a fixed time to serve the lunch in certain families, so we must. Oh. Mm. So just a moment, so let me look at your recording. So I believe that it goes if you disconnect. Yes, I was disconnected. Yes, so given to Gaurav, then binarity system, then Venkatesh system. Okay, so guys, everybody has it now? Yes, yes. Hmm. Yes, sir. Okay, so guys, so we will start with the finish to start. See, in the finish to start, I will give an example. And based upon that, you can bring up your example also. So I'll take an example from the civil engineering. In the civil engineering, oh, be, be, before I go into the predecessor and before into going into the relationship, it is better to understand the meaning of the predecessor and successor task. So Gaurav, can you please open the word file, okay? And can you remove this message? Uh, what is this? Okay. Okay. So the, in this, uh, in the, you know, now you open the Excel file also. Excel file. There is an Excel file. Yeah. Primavera notes. Yeah. Same name. It is an Excel. This one you click. Yeah. Click this. Yeah. Double click the Excel file. Uh, are you not using the mouse? You should use the mouse. Okay. Okay. So let me tell you about the relationship. See, in a relationship, there are two activities. Minimum two activities are required to set up a relationship. In the project management, there are two dependent two activities. So one of them is the predecessor. And one of them is the successor. Now, what is the meaning of the predecessor? English meaning. 
what is the english meaning of the successor see predecessor means ancestor and successor means descendant okay so in hindi predecessor would mean purvaj and successor would mean vanshaj but here in the project management the meaning is different okay so meaning is written here i am changing the color to red so rahul can you please read this text in the red color uh uh predecessor task is one is the one which control the start and, and or finish date of the successor task yes so basically predecessor is the boss so predecessor has got two dates so one is the start date right so and also the successor has two dates the start date and the finish date and start date and the finish date so there are two dates from the predecessor and there are two dates from the successor suppose if if i combine them both you know what happens 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 4 did you see that 2 multiplied by 2 okay let me put this up very very clearly 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 4 so it means that if i am setting up a relationship between two activities there are four possible combinations okay four 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 permutations and and uh, combinations are there so the first combination is the finish to start which is the most common okay in the finish to start what happens the finish date okay the finish date of the predecessor controls the start date of the successor like this and the relationship is represented diagrammatically like this as i have written so you will see that there is an arrow which will be starting from the finish date side of the predecessor activity and it will hit the start date side of the successor okay so it is going to start from the finish and it is going to from the finish it is going to start now what happens that in this so what is the dialogue between the two here is the dialogue so read this dialogue uh, when i finish then you can start hmm. so predecessor says when i am finished only then you can start if my finish date is delayed then your start is also delayed if i finish early then you can start early this is the dialogue between the two now we will look at the start to start in the start to start the start date of the predecessor controls the start date of the successor now here is the dialogue read this dialogue when when i start then you also start yes so it is technically required that when as soon as the predecessor is started it is good to start the successor task also at the same time you will see the arrow start from the start date and it will go and touch the start date of the successor so the base of the arrow is always starting from the predecessor note this okay note this fact in your mind base of the arrow is always starting from the predecessor okay. task now in the third instance it is finished to finish it looks like this now read the dialogue here when when i finish then you also finish yes so it is better to finish them both at the same time because it is advantageous and in the last one okay which is uh, rare but it is there so it is the start date of the predecessor controlling the finish date of the successor so read the dialogue if before i start you should be finished now there is one more condition here read this start date is predetermined yes start date is fixed and predetermined start date of the predecessor is not naturally calculated but it is pinned down on the calendar already predetermined on the calendar with a fixed date okay so you should keep this four facts in mind so we will do the simplest one first of all finish to start so finish date is controlling the start date of the successor so let us go into the into the primavera so i think you should close these two files so as to save some memory okay so your system is having 4gb ram now you switch over to the primavera 
and we will see the practical implementation. See, in the I've come to know from a lot of my um, civil engineering students that the first thing that they do on the site is excavation. So you write here excavation. New activity. The, yeah, in this one, you change the name to excavation. Excavation. Okay. After that, what do they do? You write the next activity name. They do PCC. You write in capital letter PCC. You don't have to write the detail, but let me tell you the detail. It is called plain cementing and concreting. Okay. Now, what they do next is reinforcement. So, the 1020 will be reinforcement. 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 Okay. So, press enter. And what they do next after the reinforcement that they do is shuttering. So these are four activities which are done in a sequence one after the other. So the next activity can only be done if the previous one is completed. Okay. So it starts from the excavation, then PCC is done. Now, how to represent the relationship? Yes. Now, this is very important. So step by step, if you have written the name, now place your cursor on the first one, that is the excavation. Okay. After that, so if you look down into the activity detail, you will see there is a relationship tab. Can you please select that? Okay. Now you push it up a little bit more so that we can see the more detail inside this. Uh, not too high, you can bring it down here. Yeah, up to here is fine. Okay. So now, so what do we want to do for the excavation? See, now let me show you the in interface in the relationship, you know, there are two blocks are here. One is the predecessor block. So you use this block to set the predecessor and one is the successor block. So you can use to set the successor. So, you know, in this, you can set uh, either the predecessor or the successor or both because an activity which is in the middle of the network will definitely have a predecessor and a successor. So excavation will not have a predecessor. Why? Because it is the starting activity in the project. Okay. Now what we are going to do, I want to set the successor for the excavation. So to do this thing, first I will go to the, uh, just a moment. First, what I will do, first I will go to the relationship and in the re relationship, I will go to the successor side and in the successor side, I will click on the assign button. Okay. So I will assign successor whom PCC. So PCC okay. is going to be the successor. So click on the uh, as, uh, as assign button. Now you expand this box a little bit so that you can see the full names. Expand it a little bit toward the right, you stretch it. Okay. Okay, fine. So now you can see the names. Okay, now you select here PCC. After selecting the PCC, you click on the assign button. And you close the box using this cross. So click on this cross, this box will be closed. Now guys, as you would note that by default, the relationships set is FS and the FS relationship is displayed here. Do you see that? Hmm? Hmm. The, the finish to start relationship is displayed in the Gantt chart. So where is the arrow starting from? Arrow is starting from the predecessor. Arrow is starting from the finish date and arrow is hitting the start date of the PCC. It means finish date of the excavation is controlling the start date of the PCC. Is this clear? Mm. Okay. But when you set up the relationship, what happens is that since finish to start is the default relationship, most common, it is set as a default. But you know, this relationship box is actually a drop down. Okay. You see that oh. all four kind of the relationship can be selected. But each time you assign the successor or the predecessor, by default, FS will be selected. Why? Because FS being the most common relationship, FS being the most common relationship, so it is set as a default. Right, guys? Is this clear? Mm, yes, sir. So in case you are going to work upon the start to start, so you will come here 
in this drop down box and then you will select uh, the other kind of the relationship here we just uh, revert back to the default that is the fs now what is the successor of the pcc which one reinforcement because after doing the reinforcement after doing pcc the next step is to do the reinforcement so guys uh, who are civil engineers here can you please confirm if the sequence is right yes yes okay fine now place your cursor on the pcc and we are going to okay now after selecting this click on the assign button on the successor side so now you select reinforcement and click on the assign button and close the box yeah close this so guys do you see that that the finish to start relationship has been established do you see that yes okay now which is the successor of the re reinforcement shuttering okay but if you ask shuttering if, if i place my cursor on the shuttering now guys tell me who is the pre predecessor of the shuttering reinforcement reinforcement so you can do the visor versa also from the shuttering we go to the predecessor side and click on the assign then we select reinforcement so we can do it both ways we can select a predecessor from the successor or we can select successor from the predecessor both are valid so click on this and select reinforcement uh, expand the box select reinforcement yeah yes now close this box okay guys do you see that do you see that the finish to start relationship has been created yes it is one and the same thing see if you if you place your cursor on the reinforcement shuttering will appear on the successor side do you see that hmm and if you are on the on the shuttering then reinforcement will appear on the pre predecessor hmm. side it is one and the same thing okay so you can set from the reinforcement you can set from the shuttering also okay so from both ways you can set okay now let us try to understand that what we are seeing in front of us so how does it take the effect we said that it controls so how how does it control just see now you go to the excavation duration and increase it to 8 days and see what is the effect on the pcc start date so pcc start date will move from the uh, from the 8th to the 10th do, do you see that the date of the pcc has changed and date of the reinforcement has changed see what happened when you increased the duration okay when you increase the du duration of excavation it pushed the pcc pcc pushed the reinforcement and reinforcement pushed the shuttering do you see that mm. so you know the predecessor is pushing the successor okay now suppose the predecessor says okay i am going back now you go into the excavation okay in the excavation instead of the 6 you put here 4 put here four so then what happened come back all of them are co coming back now the direction is reversed now since the ex excavation went back the pcc went back the this one went back and the shuttering also went back by two days it is like this so who is the controller predecessor mm. so any task which is a predecessor which will control the successor okay now see this thing now you make it 6 make it back as 6 as the excavation put 6 days then okay now you go into the reinforcement and make it as 8 days so which task it is going to impact it is going to impact only the shuttering yeah. only the shuttering not pcc only the shuttering because the successor of the reinforces reinforcement is shuttering only so these tasks which are the pcc will not be impacted nor the excavation will be impacted is this clear guys mm. so this is called the finish to start relationship so in the finish to start relationship so the predecessor is affecting the successor so you know any task in the middle suppose if you look at the activity pcc so pcc will have a predecessor 
and successor both. So place your cursor on the PCC and check out both the sites. Okay. Do you see that it has a predecessor and successor? Mm -hmm. Now place your cursor on the reinforcement. In the reinforcement also, you will find it has a predecessor and a successor. But if you place your cursor on the shattering, then you will see that it does not have a successor because it does not have a successor. This is blank mm -hmm. because there is nothing. Okay. That is, that is blank. Okay. Now, if you place your cursor on the excavation, you will find that it does not have a pre predecessor. This pre predecessor is blank. Why? Because it is one of the early activities in the project, earliest activity. So any activity which is the earliest will always be scheduled from the start date of the project. Always. Okay. If you set the start date to 1st of the uh, 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 August when you are creating the project, so all the activities by default will be starting from 1st of the August. Unless and until you, if you want to put a start milestone and you want to shift the date, you can do it. But by default, it will be the start date of the project. Right, guys? And start date of the project is always indicated by this thin blue line. Guys, do you see this thin blue line? Mm. This thin blue line represents the start date of the project. Okay, is this clear? Yes, sir. Okay, then now would someone like to give some example of finish to start or is it clear? Is it is it clear to you? Okay, so if you don't have any questions on the finish to start, then I will move to the start to start. To explain the start to start, I will give my example. And after I have given my example, I would expect you to replace my example with yours. I'm giving my example only to stimulate your thought process only and only to stimulate your thought process only. But my example will be removed. My example should, after the understanding, you should think from your project and replace my example with yours. Okay. My example goes like this. I'm doing software testing. Okay. So I, I write like this, your software testing. Now, what happens is that since the software has to be fixed also for the de defects, so I create another task, defect fixing. So, you know, normally what we will do, we will put the activities in a finish to start relationship. So, finish to start relationship can be simply put by link activities. You can clearly see that finish to start relationship has been established mm. since it is the de default one now guys i want you to notice the duration what is the total duration in the group 12 days 12 days so which is basically due to the fact that the two activities are happening one after the other in a sequence right so if the two activities are happening in a sequence so definitely they will be 12 days now let me tell you one thing so suppose this relationship, okay, I change it to start to start. Why? Because the software is not a physical thing. Okay, the software is not a physical thing. Now what happens is that if the software is not a physical thing, so I do not need to wait for the testing to complete. So what, what I can do that I can start the de defect fixing activity immediately after the testing has been started. I don't have to wait for the entire testing to finish. I say start the de defect fixing as soon as you, because software is just line of code. If one person has detected any de defect on line number 10, so he can move to the testing for line number 100. So meanwhile, line number 10 can be fixed by an another person in the system. So I change the relationship to start to start change it. You go here and change it to start to start. And this is technically valid. So after changing the re relationship, now look at the duration of the group. Six days. Six days, mm -hmm. right? You see that the duration of the group has reduced to six. Now this is the benefit of start to start. Now we have to do a dependency check. See, we should not allow 
just to put randomly, I'm going to ask you a simple and logical question. So everybody can answer this question. The question is like this. Suppose if I cancel, if I cancel the software testing, would I be required to do the defect fixing activity? Yes or no? Suppose if I don't do the testing, without doing the testing, can I do the defect fixing activity? No. No. It means that the defect fixing activity is dependent upon software Sorry. testing to happen, right or wrong? Correct, sir. Correct. Okay. So that is why I am setting up the relationship. So you must ask this question because if you do not ask this question, then we should not be linking to independent task because the defect fixing is not an independent task. It is a successor only because of the fact it is dependent upon the software testing to happen. Now guys, tell me one thing. Suppose if there is no one day match, can there be match fixing? No. No. So to do the match fixing, the first of all match date has to be fixed right or wrong. Mm. So it means the match fixing activity is dependent upon the cricket match to happen. Yes. So similarly, the defect fixing is also dependent upon, <laughs> dependent upon the software testing to happen. This is called dependency check. So dependency check is determined by what? By your technical knowledge. You know it that technically I should start software testing only after the testing, I will come to know the defect and then I can do the de defect fixing. Right guys, is this clear? Mm, yes, sir. Okay. That's why I will set up the relationship. If the <coughs> answer is no, it means that they are independent tasks. Then there is no need to do any relationship here. Let them be in independent, right? Okay. Now let me show you that what happens. Suppose if I ask my guy who is doing the software testing to change his date. So I, I, I tell him that please change your date to the next week. So he changes his start date. He goes into the calendar here. He changes it to the 8th. Now what happens? Hmm? You see that what happened? You move eight days. Both the hmm. both the task start date have been shifted. See, I only shifted the software testing. The defect fixing went along. Why? Because can the defect fixing start be before the software testing? No, because hmm. it has given relationship for start to start. Yeah, start to start. It can only start when the software testing will start. So it also shifts along with the predecessor, but automatically i'm only changing the one date only see i'm changing it for the for the predecessor only successor is just going by itself you see that so this is because i told you the predecessor controls the start and finish date of and or finish date of the successor task so this is the control now do you see a star here this is due to the constraint the constraint happens because i put the date manually i forced it Okay, now constraint will be the next lesson. I'm using the constraint only as a matter of con convenience. I'm not teaching it right now. I want to show you once I remove the constraint, what happens when I remove the constraint, the predecessor comes back. Did you notice what happened to the successor? Successor also came back. Do you see that? Mm. So when the predecessor came back to the first of the August, the successor also came back to the first of the August. Okay, is this clear? Because the uh, successor, okay. is, um, successor is under the control of the predecessor. So is this clear? Yes. Yeah. Actually, I'm not getting, can, can I share my screen? No, no. Are you not get, get, getting the concept? Are you not able to set up the relationship? See, first it is important to understand the concept. Yeah, understood. So concept is clear, fine? Concept is clear. Okay. Now, um, what you're saying is that you are not able to imp implement it. Yes, yes. Okay, fine. I'll check your screen.
Ya. Okay, guys, we are we have reached a very important point. Now let me tell you something, guys. Do you see that the relationship lines are missing? You see that? Hmm? Yes or no, guys? Say yes or yes. no. Yes, relationship yes. lines are missing. I'll tell you what happened. In the primavera, there is a little bug. Okay. Sometimes you know the relationship lines will go missing. So what you need to do? You click on the table. Venkat, click on the ta 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 table. Now that uh, now the Gantt chart is switched off. Now you switch on the Gantt chart. Now the relationship lines will come back. You see the lines have come back. Yes. Okay. Now we will talk about implementation of the concept. So you go to the relationship. In the relationship, can you see that the relationship type you have not selected start to start? You have to select the start to start. Now it is start to start. Okay. Now you want to see the implementation. Okay. Now you go go to the date here of the software testing. You change it to the eighth. Change it to uh, click on the calendar button. Change it to the eighth. And click on the yes. Do you see the successor is uh, tagging along? Yes. Okay. Change it to the fifteen. And see what happens. See, click on yes. It is going along. Okay. Now okay. it has it has been imp implemented manually. So you know it will it will get a start. It will have a date constraint. Constraint means say you imposed a li limitation. So how do you re remove this? You go into the status, and in in the status. So what do you do? You go to the constraint primary and you remove it. You say none. Immediately the predecessor will come back and the successor will also come back. So these four activities are actually part of the finish to start. So yeah. So these these are we don't need this actually. Oh, these four activities you have to shift inside here. And uh, these are the ones which are re redundant, so you can get rid of them. So you don't need them. Okay, these are the redundant ones, and you can close the group. Now we can focus on the start to start. So, guys, start to start is clear. Yes, hmm? sir. Yes, oh. yes. Okay. Uh, so that means that uh, if we remove the constraint, uh, the the activities get back to the uh, project start date. Yes, and the project start date started. is the only. And then the project start date is the main constraint reference. You can say the reference line. It is not a constraint. It is a reference. Constraint is a limitation. Reference is from where you start in life. So what is your reference of your start of your life? Your date of birth, right? Yes. If I Sir, why why just we can't change the date manually for removing? Uh, is it necessary to go to constraint and change it and yeah, set so it to none? Constraint is the next lesson. You park your question. Okay. Pardon. You just park your question. I will tell you next. But why are we changing the date? Just to demonstrate that if the date of the predecessor is changing, the successor date is also changing. It is to de demonstrate that portion because what is happening? If you look here carefully, basically what we are saying is that the start date of the successor is being controlled by the start date of the pre predecessor. That's what we are trying to prove. So to shift the data of the predecessor, we are using the facility of constraint. We are not learning the constraint or not teaching. Constraint is the next lesson because the curiosity has been created in this lesson. So my lessons are based upon curiosity. Each time you learn something, you will create a curiosity and you will find that it is the next lesson. <laughs> so it is designed like that. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. So. The constraint is a facility we are using for the demonstration of the predecessor date change, because the predecessor start date is basically what it is doing that it is grabbing the start date of the successor. It says, "You come with me." Okay, it is just like that. So if uh, if you are going forward, if you are the predecessor, if you are going forward, successor is going with you. If you are coming back, then the successor is coming back. To you. Okay, so it is like that. So predecessor start date is controlling the start date. Here, that is why the relationship is called 
start to start because it is useful to start the defect fixing activity in a software testing project with the start of the software testing why because the software is not a physical product but had it been a physical product then it would be finished to start because two two people can't grab their physical product at the same time right they can't hold it in their hands because one person has to do the testing make a list and give it to the next person only then next person can do the defect fixing okay so it is not detect fixing it is defect fixing because the de defects have already been detected defect fixing like this right so venkatesh is this clear so the the yes, yes, clear. has to be changed see if i use the the facility of link activities link activities will always put the finish to start which we can then change to the to the desired relationship okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to go to the rahul screen and rahul please share your screen okay now i'm going to tell you something that this was just an example okay now think of your projects past present future bring up a good example of start to start past present future project think you must have done it i'm sure so tell me rahul hmm tell me any example start to start uh so much work in the industry you should have some uh, example uh, sir it is a uh, uh, plate of cutting and grinding so right you you, you re replace the predecessor p you replace with the activity name whom uh, which you think is a uh, which you think is a the predecessor and then you write the successor okay just do it and there are many other people also here so they can also give the example yeah coming to start to start uh, for example when i'm going to Uh, start the reinforcement example first and then you explain to us okay you complete it yeah Rahul, i want to start the reinforcement yes, yes, then before you that i have the name completely type it mm -hmm. okay hello yes i agree with this plate marking and cutting okay so basically you can do it in a start to start okay now here is a i i, I will tell you suppose if you just started to do the cutting you will realize there are not enough plates around so what do you do so one of your one of your team member suggest like this he says sir ek ek kaam karte hain pehle ek din na plate marking kar lete fir agle din se jo cutting start karte hain Mm. Yeah. so that you have some good amount of a good amount of plates to start the work so what do you do you put here one days of the delay in the start to start relationship so you introduce a slight delay like this so how do you do it you go into the lag column and put here one day lag means delay so you will see that it is finishing in 7 days but it is still good because what happens that on the first day some large amount of the plates are marked and then mm. next day the cutting work starts and it goes on smoothly 
okay because you immediately start to do the cutting so you know what will happen the person who is go going to cut the plates he will have to wait so first day will be almost like more than half day will be wasted just waiting for enough amount of the marked plates mm. so let there be uh, one day of plates marking so when enough quantity of the plates are marked then from next day onwards plate cu cutting will be started so it right. means that it the relationship is still start to start so we are not waiting for the finish basically it is start to start why are we putting one day delay we are putting one day delay to create some quantity of marked plates right guys is it clear correct sir so start to start is still uh, efficient okay if you put it the finish to start then it will be 12 days now guys what is 12 minus 7 kitna hai 12 minus 7 5 ah. din to bach raha hai na hamara hmm theek hai na 5 din to bachta hai fir bhi guys is this example clear to you yes yes okay start to start we are putting a lag time so you have understood the lag time lag times we put a little bit of delay to create some quantity of the mark plates and then we do the work so we can use the lag for various reason this is one of the reason one of the reason for the lag time is basically to let the material curing time okay let the material cure it so suppose if you paint a room immediately if you start the decoration what will happen the paint is still wet the person who comes to do the interior decoration work so by their activity the paint will get smudged right is this clear the paint will get smudged so to uh, to uh, just just to just to avoid the smudging of the paint so what do you do you tell those people you just tell them just uh, keep the room locked for 2 3 days after 2 3 days when the paint is completely dry so they can go ahead and they can do the decoration work so is this clear guys mm. okay okay so start to start is clear now we will move to the finish to finish uh, sir it is, so that means it's not necessary to so for an activity uh, for both of the activities to have a single start date not they might have some exact same start date we put some delay so that some work some input for the successor is created because the plate cutting is a successor plate cut cutting cannot happen if some su sufficient amount of the marked plates are not available so exact start date is not a rule but there can be exact start date in certain in industry just like in the software we can do exact start to start because it is instant because it is not a physical thing okay if we yeah, so, uh, this is one thing jo plate karne wala wo marking wale se chhin chhin ke wo thodi na plate lega marking wala marking kar raha hai plate cutting wale ja raha hai chhin ke le raha hai aur keh raha hai yaar marking to hone de क्या नहीं मैं तो अभी करूंगा बॉस ने डाला स्टार्ट टू स्टार्ट तो ऐसा नहीं तो फर्स्ट डे व्हाट ही विल डू द पर्सन हु इज मार्किंग द प्लेट्स ही विल मार्क सम क्वांटिटी ऑफ द प्लेट्स एंड ही विल कीप इट एंड ही विल मूव टू द टू द रिमेनिंग क्वांटिटी द प्लेट कटिंग आई विल कम ऑन द सेकंड डे एंड ही विल स्टार्ट हिज जॉब सो एज़ सून एज़ ही इज कटिंग द प्लेट ही विल गेट सम मार्क प्लेट अगेन सो ही विल कंटिन्यू so he uh, so he is not going to waste his first day so all the days he is going to get the marked plates and continue his work right is it clear yeah venkatesh do you want to ask or shall i ask a question no no both the, of you uh, ask one by one yes sir that's what i uh, you you are yeah. uh, tell me your question i would like to ask actually i would like to when the if in the place of start to start uh before going to the excavation we'll uh, do the survey and marking so that the excavation and survey and marking would be happen in the same day ha huh, so that can happen yeah exploration and the marking it can happen yes that, that is okay okay so that is a start to start you don't even need some lag time there yeah okay yeah. so as soon as you're doing the survey you just mark it you just uh, put a you just do the survey with a gps device and you yes. create a google map and you mark it there you mark the coordinates on your stored data that mm. is the this is the point with the device you click the button and it will mark okay it will mark the coordinates okay in the in the gps data file okay is this clear guys uh, 
so sir the mm-hmm. in the example you gave in finish to start like uh, the enforcement pcc we can also give them the relation of uh, sorry excavation and pcc so they sh- they can also have a relation from start to start see with some you, lag if if you have not excavated the entire area you cannot do the pcc this is what i have been given to understand if you are a c- civil engineer and if you feel that you can do the excavation to pcc start to start with a lag time and if you can manage that if that is technically feasible for you you can do it there is no hard and fast rule so that means it's a subjective perspective regarding giving a relationship to it, a task it can sometimes be subjective but let me tell you let me ask you a very simple question suppose if i'm making a building okay without yes, the, if i have not done the excavation can i make the foundation not at all not at all i have to complete the excavation then i will make the foundation after making the foundation i can make basement minus 2 correct i then i can make basement minus 1 of course then i can make the ground floor yes one by one yes okay so can i make the ground floor and the first floor in parallel no no i can't do it because there are certain engineering process in which the the successor is dependent upon the finish complete finish of the pre predecessor suppose i am uh, there is one wall okay first i have to scrape the old paint so first i'll scrape the old paint then ap- i will apply putty and primer then i will apply the fresh paint ha- have you seen anybody doing on a single wall at the same time the part wall is being scraped no <laughs> we have not no, yeah we can do it on the four walls in the four wall we can put start to start if we ap- apply the first person to scrape the wall he will move to the second wall on the second day the person yes, yes. going to put the putty primer he will work on the first wall then the third person will come he will do the painting and so on they can move but if there is a single wall on a single wall these three activities necessarily will have to done in finish to finish to start we we can't o- o- overlap that because then it is not going to get you the desired quality it is okay. if you are trying to do these things in parallel then it is going to result in very uneven wall and very uh, unsmooth finish okay so the finishing will come if the person is applying the putty and primer so what is going to do he is going to put up a surface light and he will check after putting the light horizontally on the surface he is going to check that is the surface even if he is getting the shadows he is going to fill that he is going to do that re- repeatedly he needs the entire wall right or wrong correct sir okay after he has done then he will say okay let the wall dry for one day so that will be the lag time after that the painter will take over okay, okay. so that is ne- necessarily finished to start what is the finish to start first scrape the wall then apply putty primer then lag time then apply paint right correct this will always be in finish to start okay so there are certain situations which is called mandatory dependency mandate it is mandatory to finish the predecessor only then you can start the successor yes in some cases if you have the engineering skills to handle the activities without any effect on the quality or the risk you can change it to start to start but uh, there can be many places where the finish to start may be a safer option so start to start saves the day you can say yes definitely start to start saves the day we should look for in fact we should strive to look for the start to start but start to start should not be applied at the cost of quality and you should not do the start to start in case you feel that the quality will be lowered and the risk will be increased Okay. okay this fine so sure. you should not do the start to start in case you strongly feel the quality will be impacted negatively and risk will be increased so we don't want any kind of increased risk in the project we should be able to deal with the normal risk only we should not do it like during the covid times when there was no vaccine so everybody was asked to sit at home 
right? Because going out was very risky for many people and many people have gone out and then they have lost their lives after falling sick. Now, after the vaccination, so people are going out, so the risk has been reduced. Okay, so that's why the people, uh, if you looked at the UP election, many people were not wearing any mask. So you will not have a third wave because all those people, they have got two vaccines. Some even have the booster dose, the third one also. So the risk is not there. So in the project also, we go with the risk which is already known to us. We do not do anything which will increase the risk. We only go with the natural risk. We also always try to prevent it. So whenever we are doing any kind of the dependency, we should also look for the risk factor also. Is there risk factor in doing the task in parallel? Yes, risk factor increases when you're doing multiple, trying to do multiple tasks at once. Because you have to focus on multiple activities. There, there could be a say, situation that you might lose fo focus on one activity and risk can happen on on the other okay so that okay. Is, so sir. you have to make sure that if you are shifting from finish to start to start to start first thing it should be technically possible second there should be no decrease in quality and no increase in the risk okay tell me so being an in no wise planner it is always better to start from finish to start like if you no, are planning it's something. It's not always better. It is better to consult someone. To consult. And okay. You should consult because, you know, a lot of things have been done before you and me were born and they have been written into the manuals and they those data is available with the senior. The senior can advise us. Try to find project templates. You will find if you go to the internet, you will find a lot of project templates and you can basically, you know, you can basically talk to your seniors in a company and ask if your company has a knowledge base. Because many of the companies, those which are established company for last 20, 30 years, they're preserving their data in the knowledge base. So in the knowledge base, you will find that past projects which have been successfully completed, they're converted into examples. So you can use them as template and then you can plan better. You don't always have to do the work from scratch. So that is why we undergo training. That is why we, so you don't have to discover the Gantt chart. You don't have to uh, discover the theory of the project management. Okay. That is the thing. So you should try to find out that what has already been established and try to use it. Okay. Okay, now plate marking and plate cutting. So guys, this ex example is fine for start to start. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, we will do the finish to finish. Now I'll explain to you finish to finish with my own example. After that, I will replace it. Okay. So here you write here software development. Raul, you write here. So I'll explain to you what happens. My project is going on software development and it is a uh, five weeks project. You write here in the original duration column, five W, five weeks. Okay, now there is a guy in my team. He comes to me, he asks me that, boss, do you need a user manual? Ah, yes, sir. yes, yes, I need a user manual for this, yeah. So then he asked me, sir, when should I start writing the user manual? I tell him, it is not important when you start, but it is important that your manual should be ready when my software development is also complete. So when my software is ready, your manual should be ready because I will package the manual and the software to, together and give it to the client. It makes sense, guys? Okay. Now you write here, write user manual. Right here, write user manual. This is the activity name. Write user manual. Yes. And then I ask him how much time it is going to take. He says, boss, it is going to take me 10 days. So you put the duration as 10 days. Okay. Now, now guys, just, just imagine if I put it in, into the finish to start, just put it into the finish to start first. So from the successor side, you go to the predecessor side 
you stretch this up, push this up a little bit so that you can see the button. Yeah, you click on the assign button and you assign software development as the predecessor. This one. Yeah. Now do this and do this. So by default, it will be finished to start. So you don't have to worry about it. So guys, look, look at the duration. So what is the duration? 40 days. 40 days. But it's not a problem because if someone is writing the manual after the software development is complete, what is the problem? No problem. Technically, it's fine. Okay. Now, he says, boss, I'm going to take 20 days. So you write here 20. I say, fine, you take 20 days to write the manual. But now you look, look at the duration total. 50 days. 50 days? Mm. Okay, keep, keep that in mind. Then I tell him that why do you have to wait for the entire software to be completed? Why don't you start writing from somewhere in the middle and you just look at the screen as they are getting developed each day and you finish writing the manual along with the software itself. He says, boss, I can do it. So I say that I'm going to set the relationship to finish to finish. So it, you will get a tentative start date by which you can start. Okay, now you change it to finish to finish. Change it to finish to finish. Now look at the start date of, of this guy. You see the start date has been calculated by the software as 12th. Mm. Okay. So do you see what is the total du 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 duration now? 30 days. 30. Now guys, what is 50 minus 30? 20. So you have saved 20 days? Correct. Okay, why you have saved 20 days? The reason is right in front of you. Okay, do you see the overlap portion? What is the problem? If you start writing the manual with the partial software, then you move, move along as soon as the screens are getting developed and you write it into the manual. The screen is getting developed, you write it into the manual. On the last day of the last screen, you just close your manual. And the manual is ready, the software is ready. What is the problem? No problem, right? See, you see, if you give the give the project to a school child, 10th pass, he will put every task in the finish to start. Now, let me tell you about myself. When I started to do the planning work in Microsoft Project in 98, from 98 to 2000, you know, I was doing every activity Finish to start, finish to start, finish to start only. I had no other idea that there can be start to start or there. Now what happened during those times, I was working on small projects. So these projects were ranging from six months to one year. So that really didn't hurt. Now what happened when I went to the US, I got the opportunity to work on a large project. So large project I would call in the year 2000. So $50 million would be a large project for me. Okay, do you get my point? 50 million USD and I got designated as the project manager because the actual project manager could not reach. I was um, basically, I was a technical architect. So I was designing the diagram, whole diagram, the data storage and all the diagram. So I used to make diagrams on huge sheets of paper, just like uh, you have chart paper. I will do that. I was a specialized per person in that. So I would make those diagrams to show that how the client's entire business flow will be represented into the computer system. How the data will come from the various interfaces and get captured after the security check and after the hacker check and then it will go into the database, how the various kind of the users will get access to the data and what kind of interfaces will get the data. Okay, so this is what I used to do, but when I became a project manager, so one day my boss, he noticed my plan. He said, look, we have got a three years plan. I think there is a scope to reduce it by six months. I said, how? So then he asked me, don't you do many tasks in parallel? Yes, boss, I do. Then why don't you represent that in the Microsoft project? So I said, boss, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so how do I know in those days? There was no YouTube, not many books. So our only way to learn was the company training and the training you you would get from the bosses from time to time. Bosses were not only bosses, they were trainers also. Okay, so he told me about the start to start, finish to finish. 
relationship. He didn't tell me about the start to finish. He told me about the start to start and finish to finish. So guys, once I put the finish to finish, I was able to reduce the finish date from, I mean, the three years to approximately two and a half years. So which is quite good, quite a big progress in, in my uh, career as a project manager. Okay. So guys, is that right? It looks right now. Mm. Finish to finish. Hmm? Okay. Now guys, that is my example. Is the concept clear to you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Now what I'm going to do that since I have st 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 stimulated your thought process, I would like the example to come from your mind. Because if the example is, is coming from your mind and it looks good, to the rest of us, it means that you are now ready to use it practically. Okay. So you are ready to do the live project. Okay. So you go into your memory bank and look at any past project or maybe the some part of the current project and tell us what would you consider as a good example of finish to finish. Where finish to finish is an advantage. What, what is the advantage? If I'm uh, giving the manual along with the software, the user can use the software properly, right? Suppose if you bought a smart TV and you don't get a manual to use it, do you think that you will be able to use the smart TV to its full potential? So it means that any equipment you buy, it should come with its accessories also, right? And accessories take less time to develop or to make. So that is why they are put in the finish to finish relationship. Right guys. Okay. Now, please give me an example of finish to finish from your domain. Yeah. Uh, coming to civil, uh, finish to finish, it's uh, elevation and glazing work in the place of software development and the structure finishing of structure and finishing works. In the place of right, uh, right user manual. Yeah. So you uh, tell Rahul, you mm -hmm. write it. What he's saying, you first tell him the predecessor name. Hello. Yeah. Tell him what is the predecessor name. Glazing work. Glazing work, glazing, glazing. Glazing. Glazing, glazing. Glazing of the tiles, right? Okay. Glazing of the building. I mean, okay, uh, glazing one. of the building, right, right. Entire building, glazing. Yeah, it's a it's a quite a labor intensive process. Okay. Now, now what would you like to finish uh, along with the glazing? No. No. Cladding and finishing. So you can tell him the spelling. Acha cladding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cladding and finishing. So I think I agree with this. I have seen this happening. Yeah. Cladding with panels, right? Yes. Cladding is just the overlapping, no? That's a... I mean that those aluminum panels. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, correct. I, I agree with this. I can visualize this. I'm fine with this. I agree. So rest of the people, please try to understand from your friends. What are they trying to do? If you need a technical explanation for the finish to finish, so you can ask them, they can explain because I have seen this thing happening and I agree with this. Because I have worked on many shopping mall projects around my home. Okay, at least on five, six uh, shopping mall projects I've worked. What is exactly glazing? Glazing of building means? It's a glass work. Glass work? Yes. Okay, means uh, uh, that uh, a window glass or something that? Yeah, everything uh, elevation glass. Okay. Uh, first, we, we should fix the cladding, like for, for the supporting of glaze work. Mm. So then only we will finish the glazing. Okay, correct, correct. Okay. okay. Now I will come to the start to finish. Before I go to the start to finish, I will like to tell you some interesting situation. Okay. So let us minimize the primavera. So uh, Rahul, you uh, open the word file. 
primavera notes word file just go into just go into the primavera folder documents primavera notes because you know the start to finish many people make it very difficult to understand but i don't want to do it okay i will make it simple for you to understand i will give you the example from your own daily life okay so it is like this so guys please read this whatever i have highlighted here read it <clears throat> Read it, Rahul. Read it. Yes, sir. Uh, I have to catch a train that departs at five p.m. from station. Sec second is uh, it take one hour from home to home to station on the road travel. When should I start from home so as not to miss the train at all? Hmm. Tell me, when should I start from home? I should be able to catch the train. कितने बजे चलूँ? हम्म? राहुल? पांच बजे? अरे पांच बजे तो train जो है वो तो जाएगी भैया? तो वो जाएगी है कि पार्ट में यस कि पार्ट एट फाइव में टेक वन हार्ड रोड पे चाहिए तो कितने बजे चलना चाहिए चार बजे निकलना पड़ेगा पर आधा घंटा पर आधा घंटा तो इसमें मैं जो है चार चार बजे में निकला ठीक है रास्ते में क्या वाला बोलता है सर टायर पंचर हो गया दस मिनट लगेंगे मैंने कहा भी लगा दस नहीं मिलेगी ट्रेन क्यों मैं पांच दस पे पहुंचूंगा तो ट्रेन कहां से मिलेगी <laughs> दस मिनट लग गए ना एक्स्ट्रा तो <laughs> अच्छा अब नेक्स्ट में क्या हुआ कि मैंने कहा चलो अब मैं चार बजे नहीं चलूंगा अब मैं तीन तीन बज के पचास मिनट पे चलूंगा ठीक है अब हुआ क्या कि रास्ते में दस मिनट लग गए टायर चेंज करने में और एक और दस दस मिनट लग गए रीरूटिंग करने में अब मुझे बताओ ट्रेन मिलेगी कि नहीं मिलेगी नहीं नहीं मिलेगी नहीं मिलेगी अभी दस मिनट लेट हो गया तो मैं, मैंने क्या किया जब नेक्स्ट ट्रिप में गया तो मैंने कहा ये जो बफर टाइम है ना इसको थर्टी मिनट्स का अब हुआ क्या मैं घर से चला मैं साढ़े तीन बजे और करेक्ट साढ़े चार बजे मैं पहुंच गया अब मेरे को एक चीज बताओ गाइस टेल मी वन थिंग वट इज ए बिगर प्रॉब्लम वेटिंग फॉर थर्टी मिनट इज ए प्रॉब्लम और मिसिंग द ट्रेन इज ए प्रॉब्लम Missing the train. Missing train. Missing the train is a problem. Now, just just imagine that this is not a train but a flight, and that one in international flight. Okay, international flight. Guys, have you missed any flight? How why come you? Hmm. मेरे ख्याल से नहीं हुआ होगा. You may have never missed a flight. You the flights are costly to miss. No, flights are costly to miss. Yes, sir. You will always try to reach at least one hour at the in advance at the boarding gate, right or wrong? Right, sir. Okay. So you would never ever miss an international flight or any flight at all. Now let me tell you one thing. This is the start time of the train. Now start time of the train is five p.m. Now what the train is saying that you should finish reaching the railway station before I start. Right or wrong, guys? Right. They go. You are on the way and you feel that you will not be able to reach at five p.m. Can you call the station master or some help desk and ask them to hold the train? <laughs> no. No. Okay. Suppose if you reach the railway station at four thirty p.m. Can you ask them to depart the train? No. No, no. It means the start time of the train is fixed. Mm.
it is fixed and this time was known to you even one month in advance when you had booked the ticket right or wrong you can book a tickets in advance one month in advance two months in advance so what is the problem you know it okay start to finish is situation exist in many places suppose there is a movie starting at 5 pm and you reach your seat at 5 10 pm and the synopsis or the background of the movie is lost you are not able to see it now can you understand the story you will find that there are 10 guys five this side five that side then they are fighting dishum dashum dishum dashum and he will not be able to break the head and foot it yaar aapas mein ye mara mara kyu chal rahe hai to aage samajh mein story ha agar background agar nahi pata hoga to puri movie mein story jo nahi samajh mein aayegi ki bhai background kya tha aur kyun jo hai aise ye dushman dushman hai do parties ke beech mein nahi to isliye bahut hi zaruri hota hai we should know that in the project also there exists a situation in which there are certain activities in the middle of the project they have to be done according to the given time so that could be due to the resource constraint that could be due to the special request from the client also so mm-hmm. such kind of relationship is called start to finish because the start time of the predecessor is controlling the finish time of the successor the start time of the train says to you you should finish reaching the railway station before i start from the railway station right or wrong right sir because my time is fixed because if you come to the railway station later than me then you are going to miss the flight also tells you that the movie also tells you that right so 5 pm is not necessarily for a train it can be for a flight it can be for a movie also right guys is, so is this thing clear mm yes sir okay so we have got many situations in life which is start to finish like your exam suppose you if you have an exam at 5 pm and if you reach the test center uh, say at even 5 or 5 pm do you think they will let you enter into the exam hall you know recently a girl she reached exactly at uh, the time even she was not allowed because the instruction was written on the instruction sheet that you have to reach the exam hall 15 minutes before because 15 minutes be- before they will do the covid check and they will check your dress and all that compliances then you will be seated inside and exam will start at 5 pm so that girl was not allowed to enter i i believe that you must have seen in the news or in or in the so- social media also you must have seen right that the girl is crying on the gates for the medical exam neat but she was not allowed to enter because it's a start to finish thing so basically you have to prepare in such a way so that it is always better to be in a position to catch the start be- before the start okay do you get my point so you cannot delay the movie can you ask the movie theater people on the way to hold the movie no, no. you can't you can't do it for the train because it's a public utility you can't do it for the flight because the flight is also a public utility unless and until you have your own plane and your own pilot right is this clear so the start to finish let us see how to implement so now let us go into the prima vera okay so let us go into the prima vera and see how to in- implement it so you switch over to the prima vera screen okay i i will tell you the situation see i am doing a project in which it's a i am installing a 5g antenna okay 5g uh, mobile antenna okay so you write here activate 5g signal activate 5g capital g signal so this is something that i want to do okay now what happens press enter i call the subject matter expert because he is in the ratio 1 is to 5 so one person is going to serve or help five project why because this is a costly resource okay he is this requires a very highly qualified person to do this job and he is basically shared with the five projects now what happens is that i call up this person and i tell him the sir 
I want you to come on the 1st of the August and activate the 5G signal for me. He says, see, my dates are all already booked. I can come on this date. He tells me this date. He says that I can come on this date. So guys, tell me which date is this? Twenty-seven. So you you can count from here. Twenty-six. You have to count from here. This is twenty-two. Monday. Twenty-three. Tuesday. Twenty-four. Wednesday. Twenty-five. Third. Thursday. And twenty-six. Okay, you can count like this. So this hmm. the which date? Twenty-six. Twenty-six. So he says that I can come on the twenty-sixth of the uh, August and help you out. Then I ask him, so uh, what do you need to be ready before you come? He says that hardware and software should be ready in the mobile tower before I come. So just do, do this thing. Just go into this activity, this 1090 for Rahul screen. It is 1090 and you change the name to install HW and SW. Change it to like this. Install H H W. Yes, slash S W. Okay. Now this date will need to be restricted to the twenty sixth of the August. So what do we do? We select the task. You select the task. You select the activity one zero eight zero. Okay, we are going to put the constraint. No, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't relate. First of all, we have to set up the um, the, the constraint. So select one zero eight eight zero. Okay. Now go into the status. After going into the status, so what do you do? You go into. You have to raise this a little bit up. This way. This thing you have to raise up a little bit. Like this, okay. Uh, I think uh, just a moment. Let us create some more space. Okay. Yes. Now we have to select here mandatory start. You will find an option called mandatory start. Scroll down. You will find mandatory start. So you select mandatory start. And you select the date 26 August. 26 August is a Friday. Yes, correct. So select this date and click on the select button. Okay. So guys, do you see that immediately this activity is going there. And when you apply the constraint, it gets a star. Do you see a star here? Mm. So whenever you see a star, it means that this date has been set manually. It has not been calculated naturally. If you, if the naturally some date is calculated, so it will not have a star. But if you set any date manually, it will have the star. Okay. Now coming back to the main point, the main main point is that that this activity install hardware and software, it has to be finished before this activate 5G. So, you know, this activity should be placed uh, somewhere here like this. Okay. Is this clear? Mm. Okay. This activity should be placed here somewhere like this. Now, what do we do? So, we will first set up the relationship. Now, you go to the relationship tab, click on the relationship tab and after that, since we are already on the predecessor, we will select the successor. So click on the assign. Now select install hardware and software as the successor. Okay, now you click on the plus button. Now by default, what the software will do? Software always will put the relationship FS. So you select the correct relationship. So what is the relationship which is de desired here? SF. So you select SF, start to finish. Now, if you look at the start to finish, it is back to back. Would you like to take a chance? No, it is great risk. So you say that try to finish installation of hardware and software 
three days be before uh, be before the arrival of the software specialist. Why? Because he says that if you miss this date, then the next date I will give is in the month of September. So guys, would you like your activity or the project to be delayed by one month? No. No. So what do you do? You ask your team members to take the six days duration and plus finish these activities. I mean, finish this activity at least three days earlier. Now, if you want to put a three days, lead, three days uh, gap, so you need to put here minus 3D. So minus will introduce a lead time here, lead time, minus 3D. So this activity will get pushed. Enter lead. Lead means leading, means earlier. Now, what is 26 minus 3, guys? You tell me, what is 26 minus 3? 23. You see the 23 here? Mm. It is calculating backward from 26. So it is saying that you should, you should, yeah. So guys, uh, 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 someone would like to go to the washroom. So I'm pausing, okay? So, yeah. So, so when you come yeah. back, you just le let us know. Is the thing same look like yours? Okay, sir. Tell me. I'm back. Yes, sir. I just uh, did until just copied and paste here, and I just opened, mm -hmm. and I got this. Just show, sir, that start to finish activity. Uh, start to finish. Uh, start to finish is in the last one. Okay. In the start yeah. to finish, we will first set, set up a date a date constraint. So, yeah. So you close all, all this group and you expand the start to finish group. Approve my remote control. Yeah. Okay. So we are going to close all this group and we will only open the start to finish. Okay. Okay. In the start to finish, this is the activity. So let me expand the scale time scale so that we can see the daily. So in this, so what we have is that we have the start date, but I want this install hardware and software to have a gap of three days. I mm -hmm. mean, that is for the safety, which we call as the buffer. We call it the lead time. We want mm -hmm. it to be leading by the three days. So where will I put the lead time? I'll put the lead time in the, in the, uh, in the successor. Actually, this is a successor. This is not a pre predecessor. So mm -hmm. this is a successor. So install hardware and software is a successor so what you you will do that you will go into the assigned successor so they just do one thing yeah so you click on the assigned successor side on the successor side assign now install hardware and software mm -hmm. the successor you select and assign successor no for just one one thing one thing one thing sorry you're already on the successor here. Successor, yes. predecessor, yes, sir. Yeah. Now you click on the assigned successor and you select install hardware and software. Okay. So it is uh, why it is going to the start date like this. No. So you you change it to start to finish, start to finish, like this, and now you put here minus three D. So it will move ahead. So basically, you know what is happening. So have you put any date constraint here on this one? No, you haven't put. So this one is having a date constraint of 26th of the other. So this is fine. So this is fine, but why is it not scheduling according to the constraint? Yeah. Mm. Uh, let me see if your scheduling is in the automatic mode or not. Oh, automatic mode was not on. Okay, no, it is not. So before it gone to shut down, uh, doesn't uh, does it save automatically or uh, normally it's go with the flow? It has saved it automatically. If the floppy button is not active, so it means that it has already been saved. So you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Yeah. 
so that was the reason one was that you actually set the wrong side in the relationship second your scheduling it was not in the automatic mode so that is why okay so now it is doing this now let me go into the relationship see you need the relationship tab you don't need the predecessor and successor tab see now these two tabs are combined in one mm -hmm. see these two tabs are combined in one you need relationship you need expenses you need the notebook and you also need the wpn doc so you need this need this tabs so relationship is having both see if you look at the left side it is having the pre predecessor block and this is the successor yeah. so yeah so you can either set predecessor successor or both so okay. now if you look at the lag time in the lag time suppose if i put zero so you put here z0 into the lag time put zero first you will see this activity will stick to the it will come back and stick to the predecessor put zero you see that it, it is yeah. now sticking to it but we don't want to play like this it is just like uh, going to the airport just in time no, we don't plan like that we should be reaching the boarding gate at least 45 minutes earlier so that should be our target so yeah. you know we should be putting some time buffer which we call as lead time lead means early yeah. leading so i want the finish date of the successor to be leading the predecessor by three days so i put here minus three so what it will do it will do 26 minus three okay put here the minus three now look at the finish date you see this yeah it is 26 mi minus three and if you look at the placement it, it has been placed on the gantt chart three days earlier yeah so you so you have the opportunity this see you have got the six days time see you are using the full duration of the activity also you have the full six days and plus you have got the three days of the buffer so which three days so you know you will be having the uh, say tuesday wednesday thursday yes tuesday wednesday thursday by thursday you have to compulsorily finish so your first target date should be Tuesday. If not, then use Wednesday, then use Thursday. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Because the yeah. Friday, on the Friday, the specialist will come. So the Friday is the 26th. Now, if he comes on the 26th, he says that if I'm not able to start my activity on the 26th, I can give the appointment on the 26th of the September. So guys, tell me as a project manager, would you like to delay your project? No. You would not. So you would catch the earliest opportunity possible. See, similarly, as you would not like to uh, miss the flight, miss the train, or miss the movie, so why you should miss in the project? Yeah. Right? So that is the reason. Okay. Now let me switch to Rahul's screen, and uh, I think it will be good for all. Okay. So Rahul, you share your screen. So guys, tell me once again, any question, any question. So, you know, you just don't, don't worry about the time. Not in this batch, even in the next batch, you can come. So another person will come, maybe tomorrow he'll join from one year previous batch. So I told him to come. So if you have any question, you ask the question in the batch and everybody will benefit. Okay, now what we are going to do, we are going to learn about the constraint. So guys, everybody, please tell me, have you created this? in the lesson number four. Have you created these groups? Created in the yes, WPS, sir. this is the lesson four, date constraint, and these are the four WPS groups, okay? Okay, very good. So after you have created, go into the activities tab. Okay, now, what I want you to do, you select first two activities and put into the start on or after. Sir, after copying third lesson, fourth lesson in this activity, do I need to change all the names of? See, if we have copied, no, actually in the third lesson, what we did when we created a copy, we had deleted. So everything was deleted, right? We have started from blank only because I gave you the, I mean, the, gave you the lesson on the, what happens when you delete in the WBS. So we started from blank. Mm. Okay. So what do you do? You delete the existing activities. Just do one thing. 
instead of you cutting and pasting, you create, you go into the group and insert two new activities. Okay. But for Rahul, so what you can do, you cut first two act activity and put them, put them into start on or after. Select first two and cut them. And put them into start on or after. And next to you select, put them into finish on or before. Paste. Select the next two. Cut. Finish on or before. Yeah. Paste it. And count eight activities okay. and put them. Wait a moment. So it is same happening. Uh, I don't know why it is happening. So you you do it once again. Control X. Control X. Okay. You do a control V. Don't paste from the menu. Do control V. Yeah. Okay. Now you select eight activities and put them into mandatory finish group. Eight activities. So count eight. Okay, in the as late as the possible. Insert one. And in the primary and secondary. Insert two. Okay, it should be like this for all. So, so guys, please have a look at the demo screen and please create these activities like this. Then we will proceed. Okay, so guys, you're done. Okay. Now, we are going to understand the constraint with real life situation. So, rename these two activities as task one, task two. You write here task one and task two. and put them into finish to start relationship. Select task, no, no, select from the top. First you select task one, then you select task two, then link them. So, you know, link activity will create the simplest uh, relationship finish to start. Click it. Okay. Now we can see that the task two is uh, starting on the 8th of the uh, August as per the schedule. Now what happens? The person who is uh, supposed to work on the task two, so he comes to me, he says, boss, that I, I will be on leave in the current project. After finishing the current project, I won't be able to join instantly on the eighth, but I'll be joining your project. You know, I'll be joining your project on the, say, 25th. Mm. You see this date, Wednesday, 22, 23, 24th, he says. He will be joining on the 24th. So what do I do? So I tell the HR manager that I need a resource. Okay. On the 8th of the uh, August. Now what happens that after one hour, she comes back to me. She says that we are not able to provide a resource for very short duration. So, you know, we cannot provide people randomly since it is a very short duration. Why don't you put a constraint on your activity? And instead of it, place the activity here. So when he comes back, he can do it. Okay. So because if I put a resource for some period of time and he is going to come back and what happens that if I uh, give a lot of knowledge transfer to the substitute resource, 
but when he joins so it's not worth it because then i have to release the substitute resource okay so then i de decide that i will wait for him to join uh, since it's uh, not too long you get my point mm. it is not too long okay so what do i do that i put a date constraint so the name of the date constraint start on or after so this date constraint is to be put on the 24th it means that i can start this activity on the 24th or after the 24th so this activity is going to look like this okay so this activity will be placed here and it is going to look like this okay it might be in the red red color because if it is already one of the earliest activity which is in the last on the ending side it will be in red color okay so what do you do we need to apply the constraint so how do we apply the constraint in an activity so first we switch on the details of an activity you click on the detail button after you clicked on the detail button so just you can do a little bit uh, space constraint yeah so you can place it here i think you can still see the lower buttons you are fine now you will go into the constraint so where is the constraint the constraint is inside the status tab status tab okay so you know there are two kind of constraints in a uh, in an activity there are two kind of constraint so let me raise it up yeah so there is primary constraint and there is secondary constraint also so we will work with the primary constraint so in the primary constraint which we have to apply on the task 2 we will select start on or after so you select the constraint from here in the drop down you just go down scroll down if you go into the scroller you will see start on or after okay and what is the constraint date constraint date is 22 23 24th so select here 24th august 24th is the wednesday you select now what happens once you select 24th this activity is placed on the 24th you mm. see that mm. now since you have applied a start constraint you will notice a star comes up on the start date you see the star there mm -hmm. so guys keep in mind whenever you see a star on an activity you should tell yourself this activity has a constraint date constraint Me means it has a limitation of a range within which it can operate right so this date is not flexible so this date is has is a, is a it is a sort of a predetermined date so that is why it, it has a star okay is this clear when the activity has a constraint so it will have a star okay now do you see this dark black bar here see this dark black bar is the float which has been created because you push this activity away from the predecessor so float has been created and do you see the dotted line mm. see these two are separate lines the dotted line is the relationship it is the relationship line and the dark black line is the float bar do you see the flow float bar here Mm. so that is also the float bar the float has been created float means a gap has been created because you forcefully pushed away the successor by using a constraint right okay now what happens that as you now if you look at the float see the float column is here so what i will do i'll bring it in the front you see the 14 days you see this how do you get 14 6 days from here 6 days from here and 2 days from here you just count it so you uh, cannot include you cannot include the sunday not this 6 plus 6 plus 2 14 days float has been introduced now what we are going to do that we are going to increase the duration of the task 1 
increase it to two two weeks. So what it will do? It will advance here and it will consume the float. Two weeks. So what is two weeks? Twelve days. It has advanced. See, it has reduced the float. As it is advancing toward the successor, see, it is advancing toward the successor, but not yet pushing it. It will it will push. when the float will become zero yeah. now you make it as 3 3 weeks task 1 original duration put here 3 weeks put here 3 weeks and see that what happens you see that it is consuming the float as long as the float is there this activity will not be pushed but once the float is consumed now this activity will start to be pushed and if the float is zero for both the activities so this activity will also become critical so any activity which is having zero float will be marked as critical by the primavera now make it as 20 days from 18 make it as 20 so what do you see critical hmm? critical now it has touched it now if you increase the duration any further suppose if you put here 24 then what happens If you put here twenty four, the original duration. So then, what happens? Now it is starting to push. Now make it twenty eight and see that what happens. Twenty eight. See, right now it is the pushing. So it is now back to back. Do you see the? There is no gap here. Okay, but. what if you reduce the duration of the activity one the task one if you reduce the duration from the 24 to 18 so will it come back or will it uh, task two will will it uh, stuck somewhere make it 18 okay do you see that so you know it's a boundary of the flexibility for this activity the boundary of the flexibility starts from wednesday onwards because it this activity is not flexible before the wednesday but after the wednesday this activity is flexible now guys let me tell you that whenever you are putting a constraint you have to write the reason for the constraint okay so how do you write the reason for the constraint so you will notice that there is a notebook tab Okay. Come to the notebook. In the notebook, you will see on the left side, left side there is a notebook topic button. You click on the add, and you select constraints. Select the option constraint. Click on the plus button and close this box. Close it. Now click on the modify button so that you can write a note. so what is the reason you write it i am going to tell you you write right here you write the resource as assigned on task 2 the resource assigned on task 2 task 2 will be joining on 24th onwards 24th august onwards right so that is the reason for putting the constraint okay guys is this clear the resource assigned on task 2 will be joining on 24th august onwards okay now you click on the okay click on the okay okay see whenever a person is looking for a reason that why this constraint is put so he can refer to the notebook and he will be understanding the reason why see normally i would not put a constraint 
I would let every task, every successor to start freely immediately after the predecessor. But why I am doing that? Because the person will be joining on 24 August onwards. So till the 24th, any activity, the predecessor activity will be completing itself and it will be giving the output and wait. Right? Okay. Is, is this clear? It will give the output and it will, the output will wait for further process till the resource joins. The resource could be man or machine. It could be anything. Right, guys? Is this clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Fine. Now, what we will do that if this is clear, then we will go on for finish on or before. Tell me, guys, if you have any questions. See, we need date constraint because sometimes we are not having the resource immediately. We are sometimes not working in a very ideal situation. It is not like that. Okay. Okay, now if it is clear, if you are not having any questions, can we move on to the finish on or before? Hmm? Okay, fine. Now, in, to understand the finish on or be, before constraint, so you create this task 3 and create this as task 4. Right here, task 3 and task 4. Okay. Task 3 and task 4. Uh, sir, can you please allow me for recording? Oh, who is that? Sir Gaurav. Oh, yes, I understood. You must have got disconnected, right? Ah. Yes. Okay, fine. Okay. Task 3, task 4. Okay, press enter. Press enter. Okay, now select from task 3 and task 4. Go in the sequence. First you select 3 and then you select 4 and then you link. Sir, is it always necessary to select uh, three after four? Sorry, four after three for linking the task. Now you right click and link. Okay. Yeah, but tell me what is the question? Uh, sir, is it always uh, necessary to select while linking the task? Is it always necessary to select the first one and then the second one? Good question. Just see that what happens. If I don't do it, so then what is the repercussion? Okay. So let's have a look. See, let me remove the relationship. So, you know, the prime of error remembers the sequence of click. Suppose if I'm selecting task four, then three, and then linking and see, Look at the right side. Actually, you know, in in some cases, you know, the, what it does, it will make the task four as the predecessor and task three as the successor, which we don't want. If, if I want the task three as the predecessor and task four as the successor, then you have to do the sequence. Suppose, let me see if it is doing that or not. If I link it like this from bottom to up, so it might link in the reverse order. It is right now it is not doing, but I will just show it to you. Yes, it does. Yes, it matters. So what do you click first? So it goes first and what do you click next? It comes next. Okay. So right now it is not doing that, but I will give you the demo later. So it is always very important that you click in the sequence, click in the same sequence in which you want it to be linked. So if you want the number three, task number three to be the predecessor, so you click it first and then you click on the task number four, like that only. Now these two tasks, they're starting back to back, right? Do you see any gap? No, there is no gap. So task four is starting immediately. So when I was planning, you know, there, there was a guy who is assigned on the task four. He comes up to me, he says, boss, that, uh, you know, my last day in the company is this one. This is the last day. 
so he says that he is not available on these days not available right it is like this do you get the point mm. so, so what is this date so this date is the 20th of the august so i asked him that what happens he says look i am not a permanent em- employee of the company so my contract is finishing on the 20th of the uh, august on this date and if you are as- assigning me any activity or a task make sure that the my activity is finished on or before the 20th but it should not go beyond the 20th because i will not be there so what should i do as a safeguard since he has already told me so i will select task 4 and i will create a constraint okay because you know still the predecessors are being planned so there is a good chance that it will be pushed so guys l- let me tell you one thing see once his constraint is applied you will see the float will be gone this this part of the float will be wiped out right okay now l- let us see that what happens if i set a date constraint till the saturday so what is this date so this date if i calculate backward from 22 22 21 20, 20 so this should be 26 pm okay now you select task 4 in the task 4 you will apply the constraint go into the status and you select to finish on or before finish on or before constraint here yeah correct and you select 20th you select 20th 20th and 18 18 is perfect click on the select click on the select okay so do you see that his uh, his uh, float has been trimmed till the 20th do you see that see it is because of the constraint and because of the constraint you will see a star on his the finished date do you see a star here mm. hmm so the star comes up on the finish date right so so you can see a star on the finish date and also you can see that the float line has been trimmed up to the so so till this date you can basically increase the increment the predecessor if you want to increment the duration but the last date by which this activity can be completed is the 20 so this is the boundary line so i'm drawing the boundary line here so guys is this clear okay now after having drawn the boundary line i will try to push it i will try to push this activity beyond the boundary line now what do you do go to the task 3 duration and make it 2 weeks so you you will notice something that the that uh, uh, this will become zero the float will be oh Uh, this float has actually this is supposed to be twentieth. So mm-hmm. let me see. This should be six pm. Oh, it has become zero zero. No, this should be eighteen. Eighteen hours of the twentieth. So the float is exactly zero. Do you see that the float is exactly zero? Right. Mm. Okay, float is zero because you have pushed it to the six pm. Okay. 6 pm of its uh, constraint date now what happens if i push it beyond that so what if i push it by more than 2 days so you make the predecessor as 14 days and see that what happens make it as 14 no no predecessor task 3 task 3 M- make it as 14 okay so you know what is happening here that it is forcefully getting changed actually they should remain at 6 pm So let me switch switch on the time. So guys, just a moment. So give me the opportunity. So I will switch the time. The time should be basically it should be six p.m. Okay. So guys. now let me show you something i am going to introduce you to the negative float i'll tell you that what is the meaning of the negative float so guys do you see that in the 
float in the total float column it says minus 2 mm. you know what is the meaning of this minus 2 the meaning of this minus 2 is that you are jumping the boundary by two days now where is the boundary i'll just show you the boundary line see this is the boundary line do you see this fold here in this ye yellow ribbon do you see this fold mm. this is the boundary line okay and you are jumping the boundary line by two days which two two days see no 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 monday and tuesday mm. monday and tuesday you are taking extra so the sunday will not be counted because the sunday is a non work day sunday will not be counted monday tuesday monday tuesday is the extra two working days because sunday is a non working it really doesn't matter non working days they don't count in the scheduling part okay and the monday and the tuesday you are taking extra from which date from the saturday if you if you count from the saturday then the first working day is the monday and the next working day is the tuesday so two working days you are taking extra beyond the boundary you get my point so do you see this yellow ribbon this yellow ribbon appears if you are trying to use more time than planned i mean you you are trying to use more time than you have on your schedule okay so that is the reason that this yellow ribbon appears so yellow ribbon rep represents the negative float okay is this clear guys yellow ribbon represents the negative float so negative float is not to be worried about basically you know it is primavera it is a friendly gesture from the primavera it is telling you like a friend that you have done a miscalculation so please correct it so what you are going to do so immediately you will call your engineering experts and you will tell them that guys so we have to reduce the duration of the predecessor please tell me if we can add more man and machine resources to reduce they say yes boss we can reduce it to the 12 days so you make the task 3 as the 12 so you put here 12 instead of the 14 you put here 12 okay guys guys so we are technically fine so technically we are fine but guys would you like like to plan back to back do you think you would like to take a risk like that no would you like to go to the airport back to back you say the take off time is 5 pm and you want to reach the air, um, the boarding gate at 5 pm do you think it's a good plan it's a good idea to plan like that no not you need some buffer so what do you do you tell your uh, the engineering team further so guys can we have some float can you reduce the 12 days to 10 days they say yes boss we can reduce it we will increase the man and the machine power and uh, we will increase the number of men and machine further and we will reduce the task 3 to 10 days so go ahead and reduce the task 3 to 10 days and see what happens guys do you see this black line so black line is showing you the positive float so positive float some amount of the positive float is good right guys mm. so what is the meaning of the negative float meaning of the negative float is that you are creating a budget for your household like this a person is having a salary of 50000 and every month he is having a budget of 60000 do you think that it is possible for long mm. Hmm? no negative budget is not not advisable and nor it should be followed suppose if a person is having an income of 50000 maximum amount of money that he should be planning to spend is 50 only but it is good to have some float so which is like some savings right so is this clear yes sir so this uh, software can tell you if you are having a negative float at the planning stage itself but how it it is facilitated by the constraint suppose if you don't don't put the constraint guys if you don't put the constraint then what happens if you are not putting the constraint then what happens the float will go till the end of the end of the project okay and you have the time till the end of the project but in case if this person is saying that boss i can work on the task for till the 
20th of the August. So you should put the constraint. So after you put the constraint, so the primavera will warn you in case you jump the constraint. So how does the jumping the constraint looks like? It looks like this. See, it looks like this. Do you see this ye yellow ribbon? So guys, please take a mental snapshot. What is the meaning of the ye yellow ribbon? The meaning of the yellow ribbon is that it is a negative float. Means that you are trying to use more duration in the project, which is not available to you. Mm. Right. So you have to correct your plan. So but I can't see the black dotted lines on the yellow one. No, there won't be any black dotted lines. The the, the relationship line is here because the relation is is back to back. The dotted line will come if if it is if there is a gap in the relationship. So here the relationship is back to back. I can't see yellow lines even. No yellow line you will see if you okay. So just follow me step by step. You right click here. You right click here. Done. Okay. Yeah. So after doing the right click, you will see the option bars. Yeah. In the bars option, you just scroll down to the bottom like this. Yeah. In the bottom, you will see there is an option negative load bar. You select the checkbox. Yes. Okay. After that, you click OK and the negative load bar will come here. So we need to see both the positive float and the negative float also because too much of the positive float is also not good. Okay. So, so do you get my point? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Sir, there is one doubt. Yes, it's good. Uh, sir, I followed you. I followed your steps uh, like the activity name, task three, original duration, 14 days, start mm -hmm. date, finish date, everything. Mm -hmm. In my system, the total float is showing minus three and in your system, it's showing minus two. Yeah. So, you know, that is because of the time part is getting messed up. So I will switch on the time part and then I will set it. So you share your screen with me. I'll, I'll tell you exactly what is happening. Actually, when we switch off the time, we, we are not sure that what time the predecessor and successor is ending. So they should be ending at 6 p.m. Okay. So it is only because the time part is not vi visible to us. So that is the confusion. Okay. So what I will do, I will go into the user preferences. In the user preferences, I will select 12 hour format. So I'll be able to see the time when it is finishing. So this constraint should be applied 20th of hour. It should be valid till till the 6 p.m., not 12 a.m., 6 p.m. Because we have to use the whole day till 6 p.m., right? So I'm scrolling it till I reach 6 p.m. So it is the 6 p.m. time and it is the 20th. Now, do you see that it is minus two now? So what is the 6 p.m.? The 6 p.m. is exactly, uh, exactly here. Here, you see that? Exactly at the end of the day, the 6 p.m. Right? Is it clear now? Whatever oh, you are on the mute. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, if I if I reduce the predecessor by two days, put here twelve, so it will jump back by two days. Now, what happens? So the float will become zero. Okay. So right. zero float is technically fine, but practically it is not fine because it is like taking a risk. It is the risk of missing the flight, right? It is just exactly like that. So, you know, whenever we are trying to catch a flight or a train or a movie, we make sure that we are able to reach the designated place before the time, before the flight, before the train. Before the so, so, so positive float is something for which we have for the safer side and the negative float primavera uh, uh, tells us is like you are in a risk factor. So you, you need to uh, increase your uh, float. Yes. So basically, Primavera is not asking us to increase the float. What the Primavera is saying that it is the <laughs> negative float. Now it is up to you. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Okay. Negative float is something which is unrealistic. So you are trying to spend money which is not there with you. 
आपकी जो तनख्वाह नहीं है वो आप स्पेंड कर रहे हो किसी की तनख्वाह पचास हजार रुपए वो महीने में साठ हजार रुपए की प्लानिंग कर रहा है कहता है इतना ऐश करेंगे ये करेंगे दस हजार रुपए का हम एक्स्ट्रा घूमने जाएंगे ठीक है हो सकता है इफेक्टिव आपको किसी प्लानिंग इज दैट मीन सर की उसको फ्लोट रखना है हाँ फ्लोट रखना जो है प्रैक्टिकेबल है ना भाई देखो आपकी गाड़ी में स्टेप नहीं रहता है कि नहीं रहता ऑफ कोर्स रहता है सर है ना और नेगेटिव फ्लोट का मतलब है चार पहिया की गाड़ी पे तीन तीन पहिया लगा के चल रहे हो इज द नेगेटिव फ्लोट अच्छा जीरो फ्लोट क्या है कि स्टेप नहीं के बगैर चल रहे हो रिस्क लेके चल रहे हो सही बात है चल रहे हो ठीक है ना अच्छा पॉजिटिव फ्लोट का मतलब है एक स्टेप नहीं रख ली करेक्ट अच्छा अब मैं बताता हूँ कुछ लोग बस दो 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 स्टेप नहीं भी रख के चलते पता कहाँ चलते हैं मैं आपको बताता हूँ जो लोग जा, जाते हैं ना माउंटेनियरिंग एक्सपीरियंस उनका एक्सपीरियंस है कहता है कि एक ट्राई एक कई बार उबड़ खाबड़ रास्ते में कई बार टायर जो है वो फट जाता है बिल्कुल डैमेज हो जाता है वो क्या करते हैं कि दो स्टेप नहीं लेके ले चलते हैं साथ में मैं बताता हूँ और क्या लेके चलते हैं टायर इन्फ्लेटर लेके चलते हैं ये बार 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 जो है वो स्टेप नहीं चेंज करेंगे मान लो कि टायर ठीक है ठीक है गाड़ी बहुत ज्यादा जब चलती है ना तो गाड़ी अप डाउन अप डाउन जब करती है ना तो धीरे उसमें हवा जल्दी निकल जाती है हम तो शहर में चलते हैं शहर में जो है तो गाड़ी चलती है नॉर्मली बिल्कुल फ्लैट उस पर सर्फेस पे तो हमारी गाड़ी में हवा भरवाने का टाइम है हफ्ता दिन दस दिन दो हफ्ते में चलता है अगर पहाड़ों में जाओगे अगर उबड़ खाबड़ रास्तों से जाओगे आपको हर रोज की जर्नी के बाद आपको एक बारी हवा जो है टॉप अप करना पड़ेगा तो वो, वो उसको हम कहते हैं फ्लोट तो वैसे ही जो है प्रोजेक्ट में क्या है प्रोजेक्ट में अगर मान लो कि आप जो है कोई एक्टिविटी कर रहे हो और वो टेक्निकली कॉम्प्लेक्स है आपको पता है कि ये एक्टिविटी बहुत स्मूथली नहीं होगी तो हम एक काम करते हैं उसमें थोड़ा सा फ्लोट ये बना के चलते हैं तो इसकी स्पीड को जो है वो बढ़ाने के लिए जो ओरिजिनल स्पीड है उससे थोड़ा सा एक्स्ट्रा मैन मशीन डाल देते हैं तो कोशिश करते हैं कि इसे जो खत्म हो ग्यारह को मान लो कोई टेक्निकल प्रॉब्लम होगी तो वो ग्यारह को नहीं खत्म होगा तो बारह को होगा तो एक दिन का फ्लोट कंज्यूम हो जाएगा करेक्ट करेक्ट लेकिन मेरी जो फिनिश डेट की जो कंस्टेंट है अब मान लो जो आदमी जो टास्क फोर पे काम कर रहा है उसने तो पहले मुझे बोल दे सर मैं बीस तारीख को जाऊंगा तारीख करेक्ट करेक्ट है ना तो मुझे तो ये कोशिश करनी है कि उसके पहले जो प्रीडिसेसर है उसके काम को मैं ये नहीं कहूंगा तुम छह दिन का काम पांच दिन में कर लो मुझे तो प्रीडिसेसर को ही कंट्रोल करना है ना करेक्ट है ना ठीक है ना मैं उसको ये थोड़ा ना बोल सकता हूँ कि भी मैंने ज्यादा टाइम लिया तो मैं काम करो अपने छह दिन का काम अब करो पांच दिन में पैसा हाँ, नहीं हाँ, बोल सकता हाँ, ना मैं उसको मुझे तो मेरे हाथ में जो प्रीडिसेसर है उसी को कंट्रोल करूंगा मैं इसलिए मैं उसमें थोड़ा सा फ्लोट बना के चलता हूँ ताकि दोनों दोनों टास्क अपने हिसाब से बराबर टाइम के पहले खत्म हो हाँ, अब वो टाइम कहाँ पे है वो टाइम की जो कंस्टेंट है वो उसके टास्क में क्यों उसने तो मे, मेरे को बोल दिया अब जो, मुझे जो बोला वो मैं लिखूंगा ना इधर में नोट नोटबुक में नोटबुक मुझे नोट करना पड़ेगा कि भाई कंस्टेंट मैंने डाला है तो क्यों तो आप इसमें लिखो एड एड इसमें लिखो इसमें सिलेक्ट करो कंस्टेंट वी शुड सिलेक्ट दी रीजन फॉर द कंस्टेंट ओके क्लिक ओके इसके बाद ना इसको क्लोज कर दो ये जो टूल बॉक्स है ना इसको इसको क्लोज कर दो ओके okay. अब इसमें जाओ ये मॉडिफाई में जाओ मॉडिफाई अब मॉडिफाई में लिखो द रिसोर्स असाइंड ऑन टास्क फोर The resource assigned on task four is available till twentieth of August. ठीक है ना देखो बिल्कुल सिंपल सा लिख दिया रीजन ट्वेंटीथ ऑफ अगस्त तो इस इसीलिए हमने कंस्टेंट लगाया अच्छा है ना समझ में आई के बाद अब कोई आदमी यहां पर आएगा अगर मान लो आपका प्लान आप जो है दे तो किसी और को यूज करने के लिए आप प्लान बना तो जरूरी नहीं कि आप आप ही काम करोगे एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली सही बात है प्लान दिया तो exactly. उसने देखा कि यार इसमें तो कंस्टेंट डाल रखा है एक मिनट रुको देखो यहाँ पे वो फिनिश डेट को जब देखता है ना उसको स्टार दी दिखेगा हाँ. तो तो दे, अरे ये तो बीस तारीख का कंस्टेंट दिया हुआ है तो वो नो, नोटबुक में जाएगा अगर थोड़ा सा समझदार होगा तो तो समझदारी दोनों तरफ से चाहिए वो भी नोटबुक में जाएगा और उससे पहले आपने भी नोटबुक में नोट डाल दिया बना लेना चाहिए हाँ। तो आपने क्या किया इसको एक्सप्लेन कर दिया कि भाई ये 
जो 20 तारीख की जो टाइम लिमिट है ये इसकी वजह से है ये आदमी 20 तारीख तक रहेगा तो जो है हम टास्क जो है हमें 20 तारीख से पहले इसको खत्म करना इसलिए तो, उसमें जा, उसमें ज्यादा छेड़खानी भी नहीं कर सकते इसका ये भी मतलब हो सकता है हाँ उसमें भी ज्यादा छेड़खानी नहीं कर सकते वो भी हो सकता है ठीक है ना तो कई बार क्या होता है कि प्रोजेक्ट के बीच में कई बार रिसोर्स जो है वो अवेलेबल नहीं होता या कुछ भी होती है तो द वर्ल्ड इज नॉट सो परफेक्ट रिगार्डिंग द रिसोर्स ये नहीं कि हमें आ, मतलब कि जो भी कुछ चाहिए वो एकदम से मिल जाएगा बड़े बड़े प्रोजेक्ट में क्या होता है जो बड़े बड़े रिसोर्स होते हैं ना वो लिमिटेड होते हैं बड़े साइज के क्रेन ये कोई हैंड टूल तो है नहीं कि हर आदमी को एक एक बांट दिया यू गेट माई पॉइंट दीज आर बिग इक्विपमेंट मान लो रिसोर्स आदमी नहीं है मान लो इक्विपमेंट है कोई बीस टन की कोई क्रेन है कोई जे मशीन है कोई बहुत बड़ी सी कोई बुलडोजर है तो यू नो दीज रिसोर्सेज दे आर शेयर अक्रॉस मल्टीपल प्रोजेक्ट्स अब आपकी कोई प्रोजेक्ट चल रहे हैं तो आपको जो टाइम दिया गया है तो आपके रिसोर्स मैनेजर ने बोल दिया आप इसको लो गौरव आप इसको जो है लेके 20 तारीख तक काम कंप्लीट कर दो तो अब आपको क्या करना पड़ेगा कि यू हैव टू एक्ट स्मार्ट एंड यू विल मेक श्योर दैट ऑल योर प्री प्री डिसेसर दे विल नॉट पुश दिस एक्टिविटी बियॉन्ड द ट्वेंटी अच्छा है ना तो कंस्टेंट होती है जैसे मान लो कि एग्जाम आपका बीस तारीख को है अब आप क्या बीस तारीख तक प्रिपरेशन करोगे नहीं जब करता तो मैं 20 तारीख तक नहीं करता था प्लानिंग मेरी प्रिपरेशन 10 तारीख तक कंप्लीट होगी 10 के बाद जो है उसको फिर से मैं ये रिवाइज करूंगा बराबर स्कूल में होता है कभी ऐसा कि भाई बच्चे का एग्जाम जो है वो पहली मार्च से होगा और सिलेबस का कंप्लीट करवा रहे हैं 28 फरवरी को होगा क्या कभी ऐसा स्कूल में नहीं होता स्कूल वाली कोशिश हो जाती है कि चलो अगर बच्चे का एग्जाम बोर्ड की तरफ से एक मार्च को हो रहा है तो इकतीस जनवरी को सिलेबस जो है कम्प्लीट करा दो फिर बच्चे को रिविजन का टाइम दो बराबर बराबर तो इसलिए हम जब वो बफर टाइम होता है जो रिविजन टाइम तो ये जो टाइम है ना ये जो टाइम है ये आपने रखा है अनसर्टेनिटी के लिए यू कैप्ट इट फॉर अनसर्टेनिटी ऑफ दिन अनसर्टेनिटी ऑफ सम काइंड ऑफ टेक्निकल ग्लेज यू डाउट इट दैट समथिंग कैन गो रॉन्ग सो इन केस समथिंग गोज रॉन्ग देन वी हैव दिस टू डेज ऑफ द बफर एंड विच इज सफिशियंट टू गिव अस दाइम टू करेक्ट सम रॉन्ग सिचुएशन सो वी आर एबल टू complete the job of the task okay. force before the 20th okay so that is why use the uh, we use the constraint finish on or before that is the purpose it is for the purposes of schedule safety okay theek hai ab maan lo ye aadmi specialist hai ab ye 20 tarikh ko jab wo chala gaya ab to rok nahi sakte ab iske jo chhuta hua kaam hai fir aap jo hai wo wait karte rahoge yaar उसके जो है वो उसके जैसा आदमी कहां से मिले इक्वली तो फिर हो सकता है उसके आगे जो काम है कोई और काम है प्रोजेक्ट में वो फिर लटक जाए है नहीं तो इसलिए कोशिश ये होती है कि हमें अगर किसी कंस्टेंट के बारे में पता चल जाता है पहले तो हम इसको प्राइम वगैरह में अप्लाई करके उसके पहले ही हम प्रिकॉशन ले लेते हैं ले सके ठीक है सो गाइज इज दिस क्लियर फिनिश ऑन और बिफोर जी सर ओके फाइन now we will do the next one i will i will uh, move to uh, rahul screen yes rahul you please share your okay now we are going to learn about the mandatory finish dekho mandatory finish abhi main samjhata hu aapko bade aaram se kyunki kuch logo ko lagta hai yaar ye mandatory finish to yaar ye bada mushkil hai ye kyun itna sara activity dal rakhe mandatory finish samjhane ke liye देखो राहुल एक एक काम करो वो एक्सेल शीट खोलो प्राइमा वेरा डॉक्यूमेंट्स में एक्सेल शीट है साई यू आर हियर साई या या सर आई एम आई एम जस्ट ओपनिंग द एक्सेल शीट नो नो यू डोंट ओपन द एक्सेल शीट यू लुक एट द एक्सेल शीट Okay. Okay. okay i'll explain to you that what is the meaning of this yes okay see i am doing a shopping mall project now the shopping mall project is going grounds up so ओके 
So, you know, this basement minus two parking is to be finished by 30th of August, 22, 31st of the August. Mm -hmm. Then this one is 30th of the September 22. You know, every month I have a milestone. So it is 31 October 22. And then it is 30th, 30th November 22. And then what we have is 31 December 22. Okay, so it is like this. So these are the milestones. See is the serial number of the milestone. So, you know, by 31st August, I must clear, uh, complete the basement minus two uh, parking. I have a payment due of 10 crore. Mandatory finish. Why it is mandatory? Because it is compulsory as per the contract. So the word in the project management, the mandatory is called the compulsory. So the compulsory finish, it is combined with a finish milestone. So mandatory means compulsory. So it is like this. Okay, so I'm building the shopping one. So I'm planning for the basement minus two parking. So basement minus two parking should be completed by the 31st of the August. And I cannot exceed this. If I exceed it, then I'll have to pay liquidated damages. So guys, do you understand what is the meaning of the liquidated damages? It is written like this, liquidated damages. Hmm? Uh, which can't be... Uh... प्रोजेक्ट मिला है कि टॉल गेट तैयार करना है मैंने ठीक है तो क्लाइंट कह रहा है कि जो टॉल गेट है ठीक है वो टॉल गेट तैयार होना चाहिए थर्टी एथ ऑफ अप्रैल ट्वेंटी टू ठीक है अब ध्यान से सुनना मेरी बात और क्लाइंट ने ये ये कहा है कि मेरी जो है ना जो डेली जो इनकम है वो टॉल गेट से है पांच लाख रुपए पांच लाख रुपए ठीक है अच्छा तो उसने ये लिखवा दिया क्लॉज में कॉन्ट्रैक्ट के क्लॉज में कि अगर आपने थर्टी अप्रैल को एक्सीड किया तो जितने दिन एक्सीड होगा तो पर डे का जो लॉस है वो आपको जो है वो भरपाई करनी पड़ेगी मतलब मेरे डैमेजेस को आप लिक्विडेट करेंगे बात है समझ में मुआवजा हाँ इसी को हम लिक्विडेटेड डैमेज ये थोड़ा सा लीगल टर्मिनोलॉजी है उसमें वो बोल रहा है कि अगर मान लो आप देते हो मुझे पहली मई को तो पहली मई को तो मैं टॉल गेट में यूज नहीं कर पाऊंगा तो लोग तो जाएंगे फ्री में तो उस दिन का आपको भरना पड़ेगा पांच लाख दो मई को दोगे तो पांच लाख तीन महीने को दोगे फिर तो कितना होगा टोटल अच्छा अच्छा हाँ उसके नुकसान को आपको भरना पड़ेगा इसको हम कहते हैं लिक्विडेटेड डैमेजेस लिक्विडेटेड का मतलब है कि उसका रोज जितना नुकसान होगा आप उसको लिक्विडेट करोगे मतलब उसको पेनल्टी सॉर्ट ऑफ पेनल्टी आप ही भरोगे हो गई ना तो पेनल्टी क्या है वो कह रहे हैं एक्चुअल सेंस में मैं पेनल्टी नहीं ले रहा आपसे लेकिन मैं जो धंधा नहीं कर पा रहा तो वो उस उस धंधे का जो इनकम है वो आपको भरना पड़ेगा समझे कि नहीं ओके ओके है ना ये है ठीक है क्लियर है तो अब मेरे को एक चीज बताओ कि जब आप इस क्लॉज को आप साइन आपने कर दिया है तो आप आपने साइन तो कर दिया है लेकिन आप ऐसा चाहोगे कि भी आपको लिक्विडेटेड डैमेजेस भरना पड़े क्या ये काम धंधा करने का तरीका है आप आप प्रॉफिट चाहते हो लॉस चाहते हो प्रोजेक्ट में प्रॉफिट प्रॉफिट चाहते हो ना तो इसलिए आपने कंस्टेंट यूज करना है मैंडेटरी फिनिश अब मैं आपको सिखाऊंगा कि इसको इम्प्लीमेंट कैसे किया जाता है ताकि आप जिंदगी में प्रैक्टिकली जो है कभी भी चोट ना खाओ ठीक है बात आ रही समझ में है ना जी सर अब हम इसको देखेंगे अब देखो मेरे पास क्या है मेरे पास पहला जो टारगेट है बेसमेंट टू पार्किंग मैंने कंप्लीट करना है तो इसको कंप्लीट करने का डेट दिया मेरे क्लाइंट ने क्लाइंट ने कहा आप इसको 31 अगस्त 22 2022 में कंप्लीट करके दो मैं प्लानिंग कर रहा हूँ ना मेरा तो प्रोजेक्ट स्टार्ट है पह, पह, पहले से तो मैं इसकी प्लानिंग कर रहा हूँ तो अब इसमें चलते हैं प्राइमा वेरा में चलते हैं ठीक है लो प्राइमा वेरा को लिया सामने देखो इसमें क्या है आप लिखो इसमें ए बी सी डी 
लिखो इसमें कैपिटल ए बी सी डी करके लिख दो इसमें ये जो न्यू एक्टिविटी है ना इसको रिप्लेस कर दो ए लिख दो फिर बी लिख दो ऐसे करके एक्टिविटीज ले लो सीक्वेंस में okay now i'll tell you that how to implement so this activity h you rename this act activity as right here basement minus 2 completed basement minus 2 completed completed td presenter theek hai अच्छा अब इसको करना क्या है मैं आपको बताता हूँ इम्प्लीमेंटेशन के लिए इसको सबसे पहले देखो सबसे पहले तो इसको माइलस्टोन में कन्वर्ट करना है देखो आप इसमें जाओ पहले जनरल में और यहां पे सिलेक्ट करो फिनिश माइलस्टोन फिनिश माइलस्टोन अब ध्यान से देखना जैसे ही आपने फिनिश माइलस्टोन किया तो ये क्या क्या ये क्या हुआ इसमें इसमें दो बातें होंगे देर टू थिंग्स विच हैपन्स हियर द ड्यूरेशन ऑटोमेटिकली चेंज टू जीरो एंड इट लुक्स लाइक ए डायमंड सिंबल यू सी दैट फिनिश माइलस्टोन नाउ दिस फिनिश माइलस्टोन इज बेसिकली इज फिक्स इट इज फिक्स ऑन द डेट विच डेट थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ द सो वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ ए माइल स्टोन द पर्पज ऑफ ए माइल स्टोन इज टू सेट अप ए मार्कर मार्कर ऑफ डेट मार्कर ऑफ द अचीवमेंट मार्कर ऑफ द डिलीवरेबल तो इसमें क्या है ये डिलीवरेबल इस माइलस्टोन में देखो ध्यान से देखो नाम पढ़ो क्या है बेसमेंट माइनस टू कम्प्लीटेड तो डिलीवरेबल हुआ ना बेसमेंट माइनस टू है ना हुँ, हुँ. तो इस ये सारी एक्टिविटीज ए टू जी हम कंप्लीट कर लेंगे तो बेसमेंट माइनस टू बन जाएगा तो वही हम कर रहे हैं लेकिन मैं क्या करता हूँ देखो शुरुआत में जब मैं प्लानिंग करता हूँ अभी मुझे एबीसीडी का ड्यूरेशन नहीं पता मैंने लिख लिया उसके बाद मुझे कॉन्ट्रैक्ट में देखा मैंने व्हेन आई लुक एट माय कॉन्ट्रैक्ट आई कैन सी इन द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वेरी क्लियरली दैट इट इज रिटर्न बेसमेंट माइनस टू शुड बी कम्प्लीटेड ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ दगस्ट इट मीन्स आई टू सेट अप ए डेट कंस्टेंट सो वट आई विल डू आई विल गो इन द स्टेटस टैप एंड इन द स्टेटस टैप एंड यू रेज दिस थोड़ा सा उठाओ ऊपर हाँ देखो और थोड़ा सा करो ठीक देखो अब ध्यान से देखना यहां पर लिखा है प्राइमरी कंस्टेंट इसमें सिलेक्ट करो मैंडेटरी फिनिश मैंडेटरी फिनिश देखो नीचे रहेगा ठीक है अब इसमें डेट क्या है थर्टी फर्स्ट अगस्त सिक्स पी एम ठीक है इसमें सिलेक्ट करो थर्टी फर्स्ट अगस्त नाइन एम नहीं सिक्स पी सिलेक्ट करो क्योंकि शाम तक काम कर, करना है ना हमने है ना <laughs> फिनिश जो है ये सिक्स पी तक रहेगी करो इसको स्क्रॉल इसको सिक्स पी एम हाँ सिक्स पी एम हाँ बस सिलेक्ट कर दो अब आप इसको अब ये इम्प्लीमेंट हो जाएगा ठीक है तो अब क्या हुआ कि ये सारी जो एक्टिविटीज है अब मैं इसके बैठ के जो है मैं सीक्वेंसिंग करूंगा अपनी इंजीनियरिंग टीम के साथ अब क्या हुआ कि मैंने अपनी इंजीनियरिंग टीम को जब बुलाया मैंने कहा यार देखो अकॉर्डिंग टू दी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट आई हैव टू कंप्लीट दी बेसमेंट माइनस टू बाई थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ दी अगस्ट सो दैट वी कैन क्लेम द पेमेंट एंड वी डो नॉट हिट द लिक्विडेटेड डैमेज सो बोथ थिंग्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई टू क्लेम माई पेमेंट ऑन टाइम because if i am claiming my payment on time then i can distribute salaries on time right mm. right guys okay now what i need to do please tell me the sequence so you know there are very intelligent chaps 
they are re recent pass out from nikmar right so what do they do they tell me that boss you select all these activities starting from top to bottom including so you go to the a and select up to the basement minus 2 place your cursor on the a yeah now you select downwards up to the basement minus 2 so then i ask them what to do they suppose it's very simple they don't worry at all it is like this is like we do in the nikmar you just right click here and you set them link activity i say fine let us do it link right click and link so what happens it is setting up a finish to start relationship now guys do you notice what ha happened here hmm? all activity here. see what is this yellow ribbon here hmm? yellow ribbon is showing you the negative load you have exceeded the uh, exceeded the finish milestone hmm okay you have exceeded the finish milestone by 15 days minus 15 do you think that you can work like this and you can survive in the in the competitive market in the business like this no you you can't do it you have to fix it okay do you get my point you have to fix it now what happens that uh, i call a person who is a subject matter expert of the project management i show it to him he says guys you have to do schedule compression okay so he then explains to me the schedule compression so guys can we shift over to the word file so you minimize it and shift over to the word file okay minimize it and shift over to the word file Okay, now let me explain to you. Is my edit ye करने देता है? देखता हूँ मैं। हाँ, लिख में देता हूँ। He then tells me what is the schedule compression technique. Schedule compression technique is taught as a formal project managers. Okay, there are two techniques. One is the fast tracking, and there is the second one, which is the crashing. So we will learn both. Fast tracking में क्या होता है? That you convert, you convert the, you convert the finish to start to either start to start or फिनिश टू फिनिश ठीक है है ना अच्छा क्लैशिंग में क्या हो रहा है यू एड मोर रिसोर्सेस टू नॉर्मली एड कास टू रिड्यूस इट्स ड्यूरेशन ठीक है बात आ रही समझ में सपोज यू नॉर्मली प्लान ए टास्क टू फिनिश इन सिक्स डेज बट यू वॉन्ट टू ड्रेस्टिकली फिनिश इट अर्लियर देन सिक्स सो यू इंक्रीज द मैन एंड द मशीन पावर एंड देन यू रिड्यूस द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल टास्क वेन यू रिड्यूस द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल टास्क सो दैट काइंड ऑफ okay so when you are when you are adding more at more resources to the plan suppose if you planned it originally for 10 theek hai then 
इट इज कॉल्ड क्रैशिंग राइट ठीक है ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सीट प्रैक्टिकल सो वी हैव ए सिचुएशन हियर वी नीड टू डू द क्रैशिंग एंड वी नीड टू डू द फास्ट ट्रैकिंग सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द फास्ट ट्रैकिंग टेक्निक सी लुक एट दिस थिंग वेरी केयरफुली वील गो इन टू द रिलेशनशिप ओके सो नाउ वेन आई शो इट टू दी स्पेशलिस्ट ही सेज दैट वट वी नीड टू डू दैट वी नीड टू डू द क्रैशिंग बिटवीन ए एंड बी सो गाइज इफ यू लुक एट ए एंड बी द रिलेशनशिप सो वट काइंड ऑफ रिलेशनशिप इज देर बिटवीन ए एंड बी finish to start finish to start is the finish to start relationship okay now if you look at the a it has got on the successor side it has got the it has got the relationship tab now if you go to the relationship tab you change the finish to start to start to start you change it to start to start so guys then what happened how many days of the negative float is gone 6 days 6 हाँ देखो पहले माइनस फिफ्टीन था ना अब माइनस नाइन अब ये हो गया माइनस नाइन अच्छा अब इसमें हमने करना क्या है तो आई आस्क हिम की सर प्लीज टेल मी फर्दर ही सेज लुक एट द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन सी एंड डी वाई डोंट यू कन्वर्ट इट टू फिनिश टू फिनिश आई से यस सर फाइन सो हाउ टू कन्वर्ट इट सो वाई सो वट यू नीड टू डू दैट यू नीड टू गो टू द सी सो यू क्लिक ऑन द सी After you click on the C, go into the relationship tab, and you change it to FF. You change it to finish to finish. Okay. So do you see that there, there is a further reduction in the negative float? Dago. Hmm. Right. Now I say, boss, please help me further. He says, don't worry. Now we are going to do the crashing. so then i ask him sir how the crashing thing works he says that these are the activities e f and g so currently you are doing them in 6 days why don't you increase the resource on these three activities and re reduce them to 4 days to ab aap ek kaam karo so e f g ki jo duration hai dekho yahan pe main mark kar raha hu dekho inko char char din kar do teenon ko all the three you convert them into the four days and see the result now how many days of the float you got three days three days float okay so uh, the, i will show you the fast tracking so guys so the fast tracking ye hai ye hai aapki fast tracking theek hai और मैं जो नीले से मार्क करने जा रहा हूं ये है आपकी क्रैशिंग तो क्रैशिंग में आपने क्या किया क्रैशिंग में आपने इंडिविजुअल एक्टिविटी की ड्यूरेशन दू, घटाई आपने उनको पैरेलल में नहीं किया ए एंड बी पैरेलल सीक्वेंस में थे फिर बाद में आपने उन्होंने पैरेलल में डाल दिया तो इनके ओवरलैप होते ही उतनी ड्यूरेशन कम हो गई ठीक है ना तो द ग्रीन द ग्रीन वन इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ फास्ट ट्रैकिंग द ब्लू वन इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ क्रैशिंग इसको हम कहते हैं शेड्यूल का लेकिन ये जो क्रैशिंग वगैरह जो हम इतनी देर से हम जो ये कर रहे हैं लेकिन हमें गाइडेंस कौन दे रहा है वो तो हम भूल गए गाइडेंस देने वाला है हमारा मैंडेटरी फिनिश कंस्टेंट मैंडेटरी फिनिश कंस्टेंट ने इसको क्या किया है देखो ये जो हमारी जो एक्टिविटी है ना इस, इसको पिन डाउन किया हुआ है इसे देखो अगर इसको पिन डाउन नहीं किया होता ये जो माइल है तो क्या हम कैलकुलेट कर पाते इट इज पिन डाउन ऑन दर्टी फर्स्ट right mm. it is because it is pinned down on the 31st any activity which is on the left side is getting a positive float if it is exceeding and going to the right side it will get a negative float dekho main isko jo hai ek ek kaam karta hu main isko 10 din mein kar deta hu ab kya ho gaya hmm aur par gayi usse jaise hi isne milestone ko par kiya to milestone ne calculation karke bol diya bhai ye negative float ho gaya 3 din aap jo hai इसकी फिनिश डेट से आपका जो कॉन्ट्रेक्टेड जो फिनिश डेट है उससे आप जो है ना मतलब ये आगे चले गए राइट अच्छा तो आप क्या करोगे अपनी टीम को बुलाओगे आप तो टीम कम से कम क्या करेगी इसको सात दिन का तो वो तो करवाएगी टेक्निकली तो सही है लेकिन प्रैक्टिकली क्या ये सही है इज इट प्रैक्टिकली राइट गाइज वुड यू प्लान लाइक दिस नहीं 
आप अपनी टीम से कहोगे कि गाइस प्लीज चेक इफ यू कैन फर्दर अप्लाई सम रिसोर्स तो वो कहते हैं कि ठीक है सर इसमें हमें काम कर सकते हैं कि दो दिन हम जो है और रिड्यूस कर सकते हैं तो कम से कम दो दिन का फ्लोट तो है ना सही है ना अच्छा अब ये जो आपका जो ये जो मैंडेटरी जो फिनिश है ये तो कंस्टेंट है लेकिन कंस्टेंट मान लो आपका प्लान कोई और देखता है वो कहेगा कि इसमें कंस्टेंट क्यों है किस बात का कंस्टेंट है तो एक नोट डालना चाहिए कि नहीं डालना चाहिए लिखो इसमें नोट नोटबुक में जाओ और सिलेक्ट करो कंस्टेंट नोटबुक टॉपिक सिलेक्ट करो कंस्टेंट में हमेशा नोट डालना है अगर नोट नहीं डालोगे तो दूसरा आदमी जो है वो कंफ्यूज हो जाएगा ठीक है अब करो इसको अब इसमें करो ये मॉडिफाई अच्छा अब इसमें मॉडिफाई करने के बाद इसको लि, लिखो यहाँ पे लिखो एज पर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बस और कुछ नहीं लिखना है कॉन्ट्रैक्ट के तो ऊपर कोई बात कर ही नहीं सक सकता ना हम्म बस खत्म एज पर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट में ही है ओके ठीक है गाइस इज दिस क्लियर एज पर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट में कंस्टेंट दिया हुआ है कॉन्ट्रैक्ट में प्रॉमिस किया हुआ है तो हमें तो कंस्टेंट तो डालना तो पड़ेगा ही ना यस yes, सर तो अगर किसी को डाउट है कि भाई ये क्यों है तो वो यहां से कंस्टेंट से वो चेक कर लेगा मतलब कॉन्ट्रैक्ट से चेक कर लेगा ठीक है ठीक है ना ओके okay. तो मतलब पहले जस्टिफाई करो जनरल में जाके कि अपना माइंड बन गया है फिर उसके बाद स्टेटस में जाके उसको बताओ कि अपना कॉन्स्टेंट डिफाइन करो हाँ, पहले, पहले जो कंस्टेंट जो है डिफाइन कर लो मैं आपको बताता हूँ बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस पता क्या होता है टीम में ना पता क्या होता है कि टीम में वो देखते हैं कि यार अभी कंस्टेंट तो है नहीं अब देखो मैं बताता हूँ साइकोलॉजी की बात है अगर आप शुरू में अपनी टीम को ना ये बता दोगे ना कि भाई देखो हमारे पास जो है इकतीस तारीख की डेड है इसमें माइल की तो आपको इसके बीच की एक्टिविटी प्लान करो वो क्या करेंगे कि देखो कि जब वो प्लानिंग करेंगे ना वर्नल अगर आप उनको कंस्टेंट नहीं बताओगे पता वो कैसे प्लानिंग करते हैं देखो सबसे पहले तो इंजीनियरिंग के हिसाब से प्रोसेस से फिर उसमें जोड़ते हैं फेसबुक फिर उसमें जोड़ते हैं व्हाट्सएप फिर उसमें जोड़ते हैं गर्लफ्रेंड की कॉल फिर उसमें जोड़ते हैं इंटरव्यू कॉल फिर उसमें जोड़ते हैं वो जो बीड़ी पीते हैं वो जोड़ते हैं तो ये सब चीजें जोड़ देते हैं फिर वो मुझे बताते सर ये एक्टिविटी हो गई तो मैं पहले उनको मैं कंस्टेंट में ये बताता हूँ बात आ रही समझ में समझ में आ गया तो क्या होता था कि जब जब शादी हुई ना मेरी नई नई तो मेरी वाइफ को लगता था मैं बहुत अमीर आदमी तो मेरे को कंपनी से जब पे स्लिप मिलती थी ना इससे पहले की मेरी वाइफ को डिमांड करे घूमने की मैं सबसे पहले आते ही ना मतलब पांच छह तारीख को जो पे स्लिप जनरेट होती थी वो अपनी वाइफ के हाथ में दे देता था <laughs> मैं कहते इस महीने की इतनी तनख्वाह जो है वो बनी है टाइम शीट के हिसाब से ठीक है ना तो वो वो फिर कहती थी ये मेरे हाथ में क्यों दिया मैंने तो मांगा नहीं है मैंने कहा नहीं मांगा तो देख तो ले कम से कम ठीक है तो तो प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट माइंडेड तो मैं शुरू से ही था तो जो कंस्टेंट होती है ना वो सबको जो है वो बतानी चाहिए वरना हर आदमी सोचेगा कि यार ये आदमी ये आदमी नहीं है ये तो एटीएम है जितना चाहे नहीं निकालो पैसा ठीक <laughs> है तो सो यू हैव टू टेल योर टीम मेंबर्स गाइस वी आर वर्किंग अंडर कंस्टेंट्स ऑफ टाइम सो द टाइम इज द बिगेस्ट हाँ अगर हम बॉस से कहेंगे बॉस एक्स्ट्रा जो है वी नीड सम मशीन we need some machine to speed up and we show him the benefit yes boss will be able to claim the payment on time and we'll be able to do some extra quality checks and what we will deliver to the client is absolutely perfect and which will be a very good you know impression for our brand image you know so we can showcase this current project to get the next one next one next one yahi aise hi chalta hai dhanda bhaiya har project mein aapko perform karna padta hai theek hai na देखो इस चीज का हम एग्जांपल हम देख सकते हैं उत्तराखंड में ये पहली बारी हुआ है कि एक पार्टी को दोबारा वोट मिला दोबारा मैंडेट मिला उत्तराखंड की हिस्ट्री में आज तक उन लोगों ने किसी भी पार्टी को दोबारा वोट नहीं दिया और मुझे तो पर्सनली लगता है वो बिल्कुल सही है बिल्कुल भगा भगा के मार रहे हैं <laughs> <laughs> तो अब की बारी जो पार्टी आई है उन्होंने बहुत एडी चोटी घिसी होगी जब जाके उसको दोबारा वोट मिला ठीक है ना बट देर इज ए गुड चांस इफ दे डोंट परफॉर्म दिस टाइम so they might lose it next time so similarly when you are working in a project based organizations 
every project has to be perfect. There is no second chance from the client. Do you get my point? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anna, so you have to plan very meticulously and one of the most constrained thing in this universe is time. If you want more machine, more men, more material, your boss will provide you. But can your boss provide more time than he has? Because he has already signed up the contract. Contract se to zyada time nahi hai na, unke paas bhi. Hai kya? Is your boss okay. the boss? No. The boss of your boss is the client. Client ka bhi mira is date tak project jo hai karke dena hai. तो बॉस ने क्या किया कि जो बड़ी जो ड्यूरेशन को उसको छोटे छोटे ड्यूरेशन में बांट दिया माइलस्टोन फॉर बेसमेंट माइनस टू माइलस्टोन फॉर बेसमेंट माइनस वन माइलस्टोन फॉर ग्राउंड फ्लोर माइलस्टोन फॉर फर्स्ट फ्लोर सेकंड फ्लोर थर्ड फ्लोर फोर्थ फ्लोर आपको दे दिया अब आपका काम है बीच का टास्क आपने प्लानिंग करना है तो कंस्टेंट के हिसाब से करना है कि नहीं करना अगर कंस्टेंट के हिसाब से प्लानिंग नहीं करोगे तो क्या होगा वो सोचो ना एक पिक्चर है आमदनी आमदनी अठन्नी और खर्चा रुपया ऐसे प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट क्या चलेगा क्या नहीं 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 चलेगा ना कोई भी कंपनी नहीं चल पाएगी ठीक है तो दैट इज वाई वी शुड लर्न मैंडेटरी कंस्टेंट आल्सो ठीक है सो गाइस इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मैंडेटरी कंस्टेंट क्लियर मैंडेटरी फिनिश एक्चुअली मैंडेटरी फिनिश सो इट लुक्स लाइक दिस देखो और मैंडेटरी फिनिश को हम हमेशा माइल से कंबाइन करते हैं बिकॉज द टास्क शुड बी फ्री टू मूव अराउंड द माइल स्टोन अगर अगर आप टास्क की टांग को पकड़ लोगे लो, लो ना तो कैलकुलेशन फिर ये गलत हो जाएगी तो हमने क्या करना है एक माइल स्टोन क्रिएट करना है और माइल स्टोन पर ही हमने डेट को फिक्स करना है और ताकि इसका टास्क जब इसके जब वो यहां जाएगा ना आगे अगर इसको पार करेगा तो आपको नेगेटिव फ्लोट दिखेगा अगर पीछे जाएगा तो पॉजिटिव फ्लोट अगर इसकी टांग को यहां बांध दोगे तो आपको पता ही नहीं चल चलेगा कि भाई क्या हो रहा है समझे कि नहीं तो टास्क के पैर को मत बांधना इधर आप इधर एक माइलस्टोन लगाओ आप एक पत्थर लगाओ मील का पत्थर और सबसे बोल दो अगर यहाँ यहाँ जाएगा तो वो वो येलो कलर की वार्निंग आएगी और अगर थोड़ा पीछे की तरफ को जाएगा तो हमारे लिए एक सेफ्टी मार्जिन है ठीक है ना तो दिस इज द ऑप्टीमल प्लानिंग बट लेकिन ये मिला कैसे हमें ये मिला जब हमने मैंडेटरी ठीक है अब देखो जब आप मैंडेटरी फिनिश लगाओगे इसमें देखो फिनिश साइड में स्टार लगेगा और डेट को यहाँ पे पिन डाउन कर देगा तो ये डेट क्या है थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ दी अगस्त तो देखो ये है ट्वेंटी नाइन थर्टी आपका वेडनेसडे करेक्ट थर्टी फर्स्ट है देखो है ना बिल्कुल सेंटर में ठीक है तो दिस इज ड्यू टू द मैंडेटरी कंस्टेंट ठीक है समझ में आई बात क्लियर है yes, ओके ओके इफ दिस इज क्लियर देन वी विल मूव टू द नेक्स्ट वन तो नेक्स्ट में क्या है नेक्स्ट में क्या है हमारा द नेक्स्ट इज एज लेट एज पॉसिबल ठीक है बहुत ही बढ़िया है ये सीखने में ठीक है आप इसमें लिखो क्लोजिंग प्रोसेस लिखो इसमें नाम लिखो राइट द नेम एज क्लोजिंग प्रोसेस ओके नाउ आई एल एक्सप्लेन टू यू सी वॉट एपन्स सी वेन एवर वी आर कंप्लीटिंग द प्रोजेक्ट सो आफ्टर ऑल अवर इंजीनियरिंग टास्क आर कंप्लीटेड सो वी आर डूइंग द हैंड ओवर एक्टिविटीज तो हैंड हैंड ओवर में हमें कुछ एक्टिविटी करनी पड़ती है सो विच वी से दैट वी शुड बी डूइंग एट द एंड ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट नॉट आफ्टर द एंड ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट बट By the end of the project, ठीक है तो by the end of the project का मतलब ये है कि this closing process should be completed by this date यहां पर ठीक है Is this clear? Mm -hmm. You know my activity should be placed like this. ये ऐसे रहेगी अब last में जाएगा तो float हो जाएगा zero, उसका लाल हो जाएगा color, ठीक है ये ध्यान रख रखना क्योंकि अगर एंडिंग को टच करेगी तो फ्लोट हो जाएगा जीरो नाउ हाउ टू प्लेस दिस एक्टिविटी ऑटोमेटिकली ऑन द लास्ट डेट ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट सो वी हैव ए वेरी वेरी सिंपल एंड वेरी वेरी ब्यूटीफुल सॉल्यूशन हियर सो यू क्लिक ऑन द डिटेल्स क्लिक ऑन द डिटेल बटन
Now, in the constraint, here you select as late as possible. Select as late as possible. I immediately see. You see that what happened? Hmm. It moved toward that end. There go. आप इसमें सिलेक्ट करो नन अगर आप कोई कंस्टेंट नहीं दोगे तो सीधी सी बात है वो स्टार्ट डेट से स्टार्ट होगा अगर आप उस उसको बोलेंगे भाई एंड में जाओ एज लेट एज पॉसिबल वो कहेगा भी एज लेट एज पॉसिबल तो प्रोजेक्ट के लास्ट डेट तक ही रहता है hmm. है ना वहीं पे ही गाड़ी रोकती है ना जो आखिरी जो स्टे, स्टेशन होता है hmm. रूट का जो आखिरी स्टेशन होता है वहां पे स्टॉपर लगा होता है रेलवे स्टेशन में वहीं पे आके गाड़ी रोकती है तो वहीं पे जाके रुके अब मैं बता तो इसमें आपने करना क्या है अब ये जो क्लोजिंग प्रोसेस है ये है आपका एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव टास्क अब इसमें लिखना है आपने इसको हम कहते हैं चेकलिस्ट ठीक है वी विल राइट व्हाट वी आर सपोज टू डू इन द क्लोजिंग प्रोसेस इस लास्ट छह दिन में हमने करना क्या है सो यू क्लिक ऑन ऐड हियर ठीक है अब इसमें सिलेक्ट करो जनरल नोट नाउ यू सिलेक्ट दिस एंड क्लिक ऑन दी क्लोज 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 करो एंड क्लिक ऑन द मॉडिफाई ठीक है अब आपने इसमें करना क्या है अब आप इसमें सिलेक्ट करो वन और इसमें आप ये लिखो कि सबसे पहले लिखो क्लीन क्लीन अप द प्रोजेक्ट साइट मतलब कि जो प्रोजेक्ट साइट जहां हमने काम किया उसको साफ सफाई करना है ठीक है क्लीन अप और क्लियर अप द प्रोजेक्ट साइट स्पेस डालो प्रोजेक्ट और साइट के बीच में स्पेस डालो अब लिखो नंबर टू में एंटरप्राइज करो रिमूव टेम्पररी स्ट्रक्चर्स फ्रॉम द प्रोजेक्ट साइट नेक्स्ट लिखो सो रिलीज मैन एंड मशीन रिसोर्सेस रिलीज मैन एंड मशीन रिसोर्सेस क्योंकि जो मैं साइट पे मैन मशीन यूज करूं उनको रिलीज करूंगा ना ताकि तो वो दूसरे प्रोजेक्ट में जाए मशीन रिसोर्सेस अब नंबर फोर लेके लिखो राइट नंबर फोर री स्टॉक री स्टॉक अनयूज मेटीरियल्स जो मेटेरियल जितना नहीं लगा उसको छोड़ना थोड़ी ना बेकार नहीं करना अनयूज मेटेरियल उसको फिर से स्टॉक में डालना है उससे फा, फा, फायदा क्या होगा कि अगर दूसरे किसी प्रोजेक्ट में चाहिए होगा तो वो दूसरे प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर को मिल जाएगा ठीक है अच्छा नेक्स्ट गेट क्वालिटी एन ओ सी फ्रॉम क्लाइंट क्वालिटी एन ओ सी फ्रॉम क्लाइंट क्वालिटी एन ओ सी फ्रॉम क्लाइंट टीम नेक्स्ट रेज फाइनल इनवॉइस टू क्लाइंट क्योंकि क्लाइंट अगर एनओसी दे रहा है क्वालिटी को तो अब हम उसको इनवॉइस हम दे ही सकते हैं यस रेज फाइनल इनवॉइस टू क्लाइंट ठीक है अच्छा नेक्स्ट लिखो मेक फाइनल पेमेंट टू सब कॉन्ट्रैक्टर्स क्योंकि क्लाइंट ने जब एनओसी दे दी और हमें भी पेमेंट दे दी तो हम सब कॉन्ट्रैक्टर्स की भी पेमेंट हम कर सकते हैं हम्म क्योंकि अब इसका मतलब सब कॉन्ट्रैक्टर कोई काम नहीं बचा मेक फाइनल पेमेंट टू सब कॉन्ट्रैक्टर्स नेक्स्ट लिखो हैंड ओवर वारंटी एंड डिजाइन डॉक्यूमेंट वारंटी डिजाइन मैप्स टू क्लाइंट वारंटी कॉमा डिजाइन कॉमा मैप्स टू क्लाइंट ठीक है ना ताकि क्लाइंट जो है बिल्डिंग को मेंटेन कर सके ठीक है नेक्स्ट फिर उसके बाद और क्या कर सकते हैं हम हाँ प्रोवाइड ट्रेनिंग टू क्लाइंट स्टाफ प्रोवाइड ट्रेनिंग टू क्लाइंट स्टाफ जैसे मान लो कि मैं शॉपिंग मॉल मैंने तैयार करके दिया तो शॉपिंग मॉल में किस टाइप की ट्रेनिंग दूंगा हाउ टू ऑपरेट द लिफ्ट 
how to operate the generator system, how to operate the HVAC, how to operate the water filter, how to operate the, the solar power plant, how to operate the CCTV system. Okay, na? That's safety, it. safety procedure. Haan, safety procedure, fire alarm, vagara, kaise hota hai? lift, vagara, kaise safely operate, shut, start, karna hai, din mein. Aur, kaise jo hai, generator ko shut down, karna hai, ya start, karna hai. So, in the big building, there are big backup generators in the basement. So, they should be properly maintained. Okay? So, now you write it, etc. Etc means not limited to this. Okay? You can add more. Now, these are the activities which are absolutely not related. They can be done independently of each other. So, that is why I am creating a checklist. It is not necessary that I will do in this sequence. It is just a count. How many activities we have to do. Now I put it into the constraint and that's it. So if, uh, if one of my team members says, boss, we are going to take 10 days. I say, yeah, make it 10. Ab dekho isko 10 karo. Dekho kya hoga? Iski start date change ho jayegi. Nahin, small d rehta hai. Dekha? अगर आप 10 दिन लोगे तो 20 तारीख को स्टार्ट करो ठीक है तो सर ये हमेशा क्रिटिकल ही रहेगा करेक्ट हां क्यों रहेगा क्रिटिकल देखो ये ये प्रोजेक्ट की बाउंड्री लाइन पे ही है ना ये तो हम्म बाउंड्री लाइन में है ना इसलिए क्रिटिकल रहेगा उस, उसको टच कर रहा है वहां पे फ्लोट नहीं है ना इसके पास क्योंकि हमने कहा एज लेट एज पॉसिबल तो कोई भी एक्टिविटी जाके फिनिश डेट को अगर टच करेगी वो उसमें तो फ्लोट तो है ही नहीं है उसमें फ्लोट उसमें गैप है क्या फिनिश डेट से नहीं है ना गैप तो फिर वो फिर वो क्रिटिकल ही होगा ना अगर आपने ये काम 10 दिन में नहीं किया तो वो सब प्रोजेक्ट को एक्सीड हो जाएगा तो आप पहले इसमें थोड़ा सा ये बफर डालो आप कहोगे ठीक है हम इसको 20 को स्टार्ट करेंगे हां लेकिन ऑन द ग्राउंड लोग एक्टिविटी 19 को भी स्टार्ट कर देंगे देयर इज नो हार्म लेकिन व्हाट इज द थिंग सो व्हाट यू आर ट्राइंग टू एम्फसाइज इज दैट कि हर हाल में आपने इसको प्रोजेक्ट के साथ ही कंप्लीट करना है 31st से आगे आप जा सकते हो क्या नहीं ना ऑफ कोर्स नहीं और जाना भी नहीं चाहते तो इसलिए आप इसको 20 तारीख को आपने प्लान करते हैं चलो 20 तारीख से हम स्टार्ट इसको कर देंगे कम से कम ताकि हमारा 30 31 को हमारे ये सब क्लोजिंग ये जो क्लोजिंग का जो प्रोसीजर है कंप्लीट हो जाए ये नहीं कि कोई काम जो है लटकते इट इज वेरी अनप्रोफेशनल इंडिया में पहले यही होता था काम जो है वो लटकता रहता था कभी ये नहीं हुआ कभी वो नहीं हुआ तो किसी ने कोई लिस्ट बनाई नहीं सब अपना जो है वो दिमाग से काम कर रहे हैं वो उस्ताद जी जानते हैं इंडिया में हर जगह जगह पे उस्ताद जी हुआ करते थे एंड इट वाज नॉट प्रोसेस वेस्ट इट वाज क्वाइट हेलिश अगर उस्ताद जी बहुत अच्छे हैं स्मूथ है तब तो काम तो बहुत ही बढ़िया हो जाएगा लेकिन इस उस्ताद जी का मूड अगर होगा खराब ठीक है उनको जो है बीड़ी नहीं मिली तंबाकू नहीं मिली खैनी नहीं मिली फिर सारा काम रुक गया तो दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम ठीक है ना तो वी वांट द द कंट्री टू बी प्रोफेशनल एंड ऑल आवर इंजीनियर्स आर एबल टू plan their engineering knowledge well see if you have good engineering knowledge shouldn't it be planned well mm -hmm. Guys, yes, sir. yes sir so that you can use it uh, productively you can use it uh, effectively having engineering knowledge is good but if you are finishing the client's job on time that is excellent that is desirable right so client will be impressed by your engineering knowledge also if you're finishing the work on time. So for finishing the work on time, engineering knowledge should be complemented with the project management knowledge. And project management, if you have the project management knowledge, it is implemented by the Prima Vera. Bataria bilkul stig banriya picture. Mind my name. Yes, sir. So now, guys, if you don't have any question on this. Then we will move to the next constraint, primary and secondary constraint. ठीक है किसी कोई break तो नहीं चाहिए थोड़ा सा washroom के लिए मैं आता हूँ जरा. Okay. ठीक है सर.
Okay, guys, I'm back. ठीक है तो हम स्टार्ट स्टार्ट कर सकते हैं इफ यू आर हियर यस तो अभी देखें अभी कौन कौन है लिस्ट के अनुसार सो अकॉर्डिंग टू लिस्ट वेंकट यू आर हियर और यू आर इन द मीटिंग तेजा शुड बी हियर गौरव राहुल गौरव यू आर हियर यस यस सर यस सर राहुल इज हियर एंड तेजा इज आल्सो हियर गुड ओके फाइन आई थिंक वेंकट इज गॉन टू द मीटिंग ही जस्ट सेंड मी अ मैसेज Okay. So guys, even that's not a problem. You are always welcome to join the next batch. Okay. If you feel you can join the next week also. Okay. Now I'll explain to you the concept of the primary and secondary constant. So guys, I'm sure that you must have borrowed books from the library. Mm. Okay. Now what happens? Today is twelfth of March. So today I go to the library. and i tell the ma'am ma'am i need this book today she says that this book you will get you are going to get this book on the 16th okay so i am going to get this book on the 16th then she says that you can keep this book for 10 days and you will be returning this book on the 26th right guys mm but actually you know now let me tell you actually i don't need 10 days to read i might need only 3 or 4 days to read the book hmm? i need only 3 days to read the book so i can read the book like this or maybe like this or maybe like this so any 3 days i can use okay now i am not get going to get the book today it means that it is not freely available why it is not uh, in the library because it is in the circulation so this is my primary constraint and this is my secondary constraint so do you get my point mm. but why do i need this constraint i will tell you there is a practical reason the practical reason being that if we are working in a in an enterprise definitely the enterprise is doing multiple projects at the same time and suppose if you are planning to use a 20 ton crane and that crane is already in use with some other project so you will get it after their use is completed okay mm. and after their use is completed then you will get so you will get on a particular start date and you will have to return by a particular date okay okay now let us do this thing so let us name this activity as the pre predecessor let us name this activity as need 20 ton crane like this actually we should not create activities like this but this is just to sensitize you okay so this is due to resource constraint if resources were freely Uh, available in the world then then it won't be a problem we won't need any constraints we are needing the constraint because in the real life there is a limitation okay now i go to my resource manager sir now uh, wh what i will do that i am going to link it okay i will link it like this so uh, rahul just do this thing link in the finish to start yeah. okay So now, what is the start date of this activity? Need twenty ton crane, eighth of the, the August, right? Eighth. Now eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I go, I I go to the resource manager. I tell the resource manager, sir, I need this crane on the eighth of the August. So he says, no, 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 no. So on the eighth of the August, you cannot get. so you will get it on the get it on the 11th and you will have to return by this date so he sets up a corridor so guys what is the uh, finish date just look at the top can i date 24 ha huh? 24 ah 24 aur ye kaun sa date hai ye hai 8 9 10 11 ah, 11th of august wo bol raha hai aapko 11th ko mil jayega आप जो है उसको 24 तक रख सकते हो मुझे 24 तक नहीं चाहिए मुझे तो कितना दिन चाहिए देखो चार दिन चाहिए 
है ना लेकिन मेरे को इसी रेंज में ही मेरे को वो मिलेगा तो ये रेंज उन्होंने मेरी डिफाइन कर दी है कि हम आपको ये जो है इलेवेंथ को और आप जो है ट्वेंटी फोर तक आप इसको दे सकते हो तो मेरी ये मेरी उन्होंने प्राइमरी और सेकेंडरी कंस्टेंट होगी ये प्राइमरी और सेकेंडरी कंस्टेंट का कॉन्सेप्ट है नाउ वाइज लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग ओके प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी कंस्टेंट इज अवेलेबल इन प्राइम अवेरा ओनली ओनली इन प्राइम अवेरा नो अदर सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोवाइड इट एंड यू नो इट इज वेरी वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली नीडेड इन कंस्ट्रक्शन प्रोजेक्ट बिकॉज इन कंस्ट्रक्शन प्रोजेक्ट बिग ह्यूज इंजीनियरिंग प्रोजेक्ट यू आर यूजिंग लार्ज इक्विपमेंट हैंड टूल नहीं है कि सबके हाथ में एक एक ड्रिल मशीन बांट दिया इज दिस क्लियर गाइज बात आ रही समझ में इट इज दूज मशीन तो आपको जो है डेट लिमिट करके दिया जाएगा कि नहीं दिया दिया जाएगा इट इज जस्ट लाइक यू हैव ए रेयर बुक इन द लाइब्रेरी इट विल बी लिमिटेड मे बी इट ड्यूरेशन विल बी इवन लेस देन ऑल अदर बुक्स इफ यू गेट अदर बुक्स फॉर फिफ्टीन डेज दैट माइट बी गिवन टू यू फॉर फाइव डेज ओनली ओके okay fine now how to im- implement this so you re- remember the two days two dates 11 or 24 theek hai right guys yes sir okay ab ye kya hoga main aapko batata hu jaise hi aap isme constraint jo hai wo lagaoge na ye activity khisak ke yahan aa jayegi aur is activity ka aap aap ye dekh dekh rahe ho yahan pe jo float hai hmm ye float jo hai ye khatam ho jayega ye okay theek hai na चलो अब इसको हम इंप्लीमेंट करते हैं कैसे वी विल गो इन टू द स्टेटस टैब देखो आप ध्यान से मैं थोड़ा नीचे से साफ करता हूं नीचे वाला ये लिखा हुआ साफ कर दिया ठीक है अब ध्यान से देखना स्टेप बाय स्टेप चलना है देखो इसमें क्या होता है ये जो कंस्टेंट है इसमें कंस्टेंट के अंदर दो टाइप दिया हुआ है देखो ऑलरेडी प्राइमरी दिया हुआ सेकेंड तो प्राइमरी से स्टार्ट डेट का कंस्टेंट रहेगा आप इसमें सिलेक्ट करो इसमें जाओ प्राइमरी करो सिलेक्ट स्टार्ट ऑन और बिफोर लिखो इसमें नहीं नहीं स्टार्ट ऑन और और आफ्टर आफ्टर स्टार्ट ऑन और आफ्टर सॉरी सॉरी ये ये वाला अब इसमें डालो 11 तारीख अब देखो कि एक्टिविटी अपने आप ही वो जंप मार के जो है वो 11 तारीख पे वो चली जाएगी आवर्स ये भी हाँ वो नाइन एम है वो ठीक है स्टार्टिंग हमेशा नाइन एम रहेगा और फिनिशिंग वो हमेशा अठारह रहेगा ओके okay. ठीक है करो इसमें सिलेक्ट देखो नहीं नहीं स्टार्ट ऑन और बिफोर स्टार्ट स्टार्ट नेक्स्ट वाला हाँ स्टार्ट ऑन और बिफोर बिफोर नहीं नहीं स्टार्ट ऑन और आफ्टर सॉरी मैं गलत बोल रहा आफ्टर देखो अब ध्यान से देखो एक्टिविटी जंप मार के जो है वो 11 तारीख में पहुंच गई शिफ्ट हो गई है ना शिफ्ट हो गई अच्छा अब इसमें सेकेंडरी में जाओ इसमें लिखो फिनिश ऑन और बिफोर ट्वेंटी वन 26 नहीं नहीं मैं 20 मैं 20 24 24 हां 24 है फिनिश ऑन और बिफोर 24 द वेडनेसडे हां वो ठीक है वो 18 है 18 एंड एंड टाइम हां मतलब होल डे यूज करने के बाद आप उसको वापस दोगे देखो अब दोनों तरफ स्टार है देखो ध्यान से देखो हम्म 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 देखो स्टार्ट डेट में भी स्टार लगा और ये फिनिश डेट में भी स्टार लगा हुआ है और आपका जो विंडो जो क्रिएट हुआ है वो 11 तारीख और 24 के हिसाब से क्रिएट हुआ है ठीक है हम्म है ना अब हम देखते हैं ये कैसे काम करता है अब मैं क्या करूंगा अब प्रीडिसेसर को ना ये बड़ा करके इसको जरा धक्का मारते हैं ठीक है अब इसको अगर ये धक्का मारे इसको करो टू टू वीक्स प्रीडिसेसर करो अब प्रीडिसेसर क्या करेगा इसके फ्लोट को ना ये खत्म करेगा ठीक है ये इसने खत्म अब कितने दिन का फ्लोट जो है वो बचा यहाँ पे देखो कितने दिन का फ्लोट है बचा चार दिन अच्छा अब आप एक एक काम करो इसको बारह जमा चार कर दो सोलह सोलह इसको सो सोलह करते ही क्या होगा इसका फ्लोट जो है हो जाएगा जीरो और जैसे ही फ्लोट जीरो होगा दोनों क्रिटिकल में मार्क हो जाएंगे अच्छा मान लो कोई अगर प्लानिंग अगर थोड़ा सा वो गड़बड़ करता है इसमें लिख देता है उन्नीस सोलह की बजाय उन्नीस लिख देता है तो क्या होगा अगर आप उन्नीस लिख दोगे तो क्या होगा इसमें फ्लोट जो है जीरो का नेगेटिव हो जाएगा कितने दिन का हो? तीन दिन तीन दिन तीन दिन क्यों हो रहा है बिल्कुल वो तो आप अब तो आपको क्लियर है ना तीन दिन क्यों हो रहा है 
हम्म तीन गेंद हो गए कि भाई आपको जो है फिनिश डेट दी हुई है चौबीस आप जा रहे हो छब्बीस में ठीक है ना आप इसको पार कर कर रहे हो ना तो चौबीस की एक मिनट होगा चौबीस का ट्वेल्व एम तो हो इसको तो अठारह करना चाहिए ना हाँ अब देखो दो दिन का फ्लोट होगा चौबीस के ऊपर छब्बीस दो दिन दो दिन क्योंकि तो देखो मैं तो टेंशन में आ गया था मेरा गलत हो रहा था नहीं 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 नहीं, नहीं ये थोड़ा सा प्राइमा वेरा थोड़ा सा ये मिस्चीफ करता है इसका मैं यहाँ बै, बैठा हूँ ना आई विल टेक केयर ऑफ इट देखो ये क्या है कि ये ना ये चौबीस की सिक्स पी है तो चौबीस का दिन पूरा तब यूज होगा जब आप सिक्स पी तक यूज करोगे चौबीस के रात के बारह बजे छोड़ दोगे वो आपने तो चौबीस तो यूज किया नहीं इसलिए वो तीन दिन का फ्लोट आएगा तो छब्बीस माइनस चौबीस होना चाहिए दो आपको दिखा रहे तीन बिल्कुल आपका कंसर्न सही है अब इसका मतलब ये है कि आपने प्राइमावेरा को कैच कर लिया है वो आपने है ना तो इसका मतलब बिल्कुल ट्रेनिंग सही हो रही है ठीक है कुछ लोग क्या होता है कि अगर अब आप मेरे को एक चीज बताओ ये ट्रेनिंग आप भीड़ भाड़ में कर सकते हो क्या <laughs> बताओ सही में अगर यहाँ पे अगर ये मुशायरा चल रहा होता प्राइमावेरा का तो सीख लेते प्राइमावेरा का मुशायरा चलता है उसमें क्या होता है एक आदमी प्राइमावेरा की शायरी करते हैं बाकी लोग वाह 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 बोलते हैं सीखता कोई कुछ भी नहीं है वहां पे ठीक है तो इसलिए मैं क्या करता हूँ कि भैया मेरे पास कंसल्टेंसी का इनकम है इतना ज्यादा मारा मारी नहीं है लाइफ में मेरे समझा ही नहीं इसलिए मैं चाहता हूँ कि दो आदमियों को पढ़ाऊँ एक को पढ़ाऊ तीन को पढ़ाऊ चार को पढ़ाऊ लेकिन पढ़ाऊंगा ऐसा कि आदमी जो है प्राइमावेरा को कान पकड़ के दोनों तरफ से काला घोड़ा है प्रोजेक्ट ठीक है ना उसके दोनों तरफ से कान पकड़ के उस पर बैठ के चलाएगा समझे कि नहीं ऐसे बिठा दूंगा उसके ऊपर तुम्हें ठीक है देखो अब ये आ गई समझ में बात कि अब आपके पास जो टाइम विंडो है उसी विंडो में आपने यूज करना है अच्छा मान लो आपने इसको 19 दिन की बजाय आपने कर दिया छह दिन अब क्या ये कहा तक जाएगा ये पीछे तो ये बिल्कुल जाएगा पी, पी, पीछे तक नहीं ये बीच में आके ये रुक जाएगा तो इसके जो है काम करने का जो विंडो है वो यहां से सेट है यहां से लेके यहां तक सेट है उसके जो है वो बाई तरफ नहीं जाएगा और उसके दाई तरफ नहीं जाएगा दाई तरफ जाएगा लेकिन आपको बोल देगा कि भाई नेगेटिव फ्लोट आ रहा है द नेगेटिव फ्लोट विल बी विजिबल टू यू यू कैन टेक ए कोर्स करेक्शन एट द प्लानिंग स्टेज इट सो यू डोंट हैव टू वरी वेन यू आर सींग द येलो रिबन सो येलो रिबन इज बेसिकली ए नॉलेज टू यू that you are exceeding the time limit so whenever you come to know that you are exceeding the time limit during the planning stage you can correct it right right or wrong guys you are right sir right sir you're fixing hai na to yellow is for letting you know that you have to basically do some correction in some of the predecessor task to bring the task within the limits of the finish date so finish date is not only implemented by the finish date of the project finish date is also implemented by the constraint so what is the finish date of this activity and uh, this uh, uh, this 1140 this finish date is here implemented in the constraint so if you look at the constraint so its finish date is 24th hmm and its start date is the start date is the 11th so yeah. within this range of the dates you can use any number of the dates okay 11 12 13 days 4 days 5 days 10 days yeah. but to make sure that the finish date of the activity should not be exceeding the 15th okay yeah. it should not be exceeding the 15th 15 okay so is this no it should not be exceeding the 24th sorry the 24th yes this, uh, end date ठीक है ना ये आपका जो है ये फिनिश बाउंड्री है और ये आपका स्टार्ट बाउंड्री 11 से पहले स्टार्ट नहीं हो सकता और 24 के बाद जो है वो फिनिश नहीं करना है उसके बीच में आप जहां मर्जी करो ठीक है ना आपको जो है उसमें फ्रीडम दी हुई है ठीक है फिर ये जो इक्विपमेंट है ये इक्विपमेंट जो है दूसरे प्रोजेक्ट में जाएगा कहीं भी जाएगा तो आपको इतना जैसे लाइब्रेरी में बुक होता है अब लाइब्रेरी में जो बुक होता है वो दूसरे स्टूडेंट ने भी पढ़ना होता है ना है ना दूसरे भी लोग होते हैं कम्युनिटी लाइब्रेरी होती है स्कूल लाइब्रेरी होती है कॉलेज लाइब्रेरी होती है सो इट इज लाइक दैट ओके सो गाइस इज दिस क्लियर यस सर सो दिस इज द लेसन ऑफ कंस्टेंट्स फॉर यू राइट सो नाउ व्हाट व्हाट आई विल डू आई विल 
just pause here and i would like to hear some questions okay some question curiosity anything you can ask then we will go to the next lesson bata और कंस्टेंट बहुत ही जुडिशियसली यूज करना है सोच समझ के यूज करना है क्योंकि बहुत ज्यादा कंस्टेंट लगाओगे तो प्लान की ना फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी जो है वो खत्म हो जाएगी मान लो कि आपने प्लान किया एक प्रोजेक्ट और उसमें एक स्टार्ट डेट डाली और खूब सारे कंस्टेंट डाल दिए अच्छा फिर क्या हुआ किसी भी वजह से आपको स्टार्ट डेट जो है वो आगे खिसकाना पड़ रहा है तो आपको क्या करना पड़ेगा जितने भी सारे आपने कंस्टेंट डाले ना वो ढूंढ ढूंढ के फिर उनको भी खिसकाना पड़ेगा तो इसलिए आइडियल प्लानिंग ये होती है कि जिसमें एक भी कंस्टेंट ना हो बट वी हैव टू लिव विद कंस्टेंट क्यों बिकॉज वी डो नॉट हैव इनफाइड इनफाइनेट चॉइस ऑफ रिसोर्सेस समझे कि नहीं मेरी बात इनफाइनेट चॉइस ऑफ रिसोर्स नहीं है हमारे पास है ना हमने कहा मेरे को इतना क्लेन दे दो और मेरे को प्रोजेक्ट के शुरू में दो और एंड तक मेरे को दे दे के रखो ऐसा चलेगा क्या ऐसा मिलेगा क्या नहीं ना ऐसा नहीं होता प्रोजेक्ट में प्रोजेक्ट में जो है बड़े इक्विपमेंट्स जो है वो एक लिमिटेड ड्यूरेशन के लिए मिलते हैं मान लो इक्विपमेंट आपने कोई किराए में लिया तो ऐसा थोड़ी नहीं है कि आप उसको यूज नहीं कर रहे और आप जो है उसको किराए में लेकर ले रख लिया तो करोगे ऐसा क्या नहीं करोगे ठीक है जैसे फिल्म की जो है मूवी प्रोडक्शन की हम प्लानिंग करते हैं तो उसमें लास्ट में एक इक्विपमेंट यूज होता है सारा जब शूटिंग हो जाता है वो एडिटिंग बॉक्स होता है उसका दिन का किराया विश्वास नहीं करोगे पांच लाख रुपये है दिन का किराया पर डे ठीक है उसको स्टूडियो में जाके यूज करना पड़ता है ठीक है वो आपको दे देंगे रूम इक्विपमेंट अंदर लगा है पांच लाख रुपए दिन का दो तो आप उसकी ऐसे प्लानिंग करोगे जब आपके सारी फिल्म जब कैन हो जाएगी तो फिल्म जब शूट होती है ना फिल्म जो स्टोरी के सीक्वेंस में शूट नहीं हो रही वो एक्चुअली दैट इज डिपेंडेंट अपॉन दी रिसोर्स कोई बड़ा एक्टर है वो कह रहा है मैं पहले डेट दे रहा हूँ तो उसकी सीक्वेंस पहले शूट हो जाएगी तो उसके बाद फिर काम फिर एडिटर का होता है एडिटर क्या करता है कि सारी जो डिजिटल टेप उसमें लोड करता है फिर उसका सारा कट पेस्ट का काम होता है वो फिर फिल्म को वो सीक्वेंस में ले आता है कट पेस्ट करके उसमें गाने डाल देता है कट पेस्ट करके म्यूजिक लगा देते हैं ठीक है काफी सारी चीजें करके फिर हमें एक स्टोरी वो सुनाते हैं सो द मूवी इज मूवी इज ए आर्ट ऑफ स्टोरी टेलिंग बट लेकिन उसमें प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट बहुत टाइट चाहिए उसमें बहुत कॉस्टली रिसोर्स रहता है लोकेशन उसमें जो लोग होते हैं काम करने वाले उसमें इक्विपमेंट होते हैं सब बड़े बड़े वो देखते हो ना सब गाड़ी वाड़ी फोड़ देते हैं वो लाते हैं वो सेकंड हैंड वो खरीद खरीद के पेंट करके नया घर फिर फोड़ देते हैं उसे आता नहीं समझ में स्टंट में दे, दिखाते ना पहाड़ी से गिर गई है गाड़ी आता नहीं समझ में तो यू हैव टू बेसिकली यूज दो रिसोर्सेस इन ए वेरी लिमिटेड मैन सो यू हैव टू प्लान फॉर द इक्विपमेंट द फाइनल मतलब एडिटिंग बेंच होती है तो वो पांच लाख रुपए पर डे का रेंट रहता है उसका तो यू हैव टू प्लान इट दी एग्जैक्ट अमाउंट कि कितने दिन यूज कर रहा है ठीक है गाइज सो सिमिलरली इन कंस्ट्रक्शन प्रोजेक्ट ऑल्सो यू हैव टू प्लान द रिसोर्सेज सो दैट दे आर यूज ऑप्टिमली सो वी नीड टू यूज द कंस्टेंट तो द प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी कंस्टेंट इज वेरी वेरी हेल्पफुल एंड मैंडेटरी फिनिश इज ऑल्सो वेरी हेल्पफुल इन मेंटेनिंग द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट राइट ठीक है गाइज यूर हेयर सर सर uh, मेरे को एक ये आया है मतलब आपने बोला है कि रिलेशन जब हम लगाते हैं स्टार्ट टू फिनिश फिनिश टू स्टार्ट ये एक्टिविटी डिपेंडेंट रहते हैं फिर रिलेशन जब वो रिलेशन और आपने हाँ. करना अपनी इंजीनियरिंग नॉलेज से मेरी इंजीनियरिंग नॉलेज ये बोलते है कि भाई पहले जो है पहले एक्सकावेशन होगी फिर फाउंडेशन बनेगी फिर बेसमेंट माइनस टू बनेगी फिर बेसमेंट ये जनरल नॉलेज हो गया बराबर है सही बात है नॉलेज नहीं है इंजीनियरिंग नॉलेज है ये आम आदमी को नहीं पता है ये सड़क पे आम आदमी को नहीं पता है उसको अच्छा सर तो फिर मेरा मेरा सवाल ये है सर कि मान अभी तो ये जो ये जो रिलेशन आपने बोले है स्टार्ट टू फिनिश फिनिश टू स्टार्ट हालांकि एक्टिविटी डिपेंडेंट है लेकिन जो कंस्ट्रेंट आपने बताया है स्टार्ट ऑन आफ्टर ये बेसिकली ये अपने पूरे एक्टिविटीज को मैनेज करने के लिए है हाँ ये एक्टिविटीज को मैनेज किस तरह किस चीज के हिसाब से रियलिटी चेक भाई रियलिटी चेक ये है कि आप जो है ख्वाब दे, दे, देख रहे हो आप अभी कॉलेज में गए हो तो आप ख्वाब देख रहे हो कि आपके फादर आपको महीने में पांच हजार देंगे पॉकेट मनी तो फा, फादर ने कहा बेटा रियलिटी चेक ये है कि मैं तेरे को सिर्फ ढाई हजार ही दूंगा उसमें अगर तेरा कॉलेज चलता है तो ठीक है कर ले नहीं तो घर बैठ के कुछ कर ले 
ठीक है वो होती है रियलिटी चेक ठीक है आपको भी मिला इनफाइनाइट कभी पॉकेट में नहीं आपने जो सोचा उतना आपको मिला नहीं मिला कभी तो आपने कंस्टेंट में फिर जीना सीखा है कि भाई इतनी पॉकेट बनी तो इतना वो होगा ठीक है ना आदमी शोशाबाजी उतना ही करता है हाँ फिर जब आपकी इनकम हो गई तो अब आपको कोई रोकने वाला तो नहीं है हो सकता है आपके जो है पेरेंट्स नहीं कहते हो कि बेटा घर में पैसा दो लेकिन अब आप खुद ही अपने आप के लिए कंस्टेंट क्रिएट कर रखा है <laughs> आप नहीं इतना पैसा नहीं खर्चा करना है कुछ सेविंग भी करना आगे ये बनाना है वो बनाना है ठीक है ना अब गाड़ी चेंज करनी है पंद्रह साल पेट्रोल गाड़ी का लिमिट हो गया खत्म हो गई गाड़ी तो ठीक है तो करना तो होगा कि नहीं होगा तो कंस्टेंट जो है हर जगह पे है लाइफ में दैट इज द रियलिटी चेक कि ये दिस इज मेनली ड्यू टू द रिसोर्स अगर मान लो आपको रिसोर्स फ्रीली मिल जाए ना इनमें से एक भी कंस्टेंट की जरूरत पड़ेगी लेकिन एक आपको जरूरत पड़ेगी मैंडेटरी फिनिश ये मैंडेटरी फिनिश तो रहेगा आपका हमेशा रहेगा क्यों आप अगर अपने कॉन्ट्रैक्ट को अगर ये देखोगे उसमें साफ मैंशन किया हुआ हर चीज का जो है डेट दिया हुआ उसमें सो प्रोजेक्ट डजेंट हैव वन फिनिश डेट प्रोजेक्ट हैज मल्टीपल फिनिश डेट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द माइल स्टोन ईच ऑफ द माइल स्टोन विल हैव ए वेरी वेरी डिस्टिंक्ट यू कैन से डेलीवरेबल एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ द डेलीवरेबल प्रोपोर्शनेट वैल्यू विल डिटरमाइन द इंस्टॉलमेंट कि आपको कितना पैसा मिलेगा ठीक है है ना मतलब पूरे पूरे प्रोजेक्ट की फिनिश डेट वेरिएबल हो सकती है कि आप ये ये बोल रहे हो मैं उसके अंदर जो इंस्टॉलमेंट वेरिएबल हो सकता है जरूरी नहीं है कि सब देखो प्रोजेक्ट में क्या होता है कि उसमें वेटेज डाल दी जाती है कि अगर आप ये डिलीवरेबल कंप्लीट करोगे तो आपको पांच परसेंट मिलेगा ये डिलीवरेबल का जो है दस परसेंट है इसका पंद्रह परसेंट है इसका पांच परसेंट है इसका आठ आठ परसेंट है ठीक है बात आ रही समझ में करेक्ट तो वो चीज आपको चाहिए ना चलो कितना भी परसेंटेज हो लेकिन टाइम पे तो कम्प्लीट तो करना है हाँ पर सर फिनिश डेट पर काम के हिसाब से फिनिश डेट बढ़ भी सकती है ना और नहीं फिनिश डेट तो आप अपनी ओर से डिले करके थोड़ी ना तो बढ़ाओ गए अगर क्लाइंट अपनी ओर से कोई रिक्वायरमेंट जनरेट करता है एक्स्ट्रा देखो ओरिजिनल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट साइन किया उसके बाद उसने कहा कि भाई एक्स्ट्रा मेरा काम कर दो तो वो तो क्लाइंट कर सकता है क्योंकि क्लाइंट जो है वो प्रोजेक्ट का मालिक वो है मतलब क्लाइंट फिनिश डेट बता के छोड़ देता है और ये हमारा प्लानिंग इंजीनियर का काम होता है की सारी चीजें फिनिश डेट के पहले उसको मैनेज कर सकते हाँ पहले मैनेज करे लेकिन क्लाइंट जो है कुछ और भी चीजें एग, एग्री करता वो कहता है कि मेरे को बेसमेंट कब दे दिखाओ है मेरे को बेसमेंट माइनस टू माइनस वन कब दिखाओ क्लाइंट देख के चला जाएगा बिल्डिंग तो ऑक्यूपाई तब होगी जब पूरी जब बनेगी बन जाएगी लेकिन क्लाइंट प्रोग्रेस तो देख के ही दे देगा ना पैसा ऐसा थोड़ा ना वो दे देगा आपने फोन कर दिया सर वो बेसमेंट माइनस तैयार हो गई वो ऐसे ऐसे वो थोड़ा ना बोलेगा की ठीक है इन्वॉइस जो है वो व्हाट्सएप कर दो और पेमेंट मैं भेजता हूँ तुम्हें ऐसे नहीं होगा वो क्या करेगा कि इमीडिएटली वो अपने जो है क्वालिटी कंसल्टेंट लाएगा जो कि थर्ड पार्टी होगी उसकी टीम के भी नहीं होंगे लोग उसकी कंपनी के भी लोग नहीं होंगे आप उनको जानते ही नहीं होंगे उनके हाथ में वो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दे देता है पहले वो स्टडी कर लेते हैं अभी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट में क्या क्या जो है एक्सेप्टेंस क्राइटेरिया है वो सब देखे दस आदमी सब बेसमेंट माइनस टू में घुस के हर चीज को ठोक रहे हैं बजा रहे हैं कोई कोई जाके प्लम्बिंग देख रहा है कोई जाके इलेक्ट्रिकल की लाइन देख रहा है कोई कुछ पीछे से कुछ उखाड़ के देख रहा है कोई टाइलों में जो है ठुका ठुक ठुका ठुक करके चेक कर रहा है कि टाइल पीछे से हॉलो तो नहीं है जमीन में टाइल लगाया वो कौन सी ब्रांड का लगाया जो ब्रांड बताया था वही लगाया कि नहीं लगाया ये सारी चीजें चेक होगी जब एक्सेप्टेंस क्राइटेरिया पार होगा तो फिर आप वो पेमेंट कर देगा करेक्ट तो लेकिन इसके लिए आपको डेट फिक्स करनी पड़ेगी ना क्योंकि बिकॉज द क्लाइंट वॉन्ट्स ए कॉन्फिडेंस इन यू दैट यू आर फिनिशिंग द डिलीवरेबल ऑन टाइम इट मीन दैट ही कॉन्फिडेंस टू कंटिन्यू विद यू so he will make a payment then he will say that okay you go ahead and uh, complete the next uh, deliverable so he'll make you the next payment he will so you know this is how the business works in the business you are not going to get the entire money at the beginning you are getting as per the progress okay as per the progress you are getting so guys is this clear yes sir sir uh, what so that is why you need to put the mandatory uh, mandatory constraint in your project so mandatory constraint is always needed you can't do any real time work without the mandatory constraint because with the mandatory constraint your reality of the contract is matched up with the plan theek hai plan should match up with the reality for uske liye fir milestone hona bhi zaruri hai mandatory finish ke liye ha milestone kya hota hai milestone ek marker hai wo ek jagah pe ja ke baith jata hai और फिर वो बताता है आप इसको पार करोगे तो नेगेटिव आएगा 
आप इसके पीछे रहोगे तो पॉजिटिव आएगा आप इसको टच करोगे तो जीरो आएगा पर सर माइलस्टोन की भी खुद की वैल्यू रहेगी ना क्या ये सही में अपन जो माइलस्टोन है पोस्टे पोस्टे माइलस्टोन समझो कि एक डंडे की तरह है बस उसके अपने कोई वैल्यू नहीं नहीं सर पर फिर भी उसके अंदर तो कुछ प्रॉफिट और लॉस होगा होगा ना कि ये डेट के पहले हुआ है तो फिर माइलस्टोन अपना प्रॉफिट देखो इस डेट के अगर ये पहले हुआ है तो ठीक है आप एक्स्ट्रा क्वालिटी चेक कर लो पेमेंट तो आपको फिक्स में मिलेगी ना हाँ 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 वैल्यू आपकी दस करोड़ की है तो क्लाइंट जो आपको दस करोड़ ही देगा उससे ज्यादा नहीं देगा हाँ लेकिन अगर लेट कर दो उसमें हो सकता है कोई पेनल्टी क्लॉज हो वो फिर कुछ काट पीट के देगा फिर आपको ये आपका नुकसान जरूर है ऐसा नहीं है कि आप उसको दो दिन पहले दोगे तो वो इनाम दे देगा चलो अभी दस करोड़ के ऊपर जाइए पचास लाख इनाम ले लो ऐसा नहीं हुआ कभी आज तक हिस्ट्री में कि क्लाइंट ने कोई एक्स्ट्रा पैसे दिए हाँ लेकिन क्लाइंट कार्ड जरूर लेगा ठीक है बात आई समझ में yes, तो इसलिए हमें जो है मैंडेटरी ये जो है ना मैंडेटरी फिनिश जो है ये हमें सीखना है और इसको हमें माइल पे लगा के चलना है फिर इसके बीच में एक्टिविटीज को हमने क्रॉस चेक करना है कि ये एक्टिविटीज हम जितनी जितनी ड्यूरेशन लेके हम चल रहे हैं और जो सीक्वेंसिंग हम कर रहे हैं उसको वेरीफाई करेंगे तो जैसे ही रिलेशनशिप लगा के माइल से जोड़ देंगे आखिरी एक्टिविटी को अपने आप ही पॉजिटिव या नेगेटिव आएगा पॉजिटिव आएगा तो, तो भी हम वेरीफाई करेंगे यार किसने कोई मिस तो नहीं कर दिया कई बार इट माइट बी पॉसिबल दैट पीपल आर वेरी ओवर एंथुजियास्टिक and they might have missed a very important activity in the middle of the network or the sequence sequence mein koi activity miss hogi positive float aa gaya sab khush ho rahe hain ab plan ko freeze kar diya aur sab ko baant diya aur sab creative ho gaye hmm samjhe ki nahi to isliye bahut zyada positive aaye to sabdhan rehna hai bahut zyada negative aaye to to bhi aapko cautiously usko theek theek kar lena hai so you should be agar maan lo ki ha ek aur point main pehle main bol deta hu clear main kar deta hu that while fixing the negative milestone if you are getting very high risk in the project so in that case you should not go and create any structure which is risky for the human life theek hai baat aayi samajh mein because you know there is some material curing time also concrete ka rehta hai 28 din agar maan lo ki aapko jo hai sufficient time nahi mil raha to ensure a good and reliable structure do not compromise immediately escalate it to the client and all the other stakeholders ki bhai dekho isme safety jo hai wo compromise ho rahi hai we should increase the duration of the first milestone second milestone jo bhi hai theek hai clear hai guys yes sir yes sir aur milestone dal ke hi kaam karna hai apne milestone dal ke hi kaam karna hai ठीक है तो माइलस्टोन क्या होता है देखो मैं आपको बताता हूँ ध्यान से देखो ये जो आपकी जो समरी टास्क है ना ऊपर जो ब्लैक लाइन ये ओपनिंग ब्रैकेट है और ये क्लोजिंग ब्रैकेट है और इस ओपनिंग और क्लोजिंग के बीच में ये एक्टिविटीज है ठीक है अब इसके बीच में ये ठीक ढंग से फिट है तो देखो हल्का सा फ्लोट है कोई दिक्कत है इसमें अगर एक्टिविटी अगर इस सारी नेटवर्क में अगर हल्का सा फ्लोट रहे तो इट इज गुड इट इज अ सेफ प्रैक्टिस ठीक है जैसे हम कह, कहते हैं ना ट्रक के पीछे लिखा होता है प्लीज मेंटेन डिस्टेंस नो मान लो आप हाई स्पीड से चल रहे हो तो डिस्टेंस मेंटेन करना सही रह, रहता ही नहीं रहता अगर सामने वाली गाड़ी ब्रेक कर दे तो आपको एक डिस्टेंस चाहिए चाहिए ना ब्रेक करने के लिए दैट इज द रीजन ठीक है अब चले फिर नेक्स्ट में यस सर तो इसको क्लोज क्लोज करो सर सर वन वन मिनट सर सर अदर देन दिस कंस्टेंट देयर इज अ देयर इज आल्सो ना डिसिप्लिन वाइज कंस्टेंट आल्सो देयर ना डिसिप्लिन वाइज कंस्टेंट यस यू बट टेल मी व्हाट इज दैट सपोज देयर इज अ डिजाइन डिजाइन रिलेटेड एनी प्रोसेस रिलेटेड मींस डिजाइन रिलेटेड सम सपोज देयर इज अ डिजाइन इज नॉट गेटिंग अप्रूव्ड फ्रॉम अ क्लाइंट सच टाइप ऑफ See, if design is not getting approved from the client without any warning, then that is not a constraint. That is a variance. Okay. Is something which you know beforehand. What is the limit? What is the range of the start date? What is the range of the finish date? Constraints are to be applied at the planning stage. But if the if the if the client is not providing by the constraint, then it is called a variance. It is called a risk. Risk cannot be um, always predicted. ठीक है तो दैट इज द थिंग ओके सो नाउ यू डू कंट्रोल डब्ल्यू एंड क्लोज दिस प्रोजेक्ट
Okay, now you create the lesson five and uh, using the copy paste. Okay, now the project ID will be lesson five and name of the lesson will be activity types. Lesson five and activity types. Present.
कर रहे काम करते करते रियलाइज किया अरे एक इम्पोर्टेंट एक्टिविटी थी वो दस दिन की मिस हो गई अच्छा अब आपने डाल दिया और डालते ही आपने देखा अब आपका जो है वो 